You were listening to me eat crisps only a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago even, and now, now we're together playing Morrowind. My goodness, the future truly is great, isn't it? It's here. This is, this is what life was meant to be like. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's Sundays at four. That light is way too bright. My face is all shiny. I can turn that down with the touch of a button. Look at me being all professional. Now it's too dark. Now it's like night time. You know what? I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to go with it. This is it. If someone says, hey, what's going on? It's night time. Don't worry about it. This is just what's happening now. Good evening to everyone. How is everyone doing today? Sunday's at four. Sunday's at four. Return of the door. Okay. Right. So, you know, what? I am lying. It is actually only four minutes to four. So you don't get the stream yet. That's true. Wait four minutes. Could have started. But you had to you had to point it out, didn't you? You had to be like, it's not technically four. Actually, it's not technically four o'clock yet. You're four minutes early. Alright, uh, fine. Fine, I can play that game too. Turn the light back up slightly. I'll accept the shiny face. It's because the windows are open as well. I say windows, I mean curtains. Do not tempt, don't tempt me. You've got three minutes left. Ah, I'm being silly. We'll start now. Okay, don't worry. Three minutes. We'll start now. We'll get back in tomorrow and just kidding. Two minutes. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Just drinking. By that I mean like drinking water, not, not getting smashed at four o'clock on a Sunday. All right. I'm not yet that levels of successful. Josh, please, I choked on my tea. That sounds like a you problem. All right, that's, that's really a skill issue. That's nothing to do with me not streaming Morrowind. Are we, are we streaming to you? You're my entertainment. Okay, you know what? It's 15.58 here. It, there's two minutes to go. We may as well, actually. The game crashed. The game crashed. Thanks, Morrowind. I was going to make a joke. I was fine. Now I've got... Oh, no, now I've got two minutes to reboot it. Like, oh, the, legitimately the game crashed just then. As I had it kind of paused. I'm like, all right, I'll start. Come on, Morrowind, load. Load the quick save. And now we're back up. Perfect. Here we are. We're back. We're ready. Oh, hang on. Just... Yeah, we're all good. It's actually 15.58. You guys have two minutes left to wait. Okay, I'm not starting until it's exactly on the moment. Shari, Shari remembered the rim. Thank you very much for remembering the rim. As long as that gets you to the Twitch stream on time, we're all good. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. That is the Twitch rhyme. It works on UK time. Josh, come back. No. No, not. You, got, you have to wait. You have to wait for another minute. Maybe 30 seconds. Sorry, rhyme. Hey, it's okay. Shari, if English is not your native language, I was just I was just being silly with you. I was just joking. I am very impressed at anyone who can speak any second language, because I barely speak English. I just about manage that. It's incredible that, you know, it's we'll start now. It's okay. We'll start right now. You know what I find incredible is that the vast majority of people in England barely speak English. And then someone comes along and speaks a second language. And even if it isn't perfect, that's still super impressive. Legitimately super impressive. Right, guys, Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4, time to play some Blood Moon. If you were with us yesterday, you know exactly what happened. If you weren't with us yesterday, let me fill you in. We followed through the Dwemer tunnels underneath Mournhold. We discovered the clockwork city of Sotha Sil. We worked for Almalexia, the goddess. We discovered that Almalexia was in fact insane because the tribunal were losing their power. She had killed Sotha Sil and she was sending us to uh, effectively be a martyr for her. Almalexia then attacked us and we defeated her using the incredible power of doors. Because it turns out in Morrowind, you can just jump in and out of a door repeatedly and hit the boss on the other side. Almalexia was indeed praised, and our uniform has not yet been located. However, we were able to get True Flame and Hope's Fire, which are the two incredibly powerful swords. So True Flame is the one that Almalexia gives you, and Hope's Fire is the one that you take off Almalexia's dead body, so we've got that. We also, just for good measure, uh, killed King Helseth, and took his signet ring, which is incredibly powerful. 100% uh, reflect magicka, resist magicka, resist paralysis, restore health, and restore fatigue. 
We are also wearing a Daedric left pauldron that we found. We didn't capture their souls because I don't yet have a Zora's star, but we will at some point get round to breaking enchanting. Don't you worry about that. But the plan today, because we have effectively... Oh yeah, we took the king's robe as well, just for good measure. The sword isn't a spear, that's very true, but don't you worry, we've also got the Spear of Bitter Mercy, which was the Shio Gorath spear, so we're ready to use this at the same time. We haven't even touched alchemy. We haven't touched alchemy. But what we're about to do now is we've effectively finished Tribunal. We killed Almalexia, we finished King Helseth's quest, we got the rings, got the items, got the weapons, and where we are now is the very northwest of the world in Fort Frostmoth. This is the Blood Moon expansion pack. Now you can play all the expansion packs before you finish the main story. Indeed, that's exactly what we're going to do. We have finished Tribunal, we haven't done every single quest in Tribunal because there are lots, but we are now going to play through the main story of Blood Moon and decide whether or not. Can't finish Tribunal until you kill the Wood Elf of Ultimate Murder. We killed him. Remember, we managed to kill Gaynor, and we did it by making a spell that fortifies our agility by 100. We called it Focus Slap because that gives you accuracy. And then we drank 26 Sujamas which raised our strength to 1,700. We then slapped him twice and killed him. It was beautiful. It was just absolutely fantastic. I still have some Sujama on me just in case. It lowers your intelligence by 50, but raises your strength by 50 every single time you drink it. So we just abs we got completely drunk and slapped him around the face. Two hits, he died. Do you have a clip of that? It will be on the clip channel, I've got no doubt. This is the first time I'm watching Morrowind gameplay, so I hope you make it entertaining. I don't even need to. And at Morrowind, it stands alone. It stands by itself. I mean, look at that hat. That is the hat of a champion right there. That is the hat of a god slayer. It's the hat of a king slayer. I like the fact that I killed the king, and then there's a bug in Morrowind where if you pick up items, or you steal items, and then you drop them, and then pick them up again. The game doesn't realize that they're stolen. It kind of loses the stolen flag. So we killed the king, picked up his incredibly rare royal signet ring and his robe, which is what I'm wearing now, dropped both of them, handed myself into a guard, paid an 80 gold bounty, and now we're free. So I just picked his stuff up again. I appreciate the fact that kings are worth 80 gold. That's what it is. Also, yes, Argonians do blink upward. If you pay attention, you'll see that the the little eyelid actually blinks up. That is a really nice little touch. Check that out. Todd Howard, you've done it again. Right, this is Fort... I believe it's Frostmoth. Yes, Fort Frostmoth of the Blood Moon expansion. It's the statute of limitations on stealing is very small. Yeah, very, very short. I didn't know Morrowind Argonians looked so goofy until now. How dare you, all right? You're talking about the Nerevarine. You'll put a bit of respect on that name. Have you done a dramatic reading of Lusty's Holy Bible? I have not, but Red Sky, we'll get it later. We will read through the story of Lust T. Don't you worry. 80 gold equals a king's ransom. It literally does. You can kill a king, pay 80 gold, and they're like, you cheeky scamp. Get out of here. That'll take your gold. It's for don't you do it again. Don't do it. Oh, I know what you're like. Don't you do it again. Don't you go getting any ideas. Go on, get out of here, you little rogue. And then you can go and kill another king and just pay 80 again. Every king is worth 80 gold in this game. Wear the same helmet as a guard, they will hunt you down for life. Kill a king, pay 80 gold and you're fine. Do you know this is the island from the Dragonborn DLC in Skyrim? I have not played the Dragonborn DLC. Is that the parachute hat? Yes it is. So, we have so far only created two unique enchanted items. Uh, the Amulet of Van Halen, which casts Jump for 100 points on self, and the Hat, which we have turned into the Colovian Parachute, which casts Slow Fall on self. But yes, we've got the Amulet of Van Halen, which casts a very, very powerful Jump. Don't you worry about that. We will be hopping around this item, this island. And for anyone who's uh, who's not played a, a Morrowind game before, when I say Jump, I mean this. You can literally just launch yourself straight across the map. It's absolutely fine. And we, we can just keep casting that, leaping backward and forward to wherever we need to be. 
massively overshooting and ending up in the water. That works too. If you angle the camera just right, you can see kind of all the way under. And that, that's, that's quite scary to me. I Look at that. There's some hawkers down below as well. We'll, uh, we'll be killing those at some point, don't you worry. We'll get to the hawkers. By God, the power of Van Halen. That's what we went with. Morrowind is eternal. So this is the island of uh, Blood Moon, Fort Frostmoth to the north. Soul's Thyme, I believe it's called. And the reason we are here is we have a very special quest. A very specific quest. Let's just have a look. I believe it was... It was a dude that wanted like a crazy powerful item. The patchwork airship. That was that was the one. I met Louis Beauchamp outside the Ardrune Mages Guild. Apparently he used Magicka and some patched together Dwemer technology to make his own airship and then commissioned a crew to fly north to the frozen Isle of Solstheim in search of a powerful magic item. The airship hasn't returned and Beauchamp is getting worried. He wants to hire me to discover what happened to the airship and its crew and recover the Amulet of Infectious Charm. Louis Beauchamp says they were to recover, that is, bring me a special amulet. According to stories, legends and such, Horthmund was quite the... Well, he had plenty of lady friends. He was ugly, too ugly, as a troll, but he had a magic trinket. He wore it, the Amulet of Infectious Charm, it was called. By all records, it was buried with him. That's why I built the airship. I had the crew. I just... I must have that amulet, Lusty, but there's been no word. I fear the crew has failed me. Um, I'll help you, and well, that's wonderful. The airship was headed north to Solstheim. The amulet is its meant to be in Hrothman's Barrow, at the Eye of the Beast, the wolf. I mean, but you must say the wolf's name to enter. Say, on Jake. Answer wrong, the barrow will be sealed forever. Did they fly off course, or maybe they found the amulet and flew away to meet women? No fair maiden could resist a man with the amulet of infectious charm. In an airship, no less. Say, Lusty, I don't suppose you're well for hire. I'd pay you greatly to find my airship. I'd need proof of what happened to it, of course. Excellent. So, we need to find the Amulet of Infectious Charm for this lecherous man who built an airship. Look, I'm going to be real with you, dude. If you're smart enough to build an airship, you're probably, you know, at least somewhat smart enough to be attractive to somebody. Aren't you early? Sundays at 7... Saturday... No, don't say this. Don't. Don't, Big Balu, because you're going to confuse my mind. I'm focusing on Morrowind. I'm focusing on finding the Amulet of Infectious Charm for this lecherous old man who clearly needs it. Will there be crisps on the stream today? You don't know where the stream's going to go. You have no idea. We've been streaming for 20 minutes. I've done nothing but stand on the dock of Blood Moon and just talk. This is all it is. For six hours, we're not even going to play Morrowind. Six hours just standing here, chatting to this dude, talking, just jumping around the place for a bit. It's going to be a very simple stream. It, it, that, then just boot up the bouncer. Okay, the fort has so many quests, and we're going to go and do all of them. I... What was that name? There was a name. Someone remember this. Someone remember... Patchwork airship, recover the amulet, crew has failed. Onjaeg. O-N-D-J-A-G-E. Onjaeg. We must remember Onjaeg. If we answer wrong, the barrow is sealed forever. Are you ready? Let's explore the island of Solstheim. Your turn to talk, ours to listen. Welcome to Solstheim, jewel of absolutely nowhere. It is a miserable place, even for the warm bloods. If you want to leave, I'd be happy to take you back to Vardenfell. If you feel you must stay, speak with Captain Phalax Carius in his chambers at Fort Frostmoth. Captain Carius is the commander here. Not a bad man, but he is a fool for remaining in this place. So cold. So cold. If you hear about the colony, Carnius Magius is the man you wish to speak to. Find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine. Okay, I've got questions. I have questions about... I can't ask anything specific, but I guess we can go and talk to those two people over there. We've been given specifics. Let's go chat to them. Remember, I'm mainly here to hunt down that amulet of flirtation. Hey! How you doing, guys? Gammon? I, haven't much time. I can't talk now. I'm waiting for our escort to show up. Besides, Gadara's is in charge. All right, Gidar, how you doing, man? Sorry, Argonian, can't talk right now. We're waiting for our escort to Raven Rock. Go see Carnius Magius in the shrine if you need something. All right, those guys have absolutely nothing to give me.
but this big fort looks pretty promising. I was never able to complete Morrowind when I was younger. Played all the other games. Should I pick it up again? Yes, you should. You absolutely should. I love the graphics, by the way, of this game. I know they're old, but that is a nice bit of lens flare right there. Okay, here we go. Fort Frostmoth. Let's start asking questions, shall we? What do you want? Go see Captain Carius. Talk to Captain Carius if you're looking for something to do. Head through the general quarters all the way to the south staircase. On the third floor are his chambers. That's where you'll find him. You hear about colony business, talk to Carnius Magius. He's the Imperial Cult Shrine. Where's your uniform? I hate it here already. I want to go home. Mum, pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, God. They're all going to say it, aren't they? Are you going to... Anything gonna... I can do for you? Yeah, thank you. Hey. What do you want? Okay, no one wants to talk to me. My goodness. Everyone's just saying, yeah, go and speak to the captain. He's, uh, he's the one in charge here. The armory? Oh. Oh, things. I don't need things. Everything I've got is better than everything in here, but it's just so tempting to take things. How's it going, Zeno? What is it you want? What do you want? No one will give me any more information. Everyone's just like, go see the captain. And where is the captain? Head through the general quarters and all the way to the south staircase on the third floor. Okay, general quarters, south staircase. If I was the general quarters, where would I be? Let's go and try and find these places. Maybe they'd talk if you were in uniform. I'm literally wearing the robe of the king. Like, I couldn't be more in uniform. I look like King Helseth. I killed him and took his clothes. This General quarters, all the way through to the south. Okay, let's go this way. Anything anything useful? Folded cloth? Rat meat? Nah, I'm good. Not hungry right now. Why did you kill him? Because I wanted his ring. As in an actual piece of jewellery that he had. Where's your uniform? <sighs> Ooh, it's gonna be a testing stream. It's gonna be a real testing stream if we're in an imperial castle. And they're all gonna say that. All the time. I swear to God, if someone says Alma Alexia be praised, Sarah, I will cry. So that's the general quarters upper level. But I want to go to... Ah, oh, they're Carius' chambers. Hey, Carius, how's it going, bro? We need to have a chat. I'm looking for an airship. Yes? What can I do for you? I am Captain Falx Carius, commander of Fort Frostmoth. I need to talk to you about Solstheim. It's an inhospitable place, to be sure. Bears, wolves, other creatures I'd rather not imagine. It's cold and windy and generally unfriendly. What about the latest rumours? Smuggler camps can be found all over the island. We clear them out one of these days, one at a time. What about a secret? I heard this guy talking. Said there's some kind of thieves stash hidden in one of the ice caves. It's guarded by a few Graal. I've heard tales of them, but I've never seen them. Don't hope to, for that matter. Okay, so tell me about Fort Frostmoth. We're an imperial fort, obviously. My soldiers have the ability to be among the best in the Empire. The island of Solstheim is not the easiest assignment, though. Sometimes it makes the men... edgy. As I said, this is a difficult post. The soldiers are separated from their families and forced to live in harsh conditions. To be fair, most of these men were sent to the island as punishment for a past offence. They are not the best soldiers. Yet still, until recently, they had performed their duties adequately. Lately, I have noticed some disturbing trends. To be sure, the men have been restless, complaining more than usual. There have been lackadaisical in the performance of their duties. I sense a great unease among them, and morale has been low. Very low. This is not normal. My instincts tell me that there is one among my troops who is fanning the fires of discontent, and I wish to know who it is. They'll never let me know who the culprit is, as their commanding officer. I must regretfully keep some distance between these fine soldiers and myself. They may be willing to speak with you, though. See if you can't gain their trust. If you learn anything, report to me. Alright, there's a bit of discontent going on, is there? little bit of discontent, a bit of a mystery. Maybe we should go and have a chat. What's going on over here? Anything I can read? Nope, just haven't even written that. Books, good man. Don't trust a man 
in House Without Books. Yeah, there's got some good stuff going on. Nothing secret. It's... You hiding your grief on the shelf, are you, mate? You're hiding your, uh, your alcohol. There's also a locked chest there. We'll check what's in that. A green pot, that's fine. That's right there. That is storytelling. This man is hiding his alcohol in his little library. Yeah, cheeky little scamp, you. What's over here? Is this your bedroom? Yeah, anything sexy in here? Little, little limeware platter. Take that. You got a double bed. Check you out. Locked chest. We'll open that later. It's not a problem, don't you worry. I've got some unlocking spells. I'll find your secrets. I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? Captain, you've just watched me go into your library and your bedroom. You know I haven't. Okay, let's go and investigate. Now, I'm doing this almost entirely without guides. Oh, good. Oh, of course, you go to the top of the stairs, and it's the the box storage room. Who doesn't sto- <laughs> Can you imagine being the guy? Captain, I brought the boxes up to this your quarters. Where do you want them? And he's like, yes. Walk up the second flight of stairs and put them in the box room where we store the boxes. And then you check the boxes, and it's just like a really good sword. I don't understand. Another really good sword. That, that's my gold. No one knows. And what's in this one? That's my gold now as well. Every gold matters. You don't get 355,000 gold without looting a couple of forts, do you? Okay, so there is... There is nothing up here in the box room. Let us head downstairs and see what we can discover about this fort. The general quarters upper level. Hello, guard. What are you... Hey, is that booze I smell on you? Um... Yes, it is Sujama. Smells like Sujama to me. I'd know that smell anywhere. How about giving a thirsty soldier a little, little pick-me-up? Oh, I see, I thought he was going to arrest me for it. I thought maybe alcohol was illegal on the island, but now nah, he's like, mate, come on, share. Sharing is caring. We're best friends here. Boozed, I am boozed up and out of uniform. I am living every soldier's wildest dream. I think we give him a sip. The guy's obviously got a hard life. We give him a bit of a sip. We can be friends with him. Yeah. Lust T is a generous gal. She's always up for sharing. Yeah, here you go. Oh, take me away, sweet Sujama. Thanks, friend. Just hasn't been the same round here since this became a dry fort. It's ridiculous, I tell you. A dry fort. I have been to your commanding officer's actual quarters. He's got alcohol. That's right. No liquor at all is allowed in Fort Frostmoth these days. Captain's orders, I guess. Seems odd coming from him. Captain Carrius seemed like a fair enough guy. Long as we carried on with our duties. Guess he figured we weren't up to his standards, so he cut us off. Since then, everyone's been in a pretty foul mood. I thought he was a pretty good guy until the whole alcohol ban. Just seems kind of spiteful to me. You know what? Where's your uniform? Shut up. I was about to help you. Now I am tempted to stab you in the face. Nobody is around. No one would even know that you died. But I will go and have a word with your captain. Because... That is just not on. You know what? I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? Look, I don't mind if you have killed a god. Who among us hasn't killed a god or two? But what I hate most is the hypocrisy. Yeah. Hmm. I imagine that the lack of alcohol might have some effects on the morale, but I didn't ever actually ban it. Personally, I didn't even care about the alcohol. It was the priest, Antonius Nucius, who was worried about the effect it was having on the men. I disagreed, but the question became moot. Our shipment stopped coming in months ago. Speak with the soldiers a bit more and see if you can find out who the source of this discontent is. Antonius Nucius. He was one of the priests here. Not a bad one. Seems a bright enough fellow. If he would only apply himself a bit more. Okay, so you didn't... You know, I jumped to conclusions. That was... That was my fault, and I am sorry. There is a bow. Right, let's go and have a chat with this Antonius dude. So, he didn't actually ban alcohol. Yo. Where's your uniform? I just want information. Uh, tell me about Antonius. The priest? He's not bad, I guess, for a priest. You'll find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine here at the fort, though he keeps an office upstairs from the armory. Could be in either place. Seems to understand us soldiers pretty well. He was telling me the other day how it seemed unfair that the captain had cut us off from the drink. He figures that's one of our few pleasures on this dung heap of an island. 
Well, now I don't know what to think. Now, right, so he's either in the Imperial Cult Shrine or above the Armory. Let's go and have a chat. See if we can find either the Imperial Cult Shrine or the Armory and get to the bottom of this, because one of them was banned alcohol, and it's making people sad. Where would we go? General Quarters? I suppose we can go down to the General Quarters and find the Armory and the Imperial Cult Shrine from down here. Right, if I was an Armory... I've been to the Armory before, it was out the other side. Let's just... Ah, straight across, there we go. Don't say it. Ah, a visitor. What may I do for you? You may actually... What is it you want? I heard you might be able to get hold of some booze. I just hope you can figure out a way for things to go back to normal around here. It's depressing enough without having the benefit of sweet spirits the gods. Granted, I don't know which gods, but it must be one of them. Why don't you tell me about uh, Antonius Nucius? I've got nothing more to say about him. Go talk to him if you want, or wait for him in his office. It's in the armory. All right, I'll, I'll pop to the armory. That is very much some boob armor, it's true. Specifically molded just for her. Let's go and have a chat, shall we? Fort Frostmoth Armory. Oh yeah, one thing this game has going for it is exceptionally good writing. So, because there are no quest markers in Morrowind, everything has to make sense and tell the player kind of what to do within the world. So, it is personally, I think, exceptionally well written. You can very much follow the story without needing arrows, which I absolutely love. Okay, I'm... Where's your uniform? I am part of the Imperial Legion. I am, however, out of uniform, which means, unfortunately, every single guard will address me like that. Alright, so if I were... Antonius's desk, lock level 50. Varieties of faith on top of the Book of Dawn and Dusk. Anything going on in the varieties of faith? Nah, nothing. Grief and Flynn. Alcoholic beverages. I see. I see, Mr. Antonius. Ah, yes, of course. A priestly man, therefore two beds must be kept. Can't be... What's in the chest? Can't be sleeping next to people, can we? Illegal. What would God think? Let's just see what we can find in his office. Quick snoop. Oh, just a silverware platter. So this is the... Is that you? No. Maybe he's up here. Maybe this isn't actually his... So that's just the top of the, the fort itself. I'm just gonna hang around here for a while. Just we'll hang around here for a couple of hours and see what happens. See if the dude appears anywhere. Uh no, he doesn't seem to. He'll be in his office somewhere. We'll find it. Don't say where's your uniform. Don't. I mean we could take his booze. What's he gonna do? Like he can't really he's not gonna elect to stand then if we take his booze, has he? What's in his desk? Anything special? It's locked. Let's just close that door. Let's get my, uh, Onducey's open door spell. There we go, unlocked his target. What's in here? Oh my god, Brandy, Flynn, Grief, Maze, Sujama, Skooma, and 256 gold. He's not banned alcohol, he's rerouting it. Alright, okay. Hang on. Right, now we need to have a word. Now we're annoyed. Let's go find this dude. Okay, where are you? You, you talk to me. Where's Antonius? Nothing more to say. Or wait for him in his office. It's upstairs. Where is he, though? He's normally in the... I suppose the Imperial Cult Shrine? That was a cult shrine. Imperial Cult Shrine, straight ahead. That one just there. Do you want something from me? Oh, I'm I'm annoyed now at Antonius. It's the it's the you. Yes. Your what can Shut this up. Humble priest do for you? What do you want? Hey, Antonius, tell me about yourself. Yes, I am Antonius. What about the dry fort? What's going on with that one, mate? Yes, yes, terrible thing. Don't know why you'd be asking me about it. Did I mention how the shipments stopped arriving? Well, morale's been low, mate. It has. That's all I know. Why did the shipments stop arriving? Well, I have I've no idea. You've been in my desk. 
My desk. You've been in there. Well, well that's, that's an outrage. Stolen liquor? I, I have no idea. All right, perhaps I have been hiding the alcohol. It was just for their own good. And I had hoped that if the soldiers got fed up and revolted, I'd be able to justify going home to my superior. Look, I don't want any trouble from you. So they've actually managed to plan this game that he has a different speech based on whether you have or haven't searched his desk before to discover all of the alcohol. All right, so you just want to get off this godforsaken island, mate. I get it. What do we do? Do we report this to Carius, or is the secret safe? Because Carius so far doesn't actually seem like an arsehole. Carius so far seems okay. But at the same time, we have killed a god and a king. So I kind of get it. Maybe we help him out. He's trying his best. He's... question is, has he been drinking it? Has he been drinking it? That's the, he did take their boot. No snitching. No snitching. You, you know what? I get it, mate. Your secret's safe with me for the time being. L if Lust T is one thing, she is discreet. Lust T is discreet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look, take this key. You'll find all the misplaced liquor in the closet. The troops will be happy to have it again. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to talk to you. Just don't tell them what I did. Nucius's key has been added to your inventory. The closet, you say? Right. The closet. Thank you, Nucius. Let's go and find where the closet is. If I was a closet, where would I be? Gotta find where he's, uh, he's put the special closet now. Yes? What can this I mean, this is the Imperial Shrine, so it might be around here somewhere. I am literally walking around in the king's robe, and so far we have not you. Okay, I'm listening. Where is it that thing? Yep. Need to try and find where the closet is. Yo, where's the closet, mate? You you mentioned it somewhere. You know what, don't worry about it, I'll find it. It's uh it can't be a mile, million miles away, can it? It will be somewhere. We will find where it will be. Oh, hello, Carnius. Oh, I've heard you're important. We'll chat later. Right now, I need to find some booze. Just give me a sec, mate. We've... Nope. Not you. You're locked. We'll find it. There was a closet. There it was. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed a closet. Like, that's a large chest. That's a chest of drawers. That's a... Oh, yeah. But that's not it. That's not locked, see? That's just called closet. We've got a key, so we need to find a specific locked closet that contains... This is his room, anyway. We have to find a locked closet, which is absolutely full of booze. And then we can go and give it back to the captain and be like, Yo! I've saved your fort. Everyone can get drunk. What a quest. What an absolutely great quest. Morrowind, everyone. It could be behind the locked door. I'm going to go back to his office above the armory. The armory being over here. I'm trying as hard as I can to do as many of these quests without a quest guide. Because I want to see if the... The game... Wooden door, lock level 80. That was still locked, so... I want to see if the game is effectively laid out well enough that I can finish it without needing a guide. Hey Josh, first time viewer here, but I've watched the Was It Any Good series a lot. Recently used the Tomb Raider one. Oh, excellent. Not sure how the whole questions bit works, but I did have one. I'm an actor by trade. Fantastic, well done with that. I've done a few gigs on and off the West End. That's Where's very impressive. Your uniform? I hate these uniform people. I've Where's always struggled to master, for want of a better word, is being fully present or free when on stage. Do you have any tips or experience on your own regarding it? That's an interesting question. That's deep. I like that. So, someone once said to me that acting is lying, and I, it took me a long time to realise that acting is just telling the truth from somebody else's perspective. But when you are on stage, I mean, I don't know how experienced you will be, so I don't want to come across patronising, but whenever I'm teaching anyone anything, I always say to them, I always start every lesson with, look, I'm going to teach you 
as if you are 10 years old. It is not because I think you're an idiot and it's not because I'm trying to patronize you. It's because it's the only way that I can guarantee to myself that I've got across all the information that I need to get across in a way that is easily understandable for everyone in the class, for both you and for me. If I was teaching you, that's what I would say. And most people say to me, yep, totally get it, totally understand. If you are on stage, you have got a million and one things to remember. Are you hitting your blocking correctly? Are you projecting your voice correctly? Is your costume all okay and still? What's the next line? What's the line that came before it? What's the exact cue? Is the lighting in the right place? Are the people in the wings ready to come on at the right time? There's a thousand things for you to remember. And the best way that I find is to overlearn everything. Some people often say to me that, I mean, one of the worst things I ever heard an actor say was I was, you know, acting with someone and they said, oh, I don't, I don't learn. Oh, closets there. They say, oh, I don't learn my lines too much because if I overlearn them, it won't sound like they're natural. I only learn enough so I'm still actually thinking about them when I'm on stage. And I said, that is the worst advice I have ever heard somebody give anyone. What you should do is overlearn every single line so you don't need to give any brain power whatsoever to remembering what your next line is. It is completely natural. You need to automate as many processes as you possibly can so your brain power can be effectively freed up for acting. Learn the lines to the point where it's completely natural and then make it sound like it's the first time you've ever said it because that is acting. So if you're struggling with being present on stage, one of the best ways that you can kind of free up brain power is saying to yourself, right, can I overlearn something to the point where I don't need to think about it? If you're struggling with being present, it's because your brain is distracted with other things. And sometimes you can be distracted with other actors. And I find one of the best ways to effectively calm myself when it comes to working with other actors is I learn their parts as well. So I've been in... I've your eyes. That guy really hates his job. I've been in stage plays before where I've learned every single character's part. I know the entire script. And I've sometimes been in scenes where I've said my line and the other actor has kind of just stared at me, been like, I don't know my line. And I'm there like, don't worry, mate, I've got you. And I'll just, I'll deliver their line, but in a way that my character would say it as well, which I think is great because it gives me more lines. I've had directors come to me before and say, hey, uh, do you know this part it's bigger than the part you've got but we need someone to play it and i've gone yeah i know that i'll do that as well that's fine overlearn everything the more you know the less you need to worry about and someone just in the chat said what about improvisation so i'm going to give you a little cheat right now improvisation is not always completely random and it's not always completely improvised i made a joke in one of the last streams that got clipped saying you know streamers when they say big things are coming they should say something like i'm going to invade croatia you think that was random? No. Croatia is the exact country that Jazz Emu uses in his song. I just stole that from him. When you improvise, you're not trying to think of something brand new that has never been done before. You're trying to think of two or three things that you already know that you are very familiar with that you can put into a new setting. So when you're on stage and someone goes, oh my God, I've never seen that scene before. Okay, cool. It might just be three or four scenes that I can remember and think of that I'm going to smash together. One of the things that I do all the times is, you know the, um, the film Starship Troopers? I love Starship Troopers. I think it's fantastic. One of my favorite lines in that film is when the news reporter starts going, it's an ugly planet, a bug planet. That cadence, that phrasing, that effectively scaffolding if you will of phrase is it's a something planet a something planet you can take that and use that in pretty much any kind of phrase if you want to i mean you can i was in a an improv scene once where they were saying okay you're a news reporter at a a new club go and i just ran forward and went it's it's a fantastic club it's a disco club and that was just me taking the framework that I knew from a different film and adding in words that were relevant to this specific situation. You can take the framework that you know and add it into a new situation with new words that relate to the situation. And people will think, oh my goodness, you've just invented something new. Hi Josh, is this game from the 90s? Close, it was made in 2002. So if you're struggling on stage, I know this has been a long answer. It's an awful fort, a dry fort.
See? You just take the silly things and add them in. So when you're struggling to improvise, it's often because you're trying to come up with something that's never been done before. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new in Hollywood. Come up with two or three ideas that have already been done and mash them together in brand new and interesting ways. That's the way I do it. Let's open this closet and go and uh, give the booze back. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, this dude is... Do we take the Sujama? It's an empty planet. It's a boring planet. Starfield. Yes. Oh, it just works. See, when, when a funny thing happens in a Bethesda game and you say, it just works, that's not being original. That's just taking the framework of Todd's joke, slapping it on something new. So if I was going to say, right, you know, I need to be present on stage, how much brain power can I free up by thinking of every, overlearning everything else? And then if I need to improv... Can I effectively pre-plan improv? Where's your uniform? Oh, I took my spear out and he turned around. That's what she said. No time for jokes. Now we need to go and talk to the dude again. <laughs> I'm going to steal some booze. I'm going to take that. This is mine now. Close the door. Stealth mode. This is mine. Sujana. All of it. In my inventory. All of it dropped on the floor. Oh yeah, all of it picked up. Now the thief flag has gone because that's how the game works. I am very fast. Do you mean like thinking of comedy? Because I am very Where's quick with room? comedy. You know, I, I get there in two minutes. Don't clip that out of context. Again, that wasn't me being original. I was prepared for that kind of joke. As soon as you said get there quick, I thought, right, quick, we can make a sexual joke with this. We can tie that together with a really fast joke, comedy, quickie thing. It all just works. You're all, some of you go, oh my goodness, he's, he's so funny and so fast. I'm thinking of this two or three steps ahead. You know, you think I'm playing chess. I'm playing 4D poker checkers. That's what I'm playing. And then all the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Yeah. Even that was stolen from Futurama. Nothing original happens in this stream. All I'm doing is just remixing and reblending all the other comedy that I've heard before. And some of you will appreciate it. But none of it's new. Absolutely none of it. That's how you play jazz. It is. It's exactly how you play jazz. All the, the notes are just random order. Oh, you were the dude that I spoke to that Where's was. Where's your uniform? I don't want to stab a man in the face. I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? I've been on this island for 10 minutes and I've discovered a conspiracy, a drunk priest, your soldiers hate you, I've been asked about my uniform, and you just seem arrogant and cocky. I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? Yes, I have. You say the shipment had merely been misplaced, and this was all a big miscommunication. It's ridiculous. I expected better of my men, and myself. Especially myself. Thank you for your help, Lusty. Take these. There are diseases on the island we have never encountered. I would hate to see you ill. Now, though, there is more fort business to discuss. As I have told you, not all of my soldiers here are trustworthy. Many were sent to this fort in lieu of Ebenhardt's dungeons. Now, I fear that a criminal element has shown itself at Fort Frostmoth. I believe there are weapons being smuggled out of here and sold on Vardenfell. I've noticed the store of weapons in the armory has been decreasing, and I know there is no official reason for it. My only guess is that someone is smuggling them off Solstheim to be sold on Vardenfell, and I want you to uncover this smuggling ring. And I will provide you with a bit of help. I would like you to work with one of my soldiers on the case. There are two available to you, and they are two of the best here at Fort Frostmoth. Sanus Lucius and Gaia Artoria. You'll find Lucius in the general quarters, and Artoria in the general quarters upper level. Speak with them, and decide which will be your companion. When you have unearthed the smuggling ring, report to me. I'll leave how to deal with the smugglers to your discretion. It's a dangerous thing here at Fort Frostmoth. Our supplies are limited, and without them... I fear the soldiers will grow even more restless. And what is a fort without its weapons? Useless. I knew bringing the... I knew bringing the sword eater to the fort was a bad idea. 
Oh, it's okay. He was just low on iron. Oh, joke. You've been in here 50 minutes. There was the first original joke and it was shit. Now you know why I don't try and do anything original. Hey, Josh, finally caught a live stream. I want to tell you, I love your YouTube content. Thanks for your videos. You are more than welcome. Inju, do not boo my joke. Don't do it, all right? Good energy. We're going to be here for at least six hours. We need some good, positive, focused energy. Josh, do you know anyone who works with scientific... I do not, unfortunately. Dad jokes, so much hate. Look, dad jokes are great. So we've got two people we can choose. We can talk to either Sanus Lucius or... Okay, so... Senius Lucius is one of the brightest soldiers, whereas Gaia Artoria is one of his strongest. General Quarters upper level. All right, we can talk to the strongest person. Where is the... No, that's the box room. Where is the General Quarters upper level? I'll talk to the strong one. All right, where's strong boy? Yo, where's uh, your uniform? You're out of uniform. Talk to me when you're serious. Literally the king. Move. Just don't. Just let me scooch. Just gonna scoochie on past you there. Right. Where's Gaia or Gaia? Yo. Captain said you'd be by. I'm supposed to assist you with something. Yeah. Captain said something about some smugglers. Want to go crack some skulls? Yes. Straight away. I do. I like your attitude. I'm not even talking to the other person. Um. No. That that's mean. That's unfair. I like her attitude. She's got a can-do attitude. And she can do me any time, that's fine. But we need to go and talk to the other dude first. I'm not sure whom I will work with yet. Up to you. I'll be here if you need me. Captain said you'd be by. I'm supposed to assist you with something? I even like her accent. And red hair. Okay, we're... Every, you know what? You're ticking all the boxes. But we very much need to go down and chat to the other person first of all. But there's a lot of boxes ticked there. Straight away. Okay? There's... Not denying that could be a very good choice. All right, where's the other dude, the smart man? Yo. Captain Carius mentioned that you might come to speak with me. How may I? Assist? Where's your uniform? You can go away. I'm going to talk to you. How may I assist you? Ah, yes. The smuggling ring. Captain Carius mentioned something about that. I would be glad to help, though I'm admittedly not the most handy with my blade. I believe I can help guide you through this conundrum. All right, do we go with Mr. Mensa over here, or do we go with Hot Redhead Woman? I think we go with Hot Redhead Angry Girl. I'm... yeah, no. As you wish. If you change your mind, let me know. Okay, so I spoke to Mr. Smarty Pants, and everything, every fiber of my being... I think Lusty would absolutely go with a hot, angry redhead over Smart Boy. Captain said you'd be by. I'm supposed to assist you with something? Yes, you are, Gaia. I want to... You and me, I would like to work with you. Sounds good. Let's go get them. Sanius will have to run those other errands Captain Carrius had for us to do. I'm ready for some action. I bet you are, but first of all, we need to do this quest. Okay, so, let's talk smugglers. What are we doing? Where are we going? Give me... Give me some weapons being smuggled. Well, I figure they're taking the weapons from here and then bringing them somewhere else. Captain doesn't like it. Hope that helps. Someone else must know something. Let's go crack some skulls. <laughs> All right, you know what? You are completely useless, but you're hot. So you are on the team. It's fine. I like the fact... <laughs> good choice. I immediately regret my choice of partner. Like, I, I was thinking with the wrong head here, and now I'm stepped back and I'm thinking, maybe we should have gone with the smart guy. Why have you got nipple armor? Why? Your journal's been updated. What does my journal say about this specific situation? Great Artoria believes we should start talking to other soldiers, but does not know whom. Good, good start. Okay. You know what? Come with me, because you're now my partner. I'm going to go and talk with the smart guy and ask what he knows about this smuggling ring. Can you imagine how offended you would be? Like, I don't want to work with you because I don't want to see you repeatedly, but I do need your knowledge. And he's gone. Okay. Bugger. Right. Let's see who we can find who might be slightly smart. Uh, we'll head outside. There's got to be... There's got to be someone smart somewhere around here. I mean, originally those... Those nipple divots weren't actually carved into her armor. It's just really cold in Fort Frostmoth. It, that just happens if you work here long enough. I had to jump across and get to you. Yep. 
Yes. Where's your uniform? Oh my Where's damn it. Your uniform? <laughs> I tried the jump, hit the edge. <laughs> he asked me where the uniform was. You fall off down to here and that's his first question. Not, are you okay? What's wrong? Who's the hot redhead? Just straight away. You're out of uniform. Talk to me when you're serious. Where's your uniform? I'm trying to fix the smuggling issue. Yo. How can I help you? You're out of... No one will talk to me. Oh, the armory. The armory's probably important. You're out of uniform. Talk to... Oh. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're just not... I'm not giving in. To, I'm not putting my uniform on. It's not happening. Oh, God. I don't even know where the girl is that we're working with. She's gone somewhere. Okay, so the armory. This makes sense. The stuff is here. The stuff is leaving here and going somewhere else. Where would it go? If I was a smuggled bit of armor... Where would I be? Hey. Hey. Right, Where's, your, Where's uniform? your uniform? Oh, that's gonna get real old real quick. There wasn't... I'm trying to find anyone that basically doesn't always ask me that question. Oh, nice. You can pop up here and see what's going on view of the island which is lovely oh by the way this expansion pack's huge like we've we're there we've got all of this island left to go so it's gonna be a long stream gonna be here for a while how are you guys all doing you guys all good josh azora's coming into your dreams again she's wondering why the nerevarine is out of uniform the nerevarine's uniform is the robe of a dead king and the sword of a dead demigod both of which i've got and proudly wear all the time Right, having a lovely Sunday afternoon, thanks. I'm glad you're having so, a lovely where are you from? lovely Sunday afternoon. Do you want to talk to me? So, where are you from? No, you just want my uniform again. God, you're all sticklers for... Sticklers for ceremony, aren't you? Specifically... Yo, there we go, Antonius. What do you know about the weapons being smuggled? The... Okay, can I even ask you about smuggling? Wolves, I can ask you about. Morale... Apparently I can't ask you about smuggling. What about the latest rumours? Diseased wolves and bears? What about a little secret? No? Okay. Thieves stash hidden in one of the ice caves? We could go there. Stop okay. Here. You won't tell me anything about the smugglers. I don't want to put a uniform on. Yo, Jeline, talk to me, mate. Can you tell me about the things going missing? No, you can't. Little advice? All right, no. Little la latest rumor, maybe? Watch yourself at Thrisk. Nothing but a bunch of drunken barbarians, I tell you. Where's Thrisk? It lies to the northeast. Well, let's just pop over there then, shall we? See what's going on. Now's the time to talk. <sighs> do I need to put my uniform on? Is that ah, a... a visitor. What may I do for you? Servius Gratius, ask your questions, but be quick, maid. I'm quite busy with the moon sugar investigation. She's not insulting me. My class is maid. So I'll ask her about moon sugar in a second, because that sounds great. But what do you know about the weapons being smuggled? Smuggling? I, I don't know anything about that. Not sure I'd tell you if I did, but... Since I heard you're working with Artoria, you might want to speak to Zeno Faustus here in the fort. He knows things. I'll be finding him in the armory. All right, Zeno Faustus, but what about your moon sugar investigation? You're new at Frostmoth, so I guess you haven't heard. Over the past couple of months, several people across Solstheim have been poisoned with moon sugar. Someone's been slipping it into their food and wine. They experience temporary euphoria and then complete exhaustion. Oh, we've all been there. If I had a pound every time someone said that to me, oh, I'd be in debt. I've been charged with finding the culprit and bringing him to justice, or her... Okay. Women can poison people too. Recently, our cult priest Jeline was poisoned, so it's now officially an imperial matter. If it were just the locals, the Empire couldn't be bothered, but now one of our own has been affected. Last week, our cult priest was stricken with moon sugar euphoria after drinking some wine. 
I don't have the manpower to deal with this problem, but my superiors are getting impatient. They want the culprit dead. I need to call upon you, as a loyal member of the Imperial Legion, to bring this poisoner to justice. What say you? Will you serve me and the Empire? Look, right now, no. Very well. Then I hope you will put any personal matter to rest as quickly as you can and are able, and then return to accept this mission. You are a member of the Imperial Legion, Lusty, and our first duty is to the Empire. I know things seem a bit lax around here, and some of the other guards aren't as motivated as they should be. I expected better from you. Good day. I killed the king. I'm wearing his clothes. I've got his ring on. I'm not exactly the loyalist servant of the Emperor, but thank you for the advice about Zeno. We'll go and chat to Zeno, wherever he is. Where's my hot redhead gone? A pleasant evening to you, citizen. Where's your uniform? The dichotomy of man right there. Pleasant Where's evening, your... but where is your uniform? Hope you've been well since I've been in last. I've been very well. We have finished Tribunal, and now we're over in Fort Frostmoth, playing through Blood Moon. That is the king of Morrowind, so it's kind of in the uh, Empire's interest to remove the middle manager. That's true. Hello, Josh. I love your work. Wanted to share a story. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you love it. You're welcome to share it, but I'll read it if I can. But I am very much focusing right now on trying. What is it you want? As hard as I can to find out this smuggling ring. Zeno, you're out of uniform. Talk to me when you're serious. Interesting. Interesting. So, Zeno's got a lot of st stuff over here. Like, a lot of stuff. King Hellset. Is this 100% run? So, not really. I just thought it'd be funny to kill him. I... You know what? What if I were to... I've got a, an item that can momentarily enhance... I can charm people, can't I? What's my charm item? Sure, there's something I can do that. It's Fortify Speechcraft, isn't it? Where is my Fortify Speechcraft? Fortify Speechcraft on self. Yo, you still won't talk to me. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. You won't talk to me. Will my partner help? Where's your uniform? I hate it here. Let's see if we can find where my partner's gone. Where's your uniform? I'm not putting it on. Purely out of spite at this point. Where's she gone? Like, where on earth is she? If I rest, do you think she'll come and find me? Oh, there you are. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we need to chat to Zeno. Maybe you should come with me. Come with me. See if you can... Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're good. Cooking with gas now. Let's pop over to the armory. See if you'll Where's talk to Zeno game? for me. Hey, hot stuff. How's your stream going, PS Wet? It started so well as a sentence. It was so strong. I was like, yeah. Then I read the end of it and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, thanks. This is good. This is great. Okay. You talk to you. What is it you want? I want you to talk to me while I'm out of uniform. <sighs> Weapons being smuggled. You know what? I don't need this. I'm going to go and find this without you. I am going to go and find what's in this door. I am currently hidden. I have got my own spell, skeleton key, but better. Unfortunately, it needs more mana than I've got. So instead, I'm just going to go and actually try and work out what's going on. If Where's weapons are leaving the fort, they are clearly coming out of the fort from somewhere and going into a box somewhere and then being shipped away somewhere. So let's just have a quick check, see what we can find in these boxes around here. It might be in a box. You never know. Maybe I can ask you guys about it. Hey, how's it going, dude? Sorry, Argonian. Go see Carnius Magius in the shrine. I'll go Quickly, chat to Carnius. You know what? Time. Imperial Broadsword, Imperial Shortsword. 
Oh! That is a box full of weapons. Okay. That's a box full of weapons right there. There are swords in that box there. You guys are hanging out here. And there are also Imperial swords in these boxes. So I feel that this is definitely where the weapons are coming to. And you guys are asking me to talk to who? Quickly, Outlander. I have a Carnius Magius in the shrine. Let's go and chat to Carnius Magius, see what he's all about. See, that might not be a shipment to the fortress. That might be a shipment away from the fortress. But if we go chat to Carnius Magius in the shrine, is there a uniform in the box? Annoyingly, no. There actually isn't. And what do you know about smuggled weapon? Yeah, you were one that said go and speak to Zeno, yes, weren't you? Friend. Do you sell? No, you don't. The shrine. Let's talk to Carnio, wherever he may be. You were useless because you were just getting drunk the entire time. Carnio wasn't in a guard's uniform, so I'm hoping this dude might actually talk to me. You! What is it? What do you want? Is this about the East Empire Company? I'm a very important man, I'll have you know, and I have no time for anything other than business. Oh. Well, tell me about the East Empire Company. Yes, that's right. I'm the local factor. Not that it means much at this point. Our operations are just getting underway, and frankly, we're short-handed. We could use some help. Do you wish to join the East Empire Company? That depends, mate. Do you have a uniform? Your interest is commendable, and we certainly use the manual labour, nothing else. As with all businesses, make sure you understand the requirements before agreeing to anything. What are the requirements? It's a business. Applicants should have a winning personality and a strong will. Those with the ability to speak eloquently and barter shrewdly are most valuable. Given the hostile environments of the company often ventures into, applicants should have a keen sense of security. Finally, all applicants should be trained in the long time honored virtues of long blades and medium armor, as has been customary in the company for generations. No. Okay, makes little difference to me. Others can be found to do the job. Right. What about the latest rumors? Watch yourself with Thrisk. I want to solve this quest, this mystery, but I don't want to put a uniform on. Like, I just. I just straight up don't want to. Oh, hey, you've uh, you made it back. Well done. I don't want to do it. Greetings. This is where we sit around and look good. It pretty much is. We. I'm attempting to finish Morrowind in a way that Morrowind should not be finished. First of all, without using a guide, and then without using my uniform, either. Oh, yeah, what do you know about the moon sugar investigation, Jeline? Yes, I, I too was stricken with moon sugar euphoria. It was just last week, after a cult service, I sat down to some wine, and moments later, something was wrong. I am a law-abiding man, Lusty. I have never experienced anything so free in all my life. The laughing, the dancing. It was horrible. And then, as I drifted off, I saw him. A strange man, old and frail. Certainly no Nord. Wearing a white Colovian fur helm. But even stranger was his silly song. If you want something, now's the I am wearing a white Colovian fur helm. Thanks for recommending Megamind. Completely went under the radar. Just watched it. Absolutely incredible. Also, for the love of God, get your uniform. Thank you for the tip. I'm glad you enjoyed Megamind. I, I love some of the lines in that film. Can't talk now. We're having the walls and ceiling removed when he's getting out. I love that so much. The exciting room when she falls into it and it's just sharks and a disco ball. And she's like, wow, that room is exciting. It's such a silly, uh, a silly thing. Yours is yellow and not that stylish. I've not banned anyone in a long time, but I will. How dare you. Just murder a guard. I could just kill a guard and take their uniform. Ah. Oh. You may be a villain, but you're not a super one. What's the difference? Presentation. Ah. Oh. Do I give in and wear a uniform? Do we actually... Time now. Do we have to have a discussion? Where's your uniform? None of you will talk to me out of uniform. None of you. Yes. Murder solves everything. No. It's okay. We won't tell anyone you did it. Let's leave the fort for a bit and have a look around the island, see what's going on. Hey. How's it going, bro? Be careful out here in the wild, friend. There's more roaming about than just wolves and bears. So, you travel the wilds of Solstheim just as I do. 
Here's a word of advice from one wanderer to another. Keep your eyes open and your wits about you. There's more than bears and wolves roaming about this island. If you find yourself face to face with berserkers or freeze hags, sheath your blade and get running. If you need shelter, my kinsfolk at Thrisk will gladly take you in. Thrisk. It's the finest mead hall you'll ever visit, friend. It lies north of here, to the east of Lake Fjolding. If you reach Skarl Village, you've gone too far. When you get there, see Ulfron. She's in charge of the mead. And will gladly sell you a flagon or three. Okay, so I'm immediately dropping the, the Imperial Quest, and we're just going to Thrisk, aren't we? Can we all agree that we're doing that instead? I know where the loot is, um, and you have even heard of the location at least once. It's probably the Thieves' Cave, isn't it? Tell me about the rumours. Ever been to Bodir Grove? Those stones used to be men, before some nasty wizard got to them. That's what the legend says, anyway. Okay, what about the Thief Cave? I will go to the Mead Hall soon. But I want to know about this Thief Cave. That's just... Latest rumour. Yes, friend. Because they don't tell you things... Needlessly. Little advice? Little secret? Oh, there's some kind of thieves stash hidden in one of the ice caves. You know what, if it's a thieves stash, what else are you going to steal? The only thing worth stealing is in this island, on this specific castle. Where's an ice cave? If I were an ice cave, where would I be? Probably somewhere cold. You know what? Let's go exploring. Let's go find an ice cave. There's a bear over there. Let's go and fight it. How hard can a bear be to kill? Are we still evil? We are chaotic neutral, I would say. Sometimes you help out an old lady who has a quest. Sometimes you kill a king. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're here as well. We are, we're definitely chaotic neutral. Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad. But in general, I'd say we're, we're pretty neutral, aren't we? Chaotic good. We're mega mind levels of evil. We want to say that we're evil, but really, really, we're actually quite nice. And sometimes you do misplace your uniform. So we're after a thief's cave in the frozen part of the island. Now, a thief's cave is probably going to be somewhere near the water. I'm just guessing that. Oh, a bear. Not even trying. How easy. Oh, what's that? Hello. Who are you? You are dead. Because my... Oh, that's a freeze hag. Winter wound dagger. Value a thousand. Frost damage. Disintegrate armor. 20 points for 10 seconds. Well, that's... Ooh, okay. I don't want my armor disintegrated, so maybe let's not fight these guys in close combat. Okay. Bears take a couple of stabs to kill. Thankfully, my... Oh, you're actually fighting a bear, are you? Don't die. NPCs in this can legitimately die, so... Hopefully she doesn't. We don't need any snow bear pelts, so I'd say we're good there. There are some very mean random weapons in this game. Yeah, there are. I mean, we've got one of them. This is the spear that Sheogorath gave me. That is a naked Nord. Is that a berserker? You said you can get their weapons. You don't have any weapons. She's a drunk man in some pants. That's a hawker. And yet it is now dead. Wow, hawkers take three hits to kill. That's uh, that's actually quite tough. Still got the Wikizashi. We've got the Deodric Daikatana right now. We're doing good with this. Naked, the man was clearly wearing underpants. Can I pronounce it right? Wakizashi or Wakizashi? Because there's two ways to pronounce that. Have a quick nap. I'm looking for that thieves thing. Apparently. Yeah, you keep coming with me, Gaia. We're doing a different mission right now. I'm glad that you're here. But we're doing something totally different. You're... You know what I could just do is jump around the island. I forgot I could do that. I'll do that in a second. Hang on. Let's just... What's this? What is that? You? Oh, oh, damn, okay. You're tough. But if you're going to attack me, I'm going to kill you. Smuggler! Broadsword, okay. Lockpick. 
smuggler. What's going on? What's happening over here? I see. Little rowboat. Got some smuggling going on, have we? Well, I've found the smugglers. And I've killed them. Did I randomly solve the mystery? I might have done. However, we still don't know who was taking the things. And I don't think there's any... There's no specific kind of items on them that would help me. No. So we found where they're being smuggled from, but not who's taking them. They haven't even got a uniform on them, so we can't even take that. You know what I can do is I can just... I can use my amulet of Van Halen to cast Jump. Then the Colovian fur helmet to land and not die. And if we jump across the island, we should be able eventually to find the ice cave. Thankfully, I can kill these guys quite quickly. I appreciate how Josh performs without a net of any moderators at all. So actually, I've got quite a few moderators in the chat, but you won't see them because this, I think, is a very self-moderated chat. We were actually talking about this a couple of days ago. This Twitch channel is, I think, very much appealing to millennials and kind of boomers, if you will. We've got a couple of Gen Zs in there. I see you guys, but you're cool. And I think what it is is a lot of... If people are going to watch a middle-aged British guy play a 22-year-old RPG, it's not normally the kind of vibe that needs to be heavily moderated. It's normally a lot more chill. So I'm using my amulet of Van Halen to just jump all the way around and... We need to be looking for an ice cave somewhere. But where is my uniform? Where is my uniform? You can die, wolf. This island is massive. Oh, hello. What is this? This is like a little tomb. What's going on here? Solstheim. Oh, the Kjellborn Cobjorn Barrow. Is that the other quest we were doing? The patchwork airship? Recover that. Oh, the crew has failed me. Oh, it's the Hrothman's barrow that I need. Right, this is the wrong barrow. We don't need to be here. But should we go and loot it? Josh, I watched your Tomb Raider Was It Good video. Do you still do those? I mean, yeah. The last video I put out was Was It Good Dawn of War, which was the um, Warhammer Dawn of War real-time strategy game, which I think went really well. I think we should go in. Barrows are made for looting. They are, aren't they? They're just like little parties for the living, thrown by the dead. Ooh, it's... It's dark. However, my magical flame sword acts as a torch. It actually does. It's got uh, a very small illumination on it as well. What's... What's going on down here? Bones? I suppose we should have expected to find those in a barrow. My goodness! Elandra, thank you for gifting 44 tier 1 subs. That is remarkably kind of you. Hopefully you're enjoying Morrowind as much as I am enjoying playing it. Let me know what you're up to in the chat. I'm just... I'm actually quite nervous in these barrows. Oh, hello! It's a... It, oh, God. Okay, they're, they're actually quite tough. They take three hits from this sword to kill. That is a Morrowind Draugr. That is what they looked like before before Skyrim. This is effectively the Nordic thing going on. I find it fascinating that in Morrowind, Solstheim looks like Skyrim, but in Skyrim, Solstheim looks like Morrowind. You know what? This does have a very Skyrim feel to it, doesn't it? Because it's kind of like the, the Nordic... the Nordic North. Now, the sword that I'm using does have the extra 30 fire damage on it, which makes it really powerful. And we did get it by killing Almalexia. Okay, Stralrim, you don't have the tools to do anything with this when I attempt to interact with it. So we're clearly not meant to be in this barrow yet. It just says you have no tools, you can't interact with this. All right, maybe we are a little bit too far ahead. Maybe we need to wait a bit until we've got the specific tools. But we know where the barrow is now. 
which is good. So we can come back to the barrow as and when we need to. Now, there is one mod for Morrowind that I might look into in the future, and that is the kind of Tamriel rebuilt or the extended one, which I think is a fan mod that adds in a landmass bigger than the original game. That, I love the, that is a gorgeous skybox. Yeah, there is a, there is a mod that adds in an absolutely massive landmass. I'm going to wait for a bit until we get some sunlight. Where's my partner? She, she's gone. Yeah, so I really do want to play that mod at some point. We're looking around. I need the ice caves. The ice caves were all I wanted. I want to find what the hell the smugglers are doing. Oh, that's... That is Fort Frostmoth. This is... That's a bear. That's not the barrow we just went to, is it? I don't think it is. Let me kill this bear. Lounge Lizard, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Just slap this bear around for a bit. The sword away, because she moves slightly faster. The Stromfund Barrow. We don't need to be at Stromfund yet. Oh. Hello. Oh, you can summon Bone Lords, can you? Well, I can slap you with a flaming sword. So, who's the real winner here? What is that? It's another... I'm trying to solve this quest without doing the quest, effectively. Like, I could just put on my uniform. If we can't find any leads on this quest soon, I will put on my uniform and ask. But I just... I was hoping to be able to do this. With, oh, wow, okay. You are very cold. I was hoping to be able to do most of this quest without anything else. We have been raided. DJ, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. If you have just joined the raiding party, if you're new over here, I'm Josh. This is Morrowind. That's all you need to know. Let's play a 22-year-old RPG. You may know me from the YouTube channels, Josh Strife Hayes. Or the other one, Josh Strife Plays. Or the other one, Josh Strife Says. Or the other one, Josh Strife Replays. And that's it. That's all the channels you get. You don't deserve any more. You have four. That's enough. That's all the YouTube you need. That's... You don't get any more. Greedy. That's what you are if you want more than that. If you're down there thinking, oh my goodness, I need some more channels. No, you don't. Stop it. Stop watching too much YouTube. Go and do something else. That's all you're allowed. Until I come up with even more channels. Then I will expect you to subscribe to all of them. That's what I want. You know what? I haven't even thought about this, but if I were smuggling stuff, I would probably build some kind of barrow by the water. Like this is here. Let me just have a quick, quick jump down, see what this is going on. Oh, the Gandrung Caverns. Why don't we pop inside? Your journal's been updated. What does it say? I have found the smuggler's cave that Zeno Faustus suggested we investigate. Zeno Faustus didn't suggest shit. He just told me to put my uniform on repeatedly. I did this. I got here. Me and Hot Redhead Girl, who were no longer here. But I'm glad that we actually finished the quest without putting our uniform on. That vindicates me a lot. That very much vindicates me. I also appreciate whoever in the chat just said this clip is too long. This is a... This is effectively an unfiltered clip. That's what it is. If you really like the clip channel... This Twitch stream is just that, but I can't guarantee the quality of all of the clips. Hey! How's it going, Moose? This character is in combat. This is pointless. Give in. Oh. Hang on. He just stunned himself. Because I've got a ring that has 100% reflect. Which means he just hit me with a weapon that paralyzes and now is forced to stand there through his own paralysis while I stab him to death. That's what you get, mate. See, that's what you get when you use a weapon that has paralysis on it on me when I've killed the king. Silver Axe of Paralysis, paralyzed for 10 seconds. He is stunned by my lack of uniform. He is. We could take his. I could take your whole uniform right now, mate. But you know what? Moose Rosius, you stay there. 
I'm going to investigate the rest of this cave. Hello, this rat down here. You did nothing wrong, rat. Unfortunately, you were just in the way. You are a victim of combat, and I am sorry about that. What's happening over here? I think we've found the smuggler's cave. Look at this. Oh, what's it? Locked. Locked. Barrel. Locked. Bottle. You guys having a lovely little, little shindig down here? What else is in the barrels? Dwarven... Dwarven crossbow. God damn, that's actually a really powerful weapon. Journeyman's armor's hammer. I actually do need one of those. And that is... It's a sujama. Always take... You're over-encumbered. That's fine. I can drink some sujama. I've got 14. You know, I'll have a... Potion of cure common disease. I'm not going to get disease. Nobody needs that. That's taking up too much space in the infantry. Let's have a nap. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Well... Well, I guess we have to go and kill some things then. We found some Sujama. We really did. That's lock level 60. That's lock level 50. That's 80. Why don't I cast my own maid spell? Where is it? Skeleton key, but better. On this. Oh, yeah. What's in here? Bear boots. Bear cuirass. Bear left pauldron. Bear right gauntlet. That is nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. I feel I've wasted my time. Never drink the potions. What if you need them later? Best to save them forever. If you don't fight the final boss with 400 of every single kind of consumable or stackable item in the game, are you even playing an RPG? I don't even know what a high elixir does in Final Fantasy VII. I just had all of them. People are like, are you, that's a grenade. You should use it in the game. No, 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 that's a, that's a trick. That's a trick for new players. See, what's happened is you've you've given me a consumable expendable item and you've expected me to use it at this fight right now because, you know, good game design would say that you give a character an item, you give a player an item, you put them in an experience where they need to use it, a situation that is designed. That's a hidden tutorial right there, but we know better. Us real RPG players, we know better. You never use your consumable items. If you do, you've failed. Like, I would rather die than use healing items. That's how seriously I take never using the items. Not consumables. Collectibles. That's what they are. Alright, so, we have discovered... That person just said to me, you'll be dead soon. But what if I turn invisible? What if I use my invisibility ring? There's a chest. It's locked. What if I now use my vampire ring to gently stroke your face? I'm not giving up that oh either. yeah, you have been touched, my friend. You have been touched by the vampiric touch of death. Watch you as you slowly you die. die. There we go. Okay, so the vampiric thing that I found is incredibly overpowered. Like, ridiculously overpowered. And all you have to do is just touch someone and they slowly lose health and fatigue, and you gain health and fatigue. It's this thing here. Let me see if I can find it for you. There we go, look. Vampiric Ring, cast when used. Absorb fatigue, absorb health. So it absorbs either 200 or 300 health and 200 or 300 fatigue, and it all goes to me. It's amazing. It's fantastic. All Lusty has to do is touch a man, and he will die. What is in here? Lock level 50. Can I have a nap? I can't have a nap. Let me, let me touch somebody else. Come over here. Enjoy the stroke of death. Let me... I'm invisible still, by the way, because I've used my chameleon 80% amulet. Because there's one thing I love, it's using massively overpowered magical items to completely break Morrowind. I haven't even got into alchemy. Oh. You will die here. <laughs> oh, you've actually... You're using... Oh, I, oh no. I see. Is that how we're playing it, Blood Moon? Is that how we're playing it? I was just messing around. I was just being silly. I was being a silly little guy. And okay, you then sent dudes on me that have massive amount of attack and reflect and damage and... Okay. Right. I see. I see. Right. New plan. New plan. No longer having fun. No one has any fun. No more fun for anyone. 
Amulet of Shadows. Invisible. God damn, you've got some serious health. His uniform is on him. He, I can't even... Stay still, dude. Stay, stay still. Don't, don't not be still. Come on. Where? That's it. Run into my spear. If I time this, I can stagger you repeatedly. As long as I hit you with every heavy attack. Yeah, Morrowind's combat system. Easy peasy. Lusty squeezy. Silver Sword of Paralysis. That's quite uh, quite good. All these are paralyzing swords, and they've got some damn good armor on them, to be fair. Good news. Now you've got the uniform. Still not going to wear it, though. Not wearing it. You remember the rhyme. Welcome to the stream. It's a very simple rhyme. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. That's the Twitch rhyme. It works on UK time. Gotcha. Sit down, son. Silver Sword of Paralysis. I will take that Paralysis Sword at some point, and I will use it, but I think right now I can use my Skeleton Key But Better spell, which should open some stuff. Let's find out. Chest level 60. Up we go. What we got? Steel Arrow, Exquisite Ring, Hackle Low Leaf. Can we have a nap? Can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Why? Where are the enemies? There's no one here. Everyone's dead. Right, we're solving this. This mystery. I've got my amulet of invisibility ready to go. Corpse. What was on you? Iron Saber, Nordic Fur Greaves. Nordic? Did you kill some Nords when you were down here? I'm going to steal that lockpick. That might be useful. I mean, I don't mind you smuggling, but killing innocent Nords while you were down here. Oh, goodness. I'm wearing a reflect ring, mate. If you attack me, it will reflect onto you. Have you summoned something? Sit down, son. What was that? Hello, you. Is that... That's not my helper, is it? That's someone else. Vampiric ring is ready. Come here, let me touch you. Yes, you have been touched by the power of the vampire. Now I just wait for you to slowly die. You can see the enemy's health to the bottom left. It is the... It is the yellow or orange thing, specifically. Silver Axe of Paralysis. Again, it's good, but I don't need this. This is a deep smuggler's cave, and there's a lot of people smuggling in this cave. I, I thought there'd be like two or three smugglers, but it turns out pretty much half the fort is very into smuggling right now. My goodness, thank you very much for gifting some subs out. That is remarkably kind. Germany, appreciate you. How are you doing today? Between Josh and Neil Newbin, I am now convinced BST is real. So I was lucky enough to meet Neil, and you know what? He's a lovely guy. He's like really genuine, really nice, a lot of time for people. So it does seem that half the half the fort is just smuggling stuff now. So GMT and BST. GMT is Greenwich Mean Time and BST is British Summer Time. England has this really weird thing where we actually have two time zones and we switch between them between spring and autumn. So in spring, the clocks go forward one hour. Remember, spring forward, fall back. So we ha it's daylight savings time, effectively. So we go from Greenwich Mean Time to British Summer Time. So during the... During the summer, we have a slightly different time. It's very, very strange. The Silver Staff of Paralysis. These guys are big into paralyzing. And if I didn't have Paralysis Reflection, this would be a really difficult little dungeon. Oh, what have we got? Hello, corpse. Bear Boots, Bear Shield, Wolf, Right Pauldron. It's pretty badass. So that's a Daedric Left Pauldron. My Right Pauldron... Okay, so my Right Pauldron resists Paralysis. But the Wolf Pauldron does nothing. However, I've got the King's Ring, which I think resists a lot of paralysis anyway. Annoyingly, though, this is really irritating. When you use a ring, it actually equips it to you. 
and I need to make sure I keep re-equipping the king's super powerful signet ring. So I could, I'm not saying I will, but I could put the wolf pauldron on. How does it look? Does it look cool? That's the question. You can't see it. That's, that's a bit crap. Okay, so I was hoping we'd be able to see the wolf pauldron, but turns out you just straight up can't. That is equipped. Yeah, that's that's boring. Let's let's drop that. I thought it'd be cool. If it was gonna be cool, I'd wear it. Where was the other pauldron? That was the one. Big wing pauldron. There we go. And you've got some quality fortify strength. I don't need that. My strength is as strong as it can be. Not as cool as my uniform. On Sundays at four, Josh will do a chore. Play a game with gore, and none of us will be bored. You know what? That's good. I'll take that. Daylight savings were invented as a fuel saving measure. I keep hearing different things that it was invented by farmers because of the sunlight, and then it was invented somewhere else. Ultimately, every single year, there is a discussion that we don't need it. And every single year, nothing changes. Like if I ever ran as a politician, that would be my only, only thing. I will get rid of daylight savings time because it's dumb having to change your clocks. And nobody ever changes the clock either on their oven or in their car. No one does that. It's not a thing. I'm going to have a nap. I'm going to have a nap and then I'm going to use my special, my special spell that I made, Skeleton Key But Better, to open everything. Locked? Don't think so. What's in here? 200 gold. That's mine now. Have another quick tactical nap. Most of this game is just tactically napping. What else is locked down here? We've got some stuff. I was also hoping to find some... Uh, maybe... All the smugglers in the hideout have been defeated. I should report to the captain. You know what? Yeah. We finished this. We finished this quest without putting our uniform on. And I am far too proud of that fact. There was a moment when I was worried. What's that? Standard potion of invisibility. That's mine now. There was a moment when I was worried. Like, I legitimately was. But I didn't need to be. There was no worry at all. Unlocked. Lock level. That one had bear in it last time. Let's go with this one. Because this one might be better. This one has a single imperial short sword. Everything in this... Everything here is terrible. Again, just bear. The barrel had... The barrel has a spell of opening. That's better. Let's go with that. And two Sujama. Hell yeah, we've got 14 Sujama. We are ready. Just so you know, guys, if I do down the 14 Sujama and then smack something, whatever it is will just explode. It will just die straight away. Josh, bear with me. Dean, don't make terrible puns. Don't. We're only a few hours into the stream. You've, you're you going to have to pace out the terrible puns, mate. Really pace them out, because I know they're going to be bad. Let me use the... I think I took a repair hammer, didn't I? Did I take a repair hammer earlier? Or did I use it? Not seeing a repair hammer in the inventory. I must have used it for something else. I had to repair something. Well, we have discovered the smuggler cave. And now we can go back to the forest, which is this way. Right, let's return. I like the fact that you were able to solve that quest without doing it the way the game expected you to do it. You can just find the cave if you want to. You're not taking the bear armor because you're a dilf, but not the bear daddy. When we get to the bear daddy stage, I will load up Morrowind again, return, and grab that armor. Why is the wall broken? I've returned to Fort Frostmoth to report to Captain Carrius, but the fort has been attacked in my absence? What the hell? Guys, why is everything broken? The well. What's gone on? What is this regarding, Outlander? The fort. The creatures. It's horrible, and the captain. I haven't seen him. Find Lucius. He may know what to do. Where? Where? Where's Lucius? What's going on? Ask your questions, will be quick, mate. I'm busy. Your the fort's been attacked. What's happening? Where's your uniform? 
I think we have bigger issues than worrying about where my uniform is right now. Where's your uniform? Priorities, guys. Priorities. Come on. The fort's been attacked. We need to find Lucius, wherever he may be. Terrible stuff happening here, but I've got business to attend to. What do you need? Uh, where's... Lucius. Sanus. Smart as they come, that's Lucius. Everyone around here likes him. I heard he was off on some business for the captain while you two complete your business. Oh, really? Well, also weapons being smuggled, Zeno. I heard that business was taken care of. I've got nothing more to say. Where was Lucius? Where is he going to be? Can't go in there. He was somewhere in the fort, wasn't he? Yo. Where's your uniform? I... I'm getting very tired of you all asking me that question. I will find Lucius at some point. He was doing some books, wasn't he? Let's find out. Where's your uniform? If you are in this stream, that is going to be a reoccurring sentence that all of the guards say Where's to me, and I will be very proud when I have Where's completed Blood Moon without ever wearing an Imperial uniform. That is my plan right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh. oh. That's pretty cool. If you go into the interior of the wall after the fort has been attacked, it's just blocked, so you, you can't use the walls to travel through the interior of the fort anymore. That's a nice little touch. I like that. Hey, Josh, I finally got back into Dawn of War, downloaded the massive 18 gigabyte unification and Soulstorm. It's good, isn't it? It is really, really bloody good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hey, do you know where... Oh, you don't. I need to know where Lucius is. Got to find Mr. Lucius. Can't go in there. What about in the Imperial Cult Shrine? He might be over here. Yo, where's Lucius? Stuck here. Forever. Where is someone in particular? I can't seem to... F Where's Carnius? Gone. He's got an office upstairs. Okay, I'm trying to find smart boy Lucius. Stuck here. He'll be around here somewhere. Yo, you might know things. Um, can I ask you about Lucius? I cannot. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this didn't the Xeno say that he was off on an errand for the captain? I'm not sure where the captain would be. Oh, hello. Are you the... Where's your uniform? You're not the captain, of course not. Ah, you. What is it? Do you know where Lucius has gone? Apart from Captain Carius, I'm the only one here worth talking to. He's around here somewhere. Don't know exactly where. It's not my job to look after him. Right, so we're going to find the captain. The captain's gone somewhere, have we? We will find... Where's the, your uniform? We will find the captain. He is around here somewhere. But I'm pretty sure we just checked his office and he wasn't there. But if the captain's gone... Stuck here. The question is, where's he gone? To, but will we find your uniform? No. No, we will not. It was the gen... Oh, it was general quarters, wasn't it? The captain is looking for your uniform. He'll never find it. Never, ever find it. Right. Oh, is that the smart boy? One with no helmet on. Yeah, you're the smart dude, aren't you? Thank hey, bro. Thank the gods you've returned. Thank the gods you've returned. There was a terrible battle. And Captain Carius. Someone must find the captain. There was a terrible battle. We were caught completely by surprise. And in the aftermath, we realized that Captain Carius was missing. I searched thoroughly, and there was no sign of his body. So I do not believe he is dead. And these wolf creatures... They were horrible and fierce. You must find him, Lusty. There is a Nord village on the north end of this island. They may know something about what has happened. I don't know exactly what to call them, of course. I've, I've heard stories about werewolves. Men who turn into beasts when the night falls. But I've never heard of them being seen on this island. And I've certainly never heard of so many working in concert. Horrible. I hope I never see such a creature again. Okay, Nord village. It's on the northeastern tip of Solstheim. These scarlet nature worshippers, and they seem to have a special commune with the creatures of this island. If anyone knows what attacked the fort, it will be these Nords. I'll mark the location on your map. 
I would like you to earn their trust and find out what you can. You may have to remain with them for many days, but I believe you are up to the task. Here, take this. It was found in one of their tombs. Perhaps they'll take it as a sign of good faith. Skull of a Skarl warrior has been added to your infantry. I will go and get drunk with the Nords in the name of the Emperor. It's a difficult task, but someone's got to do it. Your Maybe the Nords will look at the skull and be like, Yo, why have you got the skull? Okay, so, god damn, it really is quite far. Skull Village. It's all the way over there. Where's our redhead gone? We had a redhead girl, didn't we? I'm sure she's fine. She's she's a strong, independent woman. She's, she's doing okay. Right, jumping time. Oh no, the parachute's broken. God damn it. That's not a problem. It turns out that my signet ring heals me so fast that we can just survive it. Hello there, David. Hello there, General Kenobi. Come back here, you, and die. What you got on you? Any games on your phone? Winter Wound Dagger, another good, powerful dagger. Don't need that. Amulet of Van Halen. Jump! Land. Break legs. Slowly refill health because of my incredibly overpowered King's Ring. And yeah, we've actually managed to jump across a lot of the island pretty quickly. This is the way you travel in Morrowind. You just leap from A to B repeatedly. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, okay. You take several stabs to kill. I didn't expect that. Several stabs to kill. So we were told... So the Skarl village is there. Weren't we told about a different village, like Thrisk or something? I'm sure I spoke to a Nord. And he said about, yo, go to Thrisk or something. No. There was a different village. I think there was a different village. This has me wanting to replay Morrowind. Do it. I haven't done a playthrough in 15 years. Still remember oh. beating Blood Moon. Well... I'm going to be beating Blood Moon if I can. It's getting dark, so we will have to have a nap in a minute. Tactical nap time. Rest until healed. Oh, now it's night time. All right, I guess we're journeying at night for a bit. My goodness, thank you for the donation. And then I read the donation message, and now I'm no longer thankful. Now I'm just... I'm hurt. That's what I am. Talon the Dragon has tipped $10. Just to say, where's your uniform? Was that worth $10? Was it a good use of $10? You were like, oh, I've got $10. I worked hard for this. This is money that shows that I put effort in. My, my labor's been respected. My intelligence has been compensated. I'm going to use it to tell a streamer, where's your uniform? A phrase he has heard a hundred times in the last hour. I'm glad it was worth it. So this is the island of Solstheim. That is a big angry bear. Are you angry? Are you aggressive? Oh, plague bear? I don't want to be... Oh god, you've actually got way more health than I expected. I don't want to be fighting you. There's a plague wolf? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't give me the plague. It's, it's probably fine. Yeah, I'm not going to get ill. Don't worry. Take a paracetamol. It'll be absolutely fine. If anyone be gifting subs, please consider gifting me a sub. Just so you know, guys, I will never paywall any kind of content. You'll never get a different experience if you are or aren't a sub. At least in this stream. In real life, you'll probably have quite a different experience. But in this stream specifically, subs and tops, absolutely identical experience. The same. Don't you worry. Can we go under the water? Oh. Oh. Can we be carefully... I want to try and I want to angle it so I can see if there's any massive sea creatures under here before we go under there. Okay, let's just dive down and see what there is. My goodness, Tarson, thank you very much for all the gifted subs. That's incredibly kind of you. Let me just cast my water breathing spell. Water breathing for 120 seconds on self. Now we can see what we're doing, where we're going. Quick look under the water. I don't like the fact that there's just ice above me. That is not the best. Not a fan of that. 
But what is that? Is that a... Is that just a missing texture? Nope, it's a bit of gravel. It's just a bit of gravel. Let's just pop up for a bit of uh, air, see where we are. Oh! It's snowing! I suppose that would make sense. It is a snowy land, after all. That's actually really nice. I didn't expect that. I thought Argonians don't need air. We can drown still. Argonians can straight up still drown. I legit did not expect to pop back up for air into uh, into the snow. I am, however, struggling to get out now. Because you can't just climb out through the ice. You need to find a slope. Like a sloped area where you can climb out and then like a, a jump. Maybe? We can't... can't can't jump up there. Nope, that's that's also a problem. Can't do it that way either. Okay, hang on. We might be might be trapped for a minute, but don't worry. I'm sure we'll be okay. There we come on. Yeah, there we go. Made it. That's actually really pretty. I quite like that. That is a. Uh, I'll tell you what I remember about this. I had this when I was a kid, and. I tried to play Blood Moon on an old laptop that absolutely should not ever run anything. And when I got to this part of the game, it would lag something fierce. It really would. Hey Josh, I am a big fan. Love all your worst MMO ever videos because it gives me and my friends new awful games to play. Thank you very much. But I have to ask... Is that where's your uniform in Spanish? Okay, what is that? It's like a tiny little angry... What, what are you? Reichling. What is a Reichling? Reichling blade. That's pretty cool. Reichling shield and a fork. Of course. Why wouldn't you have a little fork just hanging out there? You killed a smurf. Oh, yeah. Well, Rip Smurf. Rip Smurf. Little tiny goblin dude. What's that over there? That's that's a Reichling Rider. I have no quarrels with you, Reichlings. I'm going to leave you guys alone. I'm going to try and find this village. Wherever the captain's gone to. The captain's been kidnapped by some kind of werewolves, and we need answers from the Nords. Here's the Nordic village. This is like Skyrim from Wish, but ironically, actually far more fun and better written. Hey, how's it going? You seem cold. Hello, oh. horse. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Hey, horsey. You are not of the skull. Speak with Thrust and Heartfang in the Great Hall. He's our leader, and he'll deal with you. All right. If I was a Great Hall, where would I be? That over there looks pretty great to me. Uh, yo, how's it going, Engar? Yep, same thing. Got to speak to the, the leader first. I mean, this this looks like a great hall. Let's go and have a quick chat in there, shall we? Oh, fantastic. Now we're all warm. Look at this. This is what Skyrim used to look like. It's like the PlayStation 1 D make. Before you leave Blood Moon, you need to find Santa's house to get another fur hat. We've got our good fur hat, but I need to fix it. There is something I wanted to ask you about live streaming. To me, you seem like a composed and dignified man with morals. Uh, you can imagine my surprise when I heard the rumours. Dude, where's your uniform? You don't deserve a stream anymore. Right, I'm going back to teacher mode. You do not deserve a stream anymore. I'm going to punish the whole class. You will all stay behind. The bell does not dismiss you. I do. And all of you are being kept back. Now, I understand that most of you in this chat, you're, you're chill. You're cool. We'd get on well. That's fine. Just like most kids in the classroom weren't messing around. But you will suffer for the actions of the few. Do I need to wear my uniform? No. No, you don't. Don't worry about that. Almalexia will not be praised. There will be no questioning about uniform. I haven't even used the door exploit yet on this stream.
is Josh wearing his uniform? I'm wearing my uniform. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Thrust and Hartfang. What do you want, stranger? Why are you among the Skull? What do you want, stranger? The Skull wish you no harm. But you will mind your manners while you are within our walls. We will make no exceptions. Now, what is this I hear about an attack on the Imperial Fort? Those soldiers. <laughs> they cut their trees and dig their holes, and have little to show after a day's toil. They do not respect the land or its creatures, and for that, I find them offensive. But though I have no love for them, the Skarl would never do such a thing. We prefer to let the Imperials kill themselves slowly. But these creatures that attacked... These were not wolves of this island. Now, have you finished your business here? You say you've brought the bones of one of our ancestors. Stupid Imperials. They need to learn to leave things as they are. Still, it is good that you have returned this to the Skull. Perhaps there is hope for you and your kind. You are welcome here for the moment, but there is much to atone for. The Imperials and their fort have brought nothing but harm to these lands. They cut the trees and dig the earth. They're wasteful, lazy, and careless. They have no comprehension of the oneness of the land. It is this oneness from which the Skarl derive our strength. And the Imperials have defiled these lands. Through their carelessness, the Imperials have upset the natural order, the oneness. This is their nature. It must be balanced once again and the All-Maker appeased. I wish for you to make things right, Lusty. You will be the one to restore the power of the Skull. It is right that you do this, as it is your people who have caused the damage. Speak with Korst Windai in the Shaman's Hut. He will give you further instructions. Hey, so I'm also searching for a an amulet that can let you bang anyone you want any any idea where that might be just cool stuff maybe latest rumors wolves are fine but they can be diseased okay i'll speak to the uh coarse wind eye in the shaman's hut shall i also thanks for being cool man you seem decent i'm not even gonna sit on your chair out of pure respect for you what's up here this is just a long haul from skyrim that's what it is straight up how am I expected to play the original Final Fantasy VII while watching when you're not in uniform? Such a disappointment. I... I appreciate that sometimes memes spawn from these streams, and then other times... other times I get sad when you guys just force the uniform on me. Sometimes I don't want to wear a uniform, you know? That's what she said. Moving on. Moving on, let's not worry about that too much. Okay, the Skarl. The local Skarl will be around here somewhere. And my dogs have decided that it now is time to bark. Now is barking time. Is there barking time happening? The Shaman's Hut. It's over here. Hang on. <laughs> Orcus, you look so white. Yeah. Yeah, This. this is... This is just how I am, you know? I'm a, I'm a pretty white guy, it's true. I could get lost in a snowstorm very easily. This isn't even reflection. This is just how my skin normally is. I'm luminescent when I walk into places. Hey, how's it going? Coarsed wind eye. To you, Wanderer. Why have you returned to our village? I need to talk to you about the wool. You're coarsed wind eye. I am coarsed. How may I help you? I have been tasked with restoring the power of the Skarl because apparently the Imperials uh, kind of broke it. <laughs> Heartfang wishes for you to do this, does he? Then I will assist you. There is a ritual that must be completed. On Solstheim, you will find six standing stones, each representing one of the six gifts of the Allmaker. At each of these stones, a ritual must be completed. Once the ritual of the gifts is complete, the oneness should be restored. It would be too much for any knot of skull to remember the ritual, but here, take this. It will explain the rituals and guide you on your way. This book may be of some use to you as well. If you are to remain with the skull, you should understand our beliefs. 
The story of Avar Stone Singer has been added to your inventory and locations of the stones. Right, let's have a look what we've been given. You've been given two things. Let's read the story first of all, shall we, if we can find it? Whatever that may be, it's been... Okay, location of the stones, that says... Right, it's a map. Straight up, it's just like an actual map of the island that we need to use to find the locations. But we've also been given a book. Where's the book we've been given? Find the book. Over here somewhere. The story of Avar Stone Singer. Sit quietly, child, and listen, for the story I tell you is a story of the ages. But what is it, Grandfather? Is it a story of heroes and beasts? The Grandfather looked patiently at the child. He was growing into a fine boy. Soon he would see the value in the stories, the lessons that were taught to each generation. Just listen, child. Let the story take root in your heart. In a time before now, long before now, when the skull were new, there was peace in the land. The sun was hot, and the crops grew long, and the people were happy in the peace that the All-Maker provided. But the Skarl grew complacent and lazy, and they took for granted the lands and all the gifts the All-Maker had given them. They forgot, or chose not to remember, that the adversary is always watching, and that he delights in tormenting the All-Maker and his chosen people. And so it was that the adversary came to be among the Skarl. The adversary has many aspects. He appears in the unholy beasts and the incurable plague. At the end of seasons, we will know him as Thratarg, the world devourer. But in these ages, he came to be known as the Greedy Man. The Greedy Man, that is what we call him, for to speak his name would certainly bring ruin on the people, lived among the Skarl for many months. Perhaps he was once just a man, but when the adversary entered into him, he became the Greedy Man, and that is how he is remembered. It came to be one day that the powers of the Skarl left them. The strength left the arms of the warriors, and the shaman could no longer summon the beasts to their side. The elders thought that surely the Allmaker was displeased, and some suggested that the Allmaker had left them forever. It was then that the Greedy Man appeared to them and spoke. You of the Skarl have grown fat and lazy. I have stolen the gifts of your Allmaker. I have stolen the oceans, so you will forever know thirst. I have stolen the lands and the trees and the sun, so your crops will wither and die. I have stolen the beasts, so you will go hungry. And I have stolen the winds, so you will live without the spirit of the Allmaker. And until one of you can reclaim these gifts, the Skarl will live in misery and despair, for I am the Greedy Man, and that is my nature. And the Greedy Man disappeared. The members of the Skarl spoke for many days and nights. They knew that one of them must retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker, but they could not decide who it should be. I cannot go, said the Elder, for I must stay to lead the Skarl and tell our people what is law. Well, I cannot go, said the warrior, for I must protect the skull. My sword will be needed in case the greedy man reappears. I cannot go, said the shaman, for the people need my wisdom. I must read the portents and offer my knowledge. It was then that a young man called Avar lifted his voice. He was strong of arm and fleet of foot, though he was not yet a warrior of the skull. I will go, said Avar. And the skull laughed. Hear me out, the boy continued. I am not yet a warrior, so my sword will not be needed. I cannot read the portents, so the people will not seek my counsel, and I am young and not yet wise in the ways of the law. I will retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker from the greedy man. If I cannot, I will not be missed. The skull thought on this briefly, and decided to let Avar go. He left the village the next morning to retrieve the gifts. Avar first set out to retrieve the gift of water, so he travelled to the water stone. It was there that the Allmaker first spoke to him. Travel west to the sea and follow the swimmer to the waters of life. So Avar walked to the edge of the ocean and there was the swimmer, a black hawker, sent from the Allmaker. 
The swimmer dove into the waters and swam very far and far again. Avar was strong, though, and he swam hard. He followed the swimmer to a cave, swimming deeper and deeper, his lungs burning and limbs exhausted. At last, he found a pocket of air, and there in the dark, he found the waters of life. Gathering his strength, he took the waters and swam back to the shore. Upon returning to the water stone, the Oarmaker spoke. You have returned the gift of water to the Skarl. The oceans again will bear fruit, and their thirst will be quenched. Avar then travelled to the Earthstone, and there the Ormaker spoke to him again. Enter the cave of the hidden music, and hear the song of the Earth. So Avar travelled north and east to the cave of hidden music. He found himself in a large cavern where the rocks hung from the ceiling and grew from the ground itself. He listened there and heard the song of the Earth, but it was faint. Grabbing up his mace, he struck the rocks of the floor in time with the song, and the song grew louder, until it filled the cavern and his heart. Then he returned to the earth stone. The gift of the earth is with the skull again, said the Allmaker. The lands are rich again, and will bear life. Avar was tired. As the sun burned him, the trees offered no shade, and there was no wind to cool him. Still. He travelled on to the beast rock, and the Allmaker spoke. Find the good beast, and ease his suffering. Avar travelled through the woods of Insafir for many hours until he heard the cries of a bear from over a hill. As he crested a hill, he saw the bear, a falmer's arrow piercing its neck. He checked the woods for falmer, for that is what they were, though some say they are not. And finding none, approached the beast. He spoke soothing words, and came upon it slowly, saying, Good beast, I mean you no harm. The Ormaker has sent me to ease your suffering. Hearing these words, the bear ceased his struggles, and laid his head at Avar's feet. Avar grasped the arrow, and pulled it from the bear's neck. Using the little nature magic he knew, Avar tended the wound, though it took the last bit of his strength. As the bear's wound closed, Avar slept. When he awoke, the bear stood over him, and the remains of a number of the farmer were strewn about. He knew that the good beast had protected him during the night. He travelled back to Beast Rock, the bear by his side, and the Allmaker spoke to him again. You have returned the gift of the beasts. Once again, the good beasts will feed the Skarl when they are hungry, clothe them when they are cold, and protect them in times of need. Avar's strength had returned, so he travelled on to the tree stone, though the good beast did not follow him. When he arrived, the All-Father spoke to him. The first trees are gone, and must be replanted. Find the seed, and plant the first tree. Avar travelled again through Herstang Forest, searching for the seeds of the first tree, but he could find none. Then he spoke to the tree spirits, the living trees. They told him that the seeds had been stolen by one of the Falmor, for they are servants of the adversary. And this Falmor was hiding them deep in the forest, so that none would ever find them. Avar travelled to the deepest part of the forest, and there he found the evil Falmor. Surrounded by the lesser tree spirits, Avar could see that the spirits were in his thrall, that he had used his magic of the seeds and spoken their secret name. Avar knew that he could not stand against such a force, and that he must retrieve the seeds in secret. Avar reached into his pouch and drew out his flint. Gathering leaves, he started a small fire outside the clearing where the Falmer and the ensorcelled spirits milled. All the Skarl knew the spirits' hatred of fire, for the fires ravaged the trees they serve. At once, the nature of the spirits took hold, and they rushed to quell the flames. During the commotion, Avar snuck behind the farmer and snatched the pouch of seeds, stealing away before the evil being knew they were gone. When Avar returned to the tree stone, he planted the tree in the ground, and the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of trees is restored. Once again the trees and plants will bloom and grow and provide nourishment and shade. Avar was tired, 
for the sun would only burn, and the winds would not yet cool him. But he rested briefly in the shade of the trees. His legs were weary, his eyes heavy. But he continued on, travelling to the sunstone. Again, the All-Maker spoke. The gentle warmth of the sun is stolen, so now it only burns. Free the sun from the halls of Penumbra. And so Avar walked west, over the frozen lands, until he reached the halls of Penumbra. The air inside was thick and heavy, and he could see no further than the end of his arm. Still, he felt his way along the walls, though he heard the shuffling of feet, and knew that this place held the unholy beasts, who would tear his flesh and eat his bones. For hours he crept along until he saw a faint glow at the end of the hall. There, from behind a sheet of perfect ice, came a glow so bright he had to shut his eyes, lest they be forever blinded. He plucked the flaming eye from one of the unholy beasts and threw it at the ice with all his might. A small crack appeared in the ice, then grew larger. Slowly, the light crept out between the cracks, widening them, splitting the ice wall into pieces. With a deafening crack, the wall crumbled, and the light rushed over Avar and through the halls. He heard the shrieks of the unholy beasts as they were blinded and burned. He ran out of the hall following the light and collapsed on the ground outside. When he was able to rise again, the sun again warmed him, and he was glad for that. He travelled back to the sunstone, where the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of the sun is the skulls once again. It will warm them and give them light. Avar had one final gift he had to recover, the gift of the winds. So he travelled to the windstone, far on the western coast of the island. When he arrived, the Allmaker spoke to him, giving him his final task. Find the greedy man and release the wind from its captivity. So Avar wandered the land in search of the greedy man. He looked in the trees, but the greedy man did not hide there. Nor did he hide in the oceans or the deep caves, and the beasts had not seen him in the dark forests. Finally, Avar came to a crooked house, and he knew that here he would find the greedy man. Who are you? shouted the greedy man that you would come to my house. I am Avar of the Skarl, said Avar. I am not warrior, shaman, or elder. If I do not return, I will not be missed. But I have returned the oceans and the earth, the trees, the beasts, and the sun, and I will return the winds to my people, that we may feel the spirit of the Allmaker in our souls again. And with that, he grabbed up the greedy man's bag and tore it open. The winds rushed out with the gale force, sweeping the greedy man up and carrying him off, far away from the island. Avar breathed in the winds and was glad. He walked back to the windstone, where the Allmaker spoke to him a final time. You have done well, Avar. You, the least of the Skahal, have returned my gifts to them. The greedy man is gone for now, and you should not trouble your people again in your lifetime. Your all-maker is pleased. Go now, and live according to your nature. And Avar started back to the Skarl village. And then what happened, Grandfather? What do you mean, child? He went home. No, when he returned to the village, the child continued, was he made a warrior? Or taught the ways of the shaman? Did he lead the Skarl in battle? I do not know. This is where the story ends, said the grandfather. But that's not the ending. That's not how stories end. The old man laughed and got up from his chair. Is it not? All right, cool. So I'm glad that you all just sat there for like 20 minutes while we read through the story of Avar the Stone Singer. And yeah, Avar, complete random nobody who was like, I got you, fam. I'll sort this village out, don't you worry. That is a true hero. Some guy who wasn't like, no, but I'm needed, I'm important, I must stay. No, he was like, I'll sort this out. I'll do this. Oh, thank you for the gifted subs. I could listen to you read a driver's manual. Don't tempt me, because I will do that at some point. That was like a really genuinely good story. And you know what the cool thing is? I bet that story will be relevant. I bet the stuff that we have read 
will matter. Can you read it again with your uniform on? And then Avar returned to the village, and the village elder said to him, Avar, where's your uniform? <laughs> Okay, right, so you need me to do some uh, ritual stuff. So we've got the lesson, directions of the stones. What was the first thing Avar did? The first thing, you know what? Let's do this in the order that Avar did it. The first thing Avar did was the water stone. So let's go and sort out the water stone. The first thing that we did was, do we have the stones marked on our map? We do not have the stones on our map. The locations of the stones the water stone is center west so you're looking at about there kind of thing what i want to check is that the map that i'm given is oriented the same way as the map that i've got it is so the water stone is to the west All right <laughs> avar away that's quite a long jump Avar is crippled. Let's just wait for my health to uh to slowly refill. Oh my god. It's him. Avar found the gravity stone. Alright, so that way is probably the water way. Let's go this way. The draw distance is modded. Yes, it is. And then Avar lifted his tail and jumped and was forever known as Avar lifts his tail. For he was, without a doubt, one lusty Argonian maid. We're currently in the Mosring Mountains, which is... we go way more this way. Up we jump. Off we go. Save every now and again. The Naked Berserkers, they are really against wearing any kind of uniform. Well, their bodies are their uniforms. That's how it works. What is that? It's like an actual path. Okay, so... Oh, item does not have enough charge. Time to have a nap once I've killed you. I don't want to kill you, so you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Oh, God damn it! Oh, wow, you're really tough. Okay. You are way stronger than I thought you would be. Hang on. It's just... It's a good thing I've got a really good spear. Because otherwise, yeah. you would be in serious trouble. Reckling Raider. Reckling Lance. It's a pretty good weapon. Single gold coin. Thanks. I'll take that. Let's have a quick tactical nap. In fact, if I rest for 24 hours, I get my jumps back. A that's what Avar would have done. Avar would have wanted this. Avar would have needed this. Oh, okay, so we've now got a bit of an ash storm going on. It's more of a, I suppose, a blizzard. I don't know if I can jump all the way over this mountain, but you, you kind of should be able to. The thing with Morrowind is most of it, you can just jump wherever you want to. I can't see far, though, which is annoying. Yeah, the right Daedric pauldron is near. Is it? I will at some point. Once we have finished Blood Moon, if I don't find everything, we will go back and find the full set of Daedric. Because apparently, I was reading up, the Daedric cuirass was actually in the vertical shaft, don't laugh, that we fell through in the, in the Tribunal expansion pack. You know where we found the Daedric left pauldron? I missed a cuirass, which apparently was right next to it, which was really annoying. Love the, you know, I want to nap so I can actually get the good draw distance. Let's just keep waiting for an hour until this storm clears. It's getting worse. Maybe this is just how it is now. Let's wait for a couple of hours. Your rest has been interrupted. Oh, damn it. These enemies are way tougher than they have any right to be. There we go. Okay, now it's nighttime and I can't see a thing. Let's wait a couple of hours. Oh god, it's still... Okay, maybe it's just snowy up here. That's what it is. Let's go this way. Oh. Hrothmund's Bane. Hrothmund. Do I know that name? Hang on. Quests. The patchwork airship. Recover the amulet. 
Crew failed. Where is it? Is it Hrothman's Barrow? Hrothman's Barrow, the Amulet of Infectious Charm. It's in Hrothman's Barrow. And we need to say the name of the wolf, which is Onjage. Okay, hang on. Quick, quick side tangent. Hrothman's Barrow. This is why we came to Solstheim. We were literally sent here to recover the Amulet of Bang Whoever You Want, which is what we are calling the Amulet from now on. How does one enter Hrothmund? Probably with the Amulet, but let's see what's over here. Hrothmund's Bane, that's a... Oh. Okay, let's just kill you. And... I don't want to kill you. Is this the Barrow? Bare skin covered exit to Hrothman's Barrow. Can we go in? Some they call me Hrothman's Bay. With midnight teeth and moonlight mane. I am the wolf one soul may tame by uttering my given name. But speak the truth for those who lie. Gain not the wealth beyond my eye. And so false and evermore. Closed shot will be my icy door. What is my name? Your name is Onjage. You spoke the truth and won the game, for Onjag is my given name. You have gained entrance to Rothman's barrel. Here we go. Now this is the exit. So maybe we should go and try and find the entrance. Where, if I were an entrance... See, that just says Rothman's Barrow. I think that there's no other way to get in. Like, is that the actual way to get in? Just... Just let me know in the chat if that is the actual way that you're meant to get in. Because I don't want to be going backwards through a dungeon. As funny as that could be. Try the other side of the hill. Potentially. I think this is the way to go in. Like, because we had to answer it, didn't we? That is the way. You know what? We answered the quest. We're going in. We're going in. Right. Let's see what we find. We're after the amulet, remember. That's what we're here for. We are after the amulet. What is that? That is an undead... A bone wolf. That is an axe. Hrothman's axe. You know what, mate? I'm not too bothered about your axe. What I am bothered about is your amulet. Which has got to be somewhere around here. I don't... I don't want to desecrate your tomb by taking your axe, but I will happily steal the amulet of... Ancient Wooden Chest. Silver long sword, 300 gold. Now that I'll loot. That I want, that's good. I'll take that. Hello? Stral rim. Okay. Can't of that. We need the tools to be able to do something with it. If I take Hrothman's axe, will he be angry at me? Because this is the entire barrow. This is it. This is the whole thing. This is all you get. There's nothing above us. If I steal your axe, what happens? Oh, you, you can't. You try and take it and it just won't let you. What's that, though? Oh, there we go. Amulet of Infectious Charm. Cast when used. Fortify personality. 30 points on self. That's why he could flirt with anyone. Weakness to common disease. 30% for 30 seconds on self. Drain fatigue. 30 points for 30 seconds on self. So, you become very good at talking to people, but you also get a massively increased chance of catching an STD, and you become really tired. So, there is an old Shakespearean line that I believe it um, promotes the desire, but removes the ability. I think that is what that charm does. Because, you know what? It is indeed charming, but there's also an infection there. I'm taking that. You are over-encumbered. Damage. <laughs> that was too much. 
That tiny thing was way too much, so let's just drink a single Sujama. And that not only increases... You resisted magic? Okay, cool. Does that mean that I'm not... Oh, that was great. Hang on. I can drink Sujama, gain the strength bonus, but not lose my intelligence. Because I've got magic resist from the ring. Resist magic at 100%. I can now drink all the Sujama ever and not get drunk. But I can get incredibly powerful. This. This is good stuff right here. All right, so we've uh, popped into Hrothman's Barrow. We've got the Amulet of Infectious Charm. We have discovered it. It's quite sad that that's like his dog, just hanging out. I didn't want to kill the dog. You know, that, that does not make me happy. But we can give this dude the, the charm, can't we? Finish the quest, at least. Amulet. Infectious Charm. I found the door to Hrothman's Barrow, found the Infectious Charm thingy. I don't want to keep it. It seems like a terrible thing to keep. Nobody... Nobody needs that. Where's it gone? There it is. I do like the joke of it being, you know, you're a smooth talker, but you're also diseased and tired. That's great. You can resist the negative effects. Oh yeah, good point. So I could just fortify my personality. That would well, I could use that, but he couldn't. We have been raided with a party of eight. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. If you are new, I'm Josh. This is Morrowind. That's the whole stream. You're, you're caught up. You're up to speed now. You know exactly what I know. Do we go and give this dude his amulet back? I think we should give the guy's amulet back. He was in Old Rune. We don't need that. Yeah, the guy in Old Rune wants it. Let's go and give the dude his amulet back. I'm going to use my amulet of divine intervention to teleport back, I'm guessing, to the fort. From the fort, we can leave the island. Where's your uniform? I hate this place. I hate everything about it. I hate it here. It makes me sad. Now, you said that... You said that we were close to the Daedric Rite Pauldron. We will get that at some point. Was it in Throthman's Barrow? Was it in that All barrow? All I ask for is a pair of boots. How hard could it be? You don't... You can't wear boots, mate. We're beast racers. Drishka back to Vardenfell? Uh, what about Raven Rock, where the new colony is going to be built? Can take you there for a price. The Empire wishes to build a mine west of here. Ebony, they say. I say they will be very, very cold. You know what? So we can travel to Raven Rock or go back to Cool. Let's go back to Cool. We will explore Raven Rock at some point, but I'm, I need to travel right now to... I want to say... Old Rune. Where's the Silt Strider? So Cool is here. Uh, Ald Velothi is over there. There should be a Silt Strider in Cool somewhere. Let me just jump to it. There it is. Let's go grab the Silt Strider from here and then take that to Ald Rune, ultimately. Hey. Travel to Ald Rune. Beautiful. Oh, God, the Ash Storms are back. This game is very good. I like this game. It's very much... Uh, it's an RPG first with a combat system tacked onto it. I must be going, so if you could make it quick. This better be important. You, what? You aren't even involved in this. Go away. Nice uniform. Hey, guess what I found, Louis? Lusty, you're here. And, I mean, well, you've returned. What news? I explored Throthman's Barrow. And I have found the Amulet of Infectious Charm. I still don't have any evidence showing what happened to the airship, though. The amulet has been, been found. You actually recovered and brought it to me. The Amulet of Infectious Charm. Oh, how wonderful, Lusty. I am always, and I mean forever, in your debt. Here, please, take this gold. It's the very least, the smallest thing I could do. You know, I do, that is. I am curious to know what happened to the, well, the airship, after all. It did cost, I mean, a lot of gold was invested. Right. You know what? I've given the amulet to you. I've got 1,500 gold. Let me go and check up on the airship, mate, because clearly nothing is good enough for you, is it? Nothing. Last day, you're here. I mean, you've returned. What news? Nothing yet, Louis. I am, uh, I am working on it, mate. Let me sort this out. Let me go back 
and we will find the airship. We will find the airship. Worry not, my child, for we... We will find things. Hey, how's it going? Uh, back to cool, please. Why walk when you can ride? Good question. Here's a question. Can you just... Can we just jump there? Is it possible to manually just travel all the way there? I, I kind of want to. I want to see if we can. Like, just, just get, get running. I think we can do it. If you have water walking, it's a lot easier. Yes, I do. Shall we jump all the way to Solstheim? Just because you can. We should probably do this to start off with, which is pretty much jumping toward where the shortest distance is crossing it. Come on, come on, Lusty. You can do this. I believe in you. you. There we go. Just leap all the way this way. And then break our legs every time we land. We go... Let's get right to the the tip of the land first. I'll rest until healed, because otherwise I will continuously break my legs. And then we just use our jumping power to just land every time. What happened to Slowfall? You don't actually need it when you've got the King's Signet Ring. Because the Signet Ring is so incredibly powerful, it refills your health really fast. Blood Moon, however, is still a challenge. Because enemies can hurt me faster than I can heal. I need to get to that little island just there. So, oh, item does not have enough charge. So we just stand and wait for a while for it to come back. And the weather's improved. We charge and jump. Then we charge and jump. Smacking into the ground every time we do. The wolves are pretty weak. The wolves are very weak, but everything else is quite tough. What is this? Don't think we've been here before. Let me just get ready in case there's something... Leap. Oh good, there's a load of uh, cliff racers. Pretty sure they're there to make sure you don't do exactly the thing that I'm trying to do. Up we jump. Oh, is that a... Is that a Daedric Ruin on the very final island? Or is that a Dwemer Ruin? It seems like it's Dwemer. Looks more Dwemery. Oh, there's a cliff racer there too, so we can't sleep until it's dead. Is that a... I was going to say, that's just a, a decorative thing on the end. It's not like a button. That's just a decorative thing on the end of the pole. It's not an actual button. Would have been cool if we found like a secret item hidden behind something. Good evening, Josh. Reached the overpowered jumpy stage then, I see. Yeah, see what happens with Morrowind. Eventually you get to a point where you do just want to break the game. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just breaking it for a bit, seeing what's happening. Oh. Oh, I've randomly stumbled upon a a little scavenger thing, have I? What you guys got on you? Anything cool? Any games on your phone? No. What were you scavenging? What's in? Oh, 50 gold. That's what you were scavenging. That's mine now. Anything else around here? Nope. I'm going to have a nap at your camp. That's what I'm going to do. And you can't stop me. Ultimate insult to injury. Have I played Kingdom Come Deliverance? Not yet. Not yet at all. Now that island over there, I don't know if it's important. What is this? I love saying what is this about stuff in Morrowind, because, like, you have no idea. What's this? It's just... It's just a room. Nothing there. This looks like the start of a, of a building. What is that? Hello. You can die. What are you? Oh, you're a frost atronach. Oh, you can definitely go down. Okay. That's a flame atronach. Oh, we have discovered some powerful stuff at the edge of the world. And this is definitely a Daedric ruin. Hang on. 
Let me just swim up to and stab a flame atronach to death. Okay, this is a Deodric Draymora ruin. And I am struggling to get out. But it's okay, I've got water walking. Cast that. Walk on water. Easy peasy. We got Hello, Draymora Lord. Let's just say hi to you, shall we? How's it going, bro? Sit down, son. You can do whatever you want. You can attack me. I've got resist magic because I killed the king and stole his ring. Sit down, Draymora Lord. What you got on you? Ebony short sword and a Daedra heart. Not even taking them. Ultimate insult to injury. Don't even need them. But... That's interesting. If we go in and then out of this place, this doesn't seem to be marked on the map. Like, every other shrine has, like, a little marking on the map, but this one's not. Okay. Entering these shrines did used to be tense. However, with my Amulet of Shadows and my Spear, much less tense when I can just stunlock things with my incredibly powerful Shiogorath Spear and my Invisibility. But what's in this shrine? Another? Oh, hello. I don't know you. What do you want? Little secret? Daedra. You know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty. And the folks that worship them are even nastier. Alright, mate. I'm gonna go and loot your shrine, because you are clearly involved in something here. Oh, hello. Couple of you. That's a Dremora. That's a Dremora worshipper. Hey. I don't know you. What do you want? Can I talk to you? Nope. You are just an enemy. This... We've, we've pretty much just fallen into an active Deodric shrine. I'm invisible right now, so they can't do anything about me. But... Oh! Oh, ho, 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 hello. Scroll of Psychic Prison. Scroll of Drath's Soul Rot. A locked chest. A game at dinner. Interesting. You have gained knowledge. My alchemy skill is now 11. Spirit of the Daedra, the Book of Daedra. Oh, no. My invisibility has fallen off. Whatever will I do? I will stab you all. I will get my vampiric ring and I will touch you in the face. Come here. Prepare to be touched. Where are you? There you are. Engage the touching. And now I just watch you die. Because that's what this ring does. What do you got on you? Any games on your phone? Nah, yeah, nothing. Belt? Belt of sanguine stolid armor. Constant effect. Fortify heavy armor. Four points on self. What does my current belt do? Nothing that good. Sweet. I'm taking your belt. Badass. All right. I just found a belt that fortifies heavy armor, and I am wearing heavy armor. I don't know if the Daedra or the Draymora dropped anything, but that is a cool-looking statue right there. Let's see what else we got. I killed you down here. You dropped a... You dropped a Daedric Katana. That is a good weapon. That is a pretty badass weapon. However, it's very heavy, and I still have a Daedric Die Katana, in case I ever need that for anything. So, I've got like a, a two-handed Daedric Katana. I don't think I need an, a regular Katana, but I do want to open these chests, because I am curious. So, let's use Onduce's Open Door. And open some chests. What's in here? Wow. Apparently in here is every potion. Quality as well. These are like really, really good potions. Okay, we just found the chest with the best potions in the game. 
we found a chest with 25 gold. Not as impressive, but I'll take it. Oh, hello. I will slice you to death with this. A Draymora. You had a dwarven spear. Did that appear when I opened the chest? They can sometimes do that. Let's see if I can unlock this chest as well. Did that spawn you? Not that I can see. Gold. I'll take that. Right, what else we got? Chest, still locked. Have a quick tactical nap until we can cast this again. Oh, it was the guy from the stairs. Yeah, that makes sense. What's in here? Just more. Quality potion of jump. Is there anything above me that's worth going to get? Like, if there's a little, little alcove, I can always climb up to it. It's not a problem. I don't think so. The sack has shoes, a ring, and uh, some gold. I'll take the gold. Scroll of Drathus Soul Rot. Paralyze. Poison, damage endurance, damage willpower. Scroll of Psychic Prison. Paralyze and Soul Trap. It's nasty. I'll take it. You also had some... The Book of Daedra. And you had some stuff on there. I don't need that. That's fine. Now, here's something really cool about Dremora and Daedric Shrines is some of these shrines do have upper levels, don't they? So we'll have to see if there's something we can get to. But what's very cool is if I pick up one of these gems, you spawn one of them. And what do you drop? You drop a Dwarven Battle Axe. In fact, I think every time you grab a gem, there's a chance you can spawn another one. Seems like there's just one of you. All right, click the statue. Why do you call on me, little mortal? Do you seek your death so soon? I should crush you where you stand. Yet you show metal by even approaching me. How ambitious are you, little one? Would you like a chance to prove your worth to me? That's Merun's Dagon. That is the bad guy from Oblivion. I wish to prove my worth, or I have no desire to deal with you, Daedra Prince. You know what, Merun's Dagon? I can prove my worth to you. You are brave, or foolish. Perhaps both. This, then, is your chance to prove your courage. My razor, slayer of man and myrrh, scourge of all who stand before it, lies dormant, stolen by an unworthy bearer, an elf of little courage or consequence. It lies unused, gathering dust in the Alas tomb near Molag Mar. Return it to me, mortal. Prove yourself to be a worthy bearer of Merun's razor. The Alas tomb. Do we immediately stop what we were doing and instead go and try and find the Alas tomb? I think we should do. It's not going to take too long, is it? Yeah, that's fine. And we only discovered this because I thought it'd be funny to try and jump all the way to Blood Moon, and instead we found a, a Daedric shrine that contains the Daedric Prince of Destruction, who was given us a quest to go and find his sword. I got a quest. You will die. I, I won't. <sighs> I've also got Reflect on me, so casting that just hurts you. Ring of Sublime Wisdom. Fortify Alchemy. Five points on self. Constant effect. Nope. Don't need it. We only found this because we specifically went out of our way to do something dumb and the game rewarded us by putting something there. That's what I like. I like that a lot. Okay, so the Alas Tomb, wasn't it? The Alas Tomb near Molag Mar. Where's the Alas Tomb? I can't be too far, can it? Where's Molag Mar? How does one get to Molag Mar? I don't know where Molag Mar is. Uh, are we still jumping across the ocean? We we will do eventually, but we need to get to Molag Mar first of all, and then we'll come back. Molag Mar is to the southeast, you say? Oh, God, that's so far away. Okay, how do we get to Molag Mar? What's the fastest way? Uh, first of all, let's use an amulet to return to somewhere with people. 
Can't be too far, he says, and then it's really far away. So from Nisus, we can probably take the Silt Strider somewhere. Vivek, Silt Strider, or Boat? Hang on, I can use the Ring of the King to go to Vivek. No, not the Ring of the King. Balazar's Mazed Band. That teleports me to Vivek. We take the Vivek Silt Strider to Molag Ma, which is over there. Whatever you're looking something. for, I'm sure I don't know Right. How to find it. Now we make sure the correct rings are equipped again. The Signet Ring. And yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that. Now we leave here. By this way, I think. Don't praise Almalexia. Don't. We've had enough praising of Almalexia. A uh, quick question, where it that is Vivek surrounded by flowers? Is that an ebony spear that he's using? Pretty sure Ebony's banned Vivek. Mr. Mr. Mrs. Vivek shouldn't be allowed that. Bad. Oh, that's the the Ministry of Truth up there by the way. To get there, you need to either jump or levitate. We will go there at some point. Right, where's the Silt Strider from from here? I legit don't know. I'm guessing it's by the fir north. Okay, so let's go north. First of all, let's just jump north. Oh yeah, this is how we travel. The easiest way to get around Vivek is to just not worry about getting around Vivek. And instead, just jump really far. Now, don't get me wrong, the city does look pretty. You are right there. Unfortunately, actually navigating Vivek is awful and terrible, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's a terrible way to do it. Vivek is an absolute mess of a city. Where's the Silt Strider? Where are... Where is the Viveki Silt Strider? I genuinely don't know. Is it all the way over there? Let's just stand here and rest for a bit until my amulet has come back. It's over here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Why ride when you can just jump? Oh, broke my leg. It's fine. Don't worry. King's amulet will fix it. This looks... That looks pretty Silt Stridery. Hello! Goodbye. Gotcha. They'll make a special trip, and it's the same low price. Yo, take me to Molagmar, please. Thank you. What's the item constantly regenerating your HP? Ah, so. That is the Royal Signet Ring. Reflect 100% on self. So if someone tries to poison you, paralyze you, burn you, stun you, back to them. Resist Magicka, 100%. Negative effects from my own abilities? Don't happen. Resist Paralysis, restore 10 health a second, and restore 10 fatigue a second. And you get it by killing King Helseth in Tribunal, which is a thing that you're not meant to do. And the reason that that ring is so powerful is that ring is on King Helseth specifically so you shouldn't kill him. Aren't you a little bit too OP? That is true. The question is, that ring makes me, if anything, too powerful. I think we should probably try and do the rest of the game without the Royal Signet Ring. Because there does there reaches a point where, yeah, you can break Morrowind, but eventually you get to a point where it's too easy. Yes, I've earned it, but he got three smacked by Gaynor without it. I did, but it was funny, because remember, I killed Gaynor without this. Because I killed the king after killing Gaynor. I think we unequip the Royal Signet Ring. It's funny to have, but it's too power. Should we throw it into a volcano? I think we should do that. Right, let's try and go to Molag Mal first. And try and find wherever the hell this place is. But then... We make a special trip just for you, and we throw the signet ring into the fires of Red Mountain. Because it's too powerful. It's, it's just too powerful. No one should have that much power. Okay, the former owner is dead. He has tasked me to find the Razor in the Aeolus tomb near Molag Mar. Right, if I was a tomb, where would I be? 
Aelas tomb. Where be you? That's Molagmar. That's not the Aelas tomb itself. That is Molagmar. But there's got to be a tomb around here somewhere. Let's just jump around till we find it. That's the easiest way to do things. And then break your legs when you land. Oh no, no, I've not got health regeneration. Oh, this has got a lot harder. This has got so much harder. It's snorth -weast. Don't, don't do this to me. Usually tombs are inside pyramids or crypts. Is, is it in there? See, I'm not going to use the wiki, but I will use you. So one of you guys will have to help me with this. Trying to do Blood Moon without the King's Signet Ring is bad. Don't say Weast. Fallout camera, camera. It's somewhere. It's snorthy. I hate all of you. You are all the worst person. Combined. All of you are terrible. How do you do this? Go north to Mount Ash. Okay, so we go north, do we? It's just... Let's have a quick nap. Rest until healed, because that's a thing we have to do now, apparently. What if I jump up and over the mountain? Oh, okay, that, that happens. Hey, how's it going? Random ball sack on legs. That's just what they look like. I'm sorry, it is. It straight up is what they look like. There's ash storms. So much ash storms. I can't see a thing. Josh, you may call us the worst person, but the community is only a reflection of the streamer. How dare you? How dare you? They're just men. Just innocent men. Right. If I was a... If I was a family tomb... We, we wouldn't be this far from Molagmar. There's no way. We do genuinely... I've not got 100% reflection on how I'm not wearing the band anymore. It's not there. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, I'm no longer wearing the King's Band. It is too powerful. It's too good. Local map shows the entrance better. It does, but again, the local map is nowhere near big enough. It's not going to be around here, is it? Right. I will legitimately need you guys to help me out with this. Where is the entrance to the Alas tomb? I feel like Josh is too smart for this 20-year-old game. Well, you say that, I've got a ring that makes the game really easy. It's there. It's it's just there. We just need to go up. What? It's there. It's right there. You have to go to the mountain. Fine, I'll go to the mountain, but if if it's not there... If it's not there... I will be upset. See, I can't see a thing from around here. Unless it's up there. It's it's where it's meant to be. Oh, I hate so many of you with such burning passions. It's northwest of the mountain. I mean, I can go northwest and we can see what we can see. Leap from mountain to mountain. Do some good jumping. The Burning Sword. Don't go west. Got to go northwest. North sweet. How is it that you are unable, as a chat, to team up unless it involves directly irritating me? Like, you, you fail to organize in any way unless the organization directly relates to making life harder for me. In which case, you're all like SAS levels of team. It's a superpower. It really is. Okay, so I'm currently on Mount Canned. That's a tomb just there. If this is the tomb, then you have actually somehow helped me. It is unlikely to be the tomb, though. That's Mount Canned, the cavern. That's the wrong mountain. <sighs> the Alas tomb near Molag Mar. We're a hive mind. What's in here? Is anything in here that we need? It's it's close enough. It's it's a tomb. It's fine. There'll be something in here. There'll be something worthwhile in here. Northeast of the mountain, like diagonally. Hang on, there's something here. There's a 
Enemy or talkative? Talkative! Answer my riddle, fool, and then fight me. The Daedra speaks slowly. In words, it's obviously memorized. A metal neither black nor red, as heavy as man's golden greed. What you do to stay ahead with friend or arrow or steed. Lead or lead, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Pass, mortal. All right, thanks. Um, you seen Maroon's razor anywhere? Let's see what's going on down here. I actually don't remember this from the game at all. I legit do, uh, not go in there. That would kill me. Don't fall in the thing. Are you gonna fight me or are you another riddle giver? I like how we've gone out of our way to find something and just accidentally ran into two riddle givers. Hey. Answer this riddle for me, mortal. Or does their blood run cold? If you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. Okay, so, if we say to him, you will slay me with your sword, and he does so, that was the truth, so he should have used a spell. But if we say, you will slay me with your sword, and he doesn't, then we were lying and he should slay us with the sword, which creates a paradox. So, you will slay me with your sword. Excellent. You are a worthy opponent. If you do not wish to feel the chills of oblivion, you may pass. Thank you. <laughs> then he just stabs you with a spear. I don't know what's in this place. This cave is weird. We've had riddle-giving Atronax so far. Hello. Okay, is this the... Is this the final... The final room? Doesn't seem to be anywhere beyond you. I am your final barrier, mortal. Answer my riddle, and then best me, if you can. My fellow Atronach, Zedais Soko, was slain. The Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill Zedias Soko. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. If only one of these speaks the truth, who killed Zedias Soko? If only one of these speaks the truth. Okay, the Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. If the Altmer is telling the truth, the Dunmer says the Khajiit did it, that's fine, that works. The Orc swears he didn't kill Zedius Soko. Okay, that still works if the Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. Okay, so, if the Khajiit is also lying, the Dunmer will not be lying. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. So that wouldn't work, because if the Altmer is telling the truth, and the Khajiit is lying, and the Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying, then the Khajiit isn't lying, which means the Dunmer won't be lying, so the Dunmer says the Khajiit did it, so that actually causes a weird paradox. If the Dunmer is telling the truth, let's see what happens. If only one of these speaks true, because they will cancel each other out. So the Dunmer says, let's have a quick look. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. If that's the only true statement, let's see if the other ones work. The Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. That's irrelevant. That doesn't work. That can be a lie. The Orc swears he didn't kill Zedia Soko. Okay, so if he's lying and he didn't kill it, then that would mean he did kill it. Yeah, so actually, the Orc swears he didn't kill Zedia Soko. 
if that has to be a lie, then it has to be the orc, unless it's the orc lying. If the Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying, if that's true, the Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. So that only actually gets rid of the Khajiit. But what if the orc is the one telling the truth? The orc swears he didn't kill Zedia Soko. If he's telling the truth, then actually we don't learn anything about the other ones. The Khajiit of the Dumbest Light, it's got to be the Orc that killed it. I think it's the Orc. I acknowledge that your answer is correct. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Atronek. Where do we go now? Do you have a a thing for me? Yeah, answer your riddle and then best me. You have answered correctly, immortal. I have, but do I need to go underwater now or something? Is there a, a place you wish me to see or travel to? Or do you need me to go up somewhere? I'm trying to work out where your cave goes to. Oh, hang on. There's more cave. There's more cave per cave. He did say, and then best me, didn't he? Maybe if you get the riddle wrong, you have to fight them. Oh. Hello. There's lava. That could be convenient. Mount Canned Shrine. Your journal has been updated. I received Vivek's blessing from the shrine at Mount Kent. What does Vivek's blessing do? Let's find out. Mount Kent shrine. Endurance and intelligence attribute boost. Nice. Okay. Endurance and intelligence. This is a temple quest. It's probably one of the the shrines you have to go on a pilgrimage to. We've just kind of done it slightly out of order. Oh, look at the lovely square lava that just stops dead on the edge. Perfect. Do we drop the king's ring here, or do we put that in the actual red mountain in the center of the map? I think we should do the red mountain in the center. Oh, that should be a full-on red mountain thing. And we, we don't keep the ring. It, it makes the game too easy. It takes away so much challenge. I think we we very much stick it in the Red Mountain. Okay, cool. So we accidentally found a completely random shrine when we were looking for a different shrine. And we still haven't found the other shrine. So I'm going to need you guys to help me work out where the hell the actual Alas tomb. Is it Alas tomb? Is. With... Oh, I've... My athletic skill increased. Have a nap. You have ascended to level 18. The challenge now is to stay at the peak as long as you can. You may be as strong today as any mortal who has ever walked the earth, but there's always someone younger. A new challenger. Thanks, game. I appreciate it when you give me existential dread. Let's increase willpower, endurance, and strength. Cheers. What's a lovely thing? Hey, guys, remember... Remember that you're getting older all the time. Constantly, if if anything. Constantly older. Always, always marching toward death. There's always another younger, prettier you just out there. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. You're gonna love it. There's no secrets in this tomb, I don't think. It was Todd's plan to make you feel old. Which is ironic, because Skyrim is younger than Morrowind, and yet Morrowind, I think, beats it. So, we need to find this Alas tomb. Where the hell is the Alas tomb? So, we've discovered that one, Mount Canned Cavern. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Northeast over the next ridge. Okay, I'm going to trust you on this one. I'm going to trust you by jumping all the way there. What's that? What's that tomb? Asu. 
That's just the a place called Asu. I don't know if that's important, but I mean, one more. Ass you. Fine. I'll go into the ass. Hello, Josh Drive says. You can see other clips like this and more over on the Twitch channel, Josh Drive Hayes. Come and join us live sometime. It's like YouTube, but longer and worse. Right, let's go into the... Let's go into the cave. What is that? That is a that is a daydroth. That's a problem. Okay. Use my amulet. Hack you to pieces. Yes. See, with my amulet of invisibility, I am doing pretty good. Hey, how's it going, Fistel? Do you want to be Fisteled in the Asu? This conversation has gone on too long. Any conversation with you is too long. Fistel, don't make me kill you, because I will. What is that? There's a box down there. I want to go and get it. What's in this box? Worn chest. Amulet of stamina. Expensive amulet and some gold. Yeah. It's always nice to have some more stamina. That's... That's what I keep being told. Right. Don't need any more than that. Can I... Can I yeah, I can get out of here. Here we go. I need you to move so I can go and see what else is in this cave. Also, why are you hanging out with Daedra? That's what happens when you attack me, mate. That's what happens! Steal some gold off you. Alright. What's in your little... clench chop? We ventured into the Asu and killed Fistel to get the clench charm. We have clenched the Asu from Fistel. Todd. Todd. You know, I know. We all know what you're doing here, Todd. You don't need to pretend that you're not doing it. This chest is trapped, so I'm still going to open it. Yeah, it's fine. Paralyze Deep Darkest Darkness. What is that? I want to read it. In Morrowind. Both worshippers and sorcerers summon lesser Daedra. Oh, I've read that before. Yeah, I've I've read Darkest Darkness. It's not the best. Let's have a quick nap until healed. And now we're good to go. Ah, uh, yes, the Darkest Darkness of the Asu. Oh, it's just so dumb. Hey, look, a massive expanse of water. I hate it. Because of things like that. Random underwater frost atronach. Yeah, sit down, you. Anything down in the depths of the water? Hopefully not, but... What does make me happy is the fact that Morrowind is just not powerful enough to render, like, massive underwater sea creatures. If it was powerful enough to render it, I would never jump into the water. Just wouldn't do it. I'd be too scared. Water breathing. There we go. Now we're safe. I'd be way too... Subnautica playthrough when? Everyone asks me for that, and I keep saying no, because it would absolutely scare me. It would terrify me. I would cry. How do we get through... How do we get up there? I know how we get up there. We jump up there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Definitely not the way you meant to do it. Then we hack our way through these wizards. And mages, you're dead. You're over-encumbered. Oh, have I had my... Have I had my... I've had my strength damaged. Not a problem. I can just rest until healed. It's still damaged. Why? That's actually okay, because I've got the spell Almalexia's Light, which should... 
completely restore all my stats. All right, good to go now. Who are you? Dravani Halaran. Staff of Magnus. Blunt weapon, two-handed. Value, 210,000 gold. Spell absorption, 25. Restore health, one point. Cast when used. That is an incredibly rare, powerful staff. That is one of the artifacts, I believe. It weighs 10. Let's take it. I've got to throw some stuff away. I don't need an exquisite shirt. I'm never going to wear it. Or an exquisite belt. Also not wearing it. Should probably drink something. Don't need you. You weigh too much. Let's have a drink of Sujama. Why not? All right, what's over here? Journeyman's Retort. Potion. Potion. Quality. Scroll of Summon Frost at Tranek. Summon Daedroth. I'll take that. Yeah. Let's grab these scrolls. Let's loot you. Chest. Locked and trapped. Not, my friend, a problem. On Ducey's open door. In we go. Okay. Corpse preparation of the same book that I dropped and a drain health spell that you've cast onto me, which has now stopped. Was that the only way to get up here? Not like a little secret. Because there's a there's a thing over there, and I want to get to it. And we are going to get to it in five minutes. I've been streaming for three hours. I'm going to go for at least three or four more, but I do need a quick break to grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, and pop to the bathroom. So, guys, I will see you in ten... No, let's make it awkward. Let's say seven minutes' time. Ready for seven minutes? Seven-minute break. I'll see you then. I've got a cup of tea. I've got a little bag of Hello Panda sweets. I can see that I've got everything I need. But you know what I don't have? My uniform. Guys, welcome back. Let's carry on. Hello Panda. Hell yeah. Hello Panda. Costco special. Because they had a box on sale. I swear to God, Costco is the only thing. If, if Costco wants to sponsor this stream, please let me know. You did make me jump there. That was the plan. No uniform. Almalexia be praised. We have returned. I, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why has this stream spawned those two lines? There's just one thing we will never, ever, ever forget. Okay. There's my alarm going off. See how professional I am? It's my get back to work alarm. Right, what is in that chest over there? I'm over encumbered. Oh, I drank too much Sujama. I need to drop, like, one thing. What do I and do I not need? Expensive amulet. Never going to use them. Drop them both. Don't need them. They can stay there. Have a quick nap. You can rest until healed on the hammock. How do we get to that thing over there? You know what we can do? We can levitate. And just walk right on over. Oh, yeah. That is... That's the beauty of Morrowind. You just walk right on over. Then we cast some magical unlock spells. Tactical nap. That's what we need. Now, I could. These are both trapped. So, if I go into my inventory and grab my journeyman's probe, I can probe the box. Or It does feel illegal, doesn't it? Always probe the box. Seriously, you must play the Elder Scrolls Arena. I might even play... Are we probing the Asu? Mm, we are, aren't we? We are probing the Asu. Right, what's in here? Oh! Cruel Flame Bolt. Nice. Cruel Shard Bolt. 300 gold. Stuff, stuff. Herder's Belt. Shield. 5 points. Silence Charm. Silence for 5 seconds. And some diamonds, which again are pretty valuable. And what's in here? Hello. Dwarven Harbour, Chest of Fire. Value 80. Fire Shield, 3 points for 5 seconds on self. That's terrible. Pearl, Diamond, Emerald. I'll take the diamonds. They're always useful. Those two boxes were not as impressive as I thought they would be. Like, I had really high expectations because they were secret. 
and they they did not meet those expectations. I'm gonna be real. They they really didn't. I am slightly slightly. Have you ever done a stream of the original Deus Ex? Not yet, but I want to. That's another game on the list. Don't worry. I mean, we are gonna finish Morrowind eventually. It's gonna take a while because we need to do all of uh, all of Blood Moon, and then we need to get back and do all of the actual main story. So there is there's a lot left to go. But I, I already know what game we're doing after this, so don't you worry about that. I've already worked out what Oh, hello. What's up here? Ooh-woo. What's this? Is that... Is this just like a random hole? Okay, there's, there's nothing up here. This is just like a random little little crevice inside Asu. Okay, we have probed the Asu crevice. Now we must continue over this way. There's nothing up there specifically. Nothing in here either. I'm not just saying random words, by the way. This cave is called Asu. It's not me making it up. I can't wait to watch you finish Morrowind with my, with my grandchildren in several years' time. It won't take me that long. Okay, it might do. Right, where on earth is the the cave we need to go to? What's it called? It is Alas Tomb. The Alas Tomb near Molagmar. The Alas Tomb. Where the hell is it? You keep saying northeast, and I keep going northeast, and I keep not finding it. Oh god, no, that's a problem. That would way too far. And thus ended the adventure of the Nerevarine, as they prayed to the amulet of Van Halen and leapt all the way over a mountain after completely forgetting to fix their hat. Oh, hang on, no. Oh, no, it's broken still. Damn it. Okay, northeast. So that way, but like not insane levels of jump. You keep saying northeast. I'm going to trust you that it's northeast. So I am going to go this way. And I will equip my Daedric Dai Katana because I like it as a weapon. South Southwest! <sighs> the other east. There is only one east. I hope. Molag we're too far from Molagmar now. There's no way it's all the way over here. Because we're like a million miles from Molagmar. Put the ring on and jump. Oh, yep, yeah, that was dangerous. That is a frost atronach. That is too powerful. East. Didn't we say weast? Gotta put it to a vote. It's northeast of Mount Kand and Asu, though. Is it actually northeast of Mount Kand and Asu? Is it? I do not trust any of you anymore. It's the the tomb, the Alas tomb. See if we can jump up and over. Might be able to, we might not. If I were a tomb, where would I be? Let's just slash our way through cliff races. Okay, you are so close. I hate this. What's that? That's just a rock. Oh god. Um, pick me up, I'm scared. Local. It's not showing up on the local map. And the local map is the map that I trust the most. Go north from where you are. Can we have a... Yep, quick nap until healed. Die, Scrib. Yeah. Yeah, don't... Don't mess with me. I'm playing Guild Wars 2 right now, thanks to you. It's a good MMO. I think Guild Wars 2 is a good game. I trust... Hang on, what? You... Are you angry that I killed the Scrib, or are you annoyed that I've missed the tomb again? Is that it down there? That looks that... Hang on. Hang on a tick. Just bear with me. That looks like a tomb. Hello, Skelly Bob. And you. Angry horn on legs. <gasps> we found it. I was personally never in any doubt that we would find it. I knew. I very much knew. I had faith in myself. I... We didn't need you. 
if anything, you've been a hindrance to this entire thing. I I have been the driving force behind this adventure. Almalexia, actually, yeah, she can be praised. Was it Northeast? We don't need to discuss where things were in relation to other things. It, it's not important. It doesn't matter. East, North, Northeast, East, North, these things, ooh. These things don't matter. Invisibility. Go. Angry sword. Go. Game is much easier when you can't be attacked because people can't see you. Earn. Nothing in there. Oh, oh, hello. What it? Steel spear. Don't need you. Do need to kill a clan fear. Anything in these urns? I'm going to be real. The the amulet of 80% chameleon is the best thing in the entire game. And you find it like five minutes into actually playing. It's so, so powerful. What's in here? Oh, it's a hunger. You can resist magic all you want. I'll just kill you with the actual sword. Yeah, there you go. Sit down, you. Scrib jelly. Common pants. I don't need to get into those. Nothing magical down here at all. Remember, we're after Merun's razor. One of he, the artifact weapons that we've got. Is that... I like how they, the steel spear goes into that. If we take that, does that get up? Oh, that'd be so cool if it did. Can you imagine? All right, steel spear. Don't need you. Drop you on the floor. I'm not going to be able to carry Merun's razor along with everything else. Imagine dying and then your relatives turn up to <laughs> drop off your pants. <laughs> oh, that'd be a strange funeral, wouldn't it? Sit down, you. Anything on you? Nothing. Nothing powerful. Right, what's up here then? Hello. Hello. Varna Hleras's corpse. A rusty dagger. That's interesting. A rusty dagger. It's a strange name for a... For an item. I just... I wouldn't have imagined... That it was... Like, if it was just called Rusty Dagger, I'd get it. But the fact that it's called A Rusty Dagger makes me think that it might be important. Okay, maybe I'll come back to that later. That might be important. It's it's very sus. It's, rem it's a sussy backer, indeed. And I say it that way because I know some of you absolutely hate it when I do that. Pick it up just in case. You know what? I might do. What? What's the worst that could happen? I don't need these amulets. They can go there. That can go on the floor. Exquisite pants. I don't need to wear pants. They can go on the floor. That's not what I'm about in this life. Aftermath, good evening to you. Welcome. Hope you're having a lovely day. I'm going to take this a rusty dagger. Yeah. See? I've taken that now. Nothing bad can come of this. I'm sure... Everything's fine. Let's see what's this way. Oh, no, that's... That's not that way. It did say that the... This was where the thing was, wasn't it? That's that way, that's that way. Have I missed a trick? Have I missed something? Is there a secret that I should be seeing that I'm not? Probably. So Merun's razor is meant to be somewhere in this tomb. And I'm clearly not seeing it. But I don't want to use a guide. It's going to be somewhere. Unless that is the dagger. Because a rusty dagger I equip it. No, it does nothing special. Maybe the journal said it. 
It seems that the fabled dagger Maroon's razor has fallen into the hands of an unworthy bearer. The former owner is now dead, and the razor lies hidden and unused. Okay, find the razor and return it to him. It must be that. Yeah, if I can do this, I will have proved myself. That must just be it. It's a rusty dagger. Nothing special about it until he gets it back, and then it becomes his. So you actually can't discover Merun's razor randomly. You find it and then have to go and take it back to him. Right, let's use the armed civvy intervention to return to somewhere with people. Right, where are we currently? We are... We're actually by Molagmar, which is useful, because then I can just go from Molagmar, leap all the way over here. That's too high. Problem. Oh, nearly died. I do need to now take the Silt Strider back, and we can Silt Strider all the way back to, I think, Nisus, and then we can just jump from there. Here we go. First time catching a stream. Say something witty. Oh, no. Now you've put me on the spot. Now I've got to say something really funny. Oh, hang on. Let me just Google funny one-liners. <coughs> yeah, there you go. You got a Morrowind cough. You're welcome. Delami Androm really saw you through there. Fantastic. Thank you. Let's go to Vivek. Where would and you like to go? From Vivek, we can travel to... Uh, I want to say Balmora. Then from Balmora, we can go to... We are just blitzing around here. I want to say Old Rune. And then from Old Rune, I think we go to Nisus. We just check we're in the right place. So yeah, Nisus or Ald Velothi if we need to. You go to Nisus? Yeah, you do. Beautiful. He wasn't lying. It was his first message. I know. It was his very first message. And I was like, I, I think I've got nothing. I've got nothing. It's not. Sorry. It's not there. Am I using mods or just going in raw? We are full on raw dog in Morrowind. However, I am using a graphical extender mod and I am using the don't crash patch. That's pretty much it. Everything else, exactly as it would be normally. Include it, well, including the fact that we can make a, an amulet which allows us to jump across half the map in one go. So, we will be fully abusing the incredibly overpowered Morrowind jumping system to allow us to get where we need to get to quickly. Let's just have a quick rest until healed. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful nighttime view right there. As long as I land on the tip, I don't die. There we go. See? That only takes like half my health up. It's great. The graphical extender, though, without a doubt, is super useful. Let's have a quick 24-hour rest. So my amulet of jumpy jumps is returned to its former glory. Yeah, there we go. If I jump in the right place and I land... Perfect. Absolutely perfect stuff right there. Yeah, Lusty only has to hop on the tip, and then we're all... Then she's good. She's done. She's not a greedy girl. Oh, that was too much. Wait, no. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Land in the water, and we will be okay. Oh, goodness me. That was almost very, very not okay. Oh, God. And thus ends the legend of the Nerevarine, as she leapt through the air, broke her legs by landing in some shallow water, almost drowned, and then got slapped by a Nyx hound. Oh, nope. Overshot it. Ah, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. Never any doubt in my mind. Because, look, you can... This is like one hit. These are, yeah, there we go. When you hit them, it's one hit. Don't... don't clip that. My rest has been interrupted by a random walking spliff. And the... oh, hello you. Right, back to my jumpy jump. Where is... it's that way, isn't it? Yeah. Leap this way. I should start to see the... the ruins come into view. There they are. There you are. Now, the last time we did this... We had the power of God and anime on our side because I had that massively overpowered King's Ring. We don't have that anymore. So, if any of these enemies have respawned, we are in trouble. Water walking. 
walk on the water and now move across here see i love spells like water walking because they're they're utility spells they only work in very specific situations but it feels like they're super valuable to have for those exact situations and i like that a lot to me that's valuable Sit down, Dremora Lord. What you got on you? A Deodric Tanto. Ooh, weight 12. Value 14,000. It's nice. It, it's actually very difficult to get Deodric Tantos. But I don't need that. Because I've got a Deodric Daikatana in my hands right now. That was a nice phone game. That was full on Flappy Bird, that was. When we kill an enemy, you always check their phone for games. Stand still. Let me sword you. What have you got on you, mate? You've got a Dwarven Warhammer. Nobody wants that. Down still. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And that's quite rare. Not even a joke. That's legitimately quite rare. That's a Deodric War Axe. You actually don't see many of those in the game. I I don't think there's almost any of those. I mean, it's super heavy, so we're not going to be able to use it. But I've actually never seen a Deodric War Axe in Morrowind. That's really cool. As soon as this... Uh, let me rest until healed. That is very cool. I've genuinely never seen that item. Okay. Yeah, that's quite rare. I mean, when you conjure it, you conjure a Great Axe. I don't think you conjure a, a War Axe. It's a random drop from a Dremora Lord. That's pretty cool. That is... That is pretty cool. However, it weighs 70, so we really can't be using it right now. I can, however, equip my Deodric Daikatana, which I like a lot. Hey, guess what? Found your dagger. You found my razor. Good. Can you feel its hunger? Can you feel its frustration? Now I will make it again what it once was, what it shall always be. Draw a line of blood across the land in the name of Meirun's Dagon. Short blade. One-handed. Cast when strikes. Disintegrate armor. Weakness to poison. Poison. Now, the cool thing about daggers is I'm over-encumbered for some reason. Oh, it's very slightly heavier. Got to get rid of something. Let's get rid of... I'm never going to use the Cruel Viper Bolt ring. Or these exquisite rings. Or the extravagant Sapphire Amulet. Alright, cool, now we can move. The cool thing about daggers is, it's not about charging up, it's about just spam clicking and doing as many attacks as you possibly can. No instant kill. I don't need to enchant the exquisite rings. I've got more than enough... From what I've got here. Right, so we took a bit of a side quest and we found Meruin's Razor, which is pretty bloody cool. Now that is a, I believe, a short blade. I'll double check that. Yep, what is my short blade skill? Because I put all of my time into learning how to use long blades. My short blade skill is only 40, so this is not very good, but we can try. We can see if it's any good. Enchant some feather on your stuff. Oh, we could do that, couldn't we? We could do that. Will this kill the Ebony Knight? Oh, we killed him last time. We drank a load of Sujama and smacked him around with a spear. I jumped here and I'm a bit lost. Can you explain what are the Daedra? Uh, effectively, evil princes from the realm of Oblivion. Let's go and stab something. Hello, you. Come here, be stabbed. All right. That's pretty powerful. You are definitely dead now. So here's what I'm thinking. I could... First things first, let's see if we can jump all the way to 
Blood Moon from here. I want to see if we can. I actually don't know if you can or can't. Bitter green plant. Don't need that. This it is the very edge of the world. And I'm going to sleep for a bit till the weather clears up. So we have a couple of hours rest. Sorry, blighted scrib. Right. Blood Moon's over there. Let's rest until I want a clear day, ideally. I don't know if it will clear, though, because it's the edge of the world. It might just... God damn, the fog gets worse. Come on, there's got, there's got to be at least one clear day at some point. Because... Is that a box? Hang on a tick. No, it's not a box. Ignore me. It was not a box. Now, okay, I won't kill any more scribs. It seems to make all of you upset. No more scribs will die. That way. Can we get any more? Okay, there we go. Clearing up. The fog. The view distance is longer than this. It's just fog. God damn it. Okay, we'll wait for a bit. Now it's night time. Seven in the morning. There we go. Now we've got a view distance thing going on. Sweet. One more hour. Come on. This is the best we're going to get. Best we're going to get. Do we jump all the way if we can? Quick save. Let's see if you can jump all the way to Solstein. What I do want to do is try and angle the camera so I can see. Hello, you. Angle the camera so I can see under the water. Because I love the idea that you can see all of the underwater bit of Morrowind. It's a very cool idea. We need to be going this way. This way should, in theory, get us all the way to Solstheim. It's almost a shame there's not, like, some crazy cool treasure hidden all the way out here under the water that no one's yet found. I mean, is there a see under the water better spell? Because I, I hate the fact the water makes your vision go as blurry as it does. I really wish there was a see under the water spell. Use water walking and keep jumping. Just jump one more time. Leap all the way over there. That gets us this way. I just... I, I really wish that we could find some kind of hidden first-time treasure chest thing. I know we won't, because Morrowind has been explored to hell and back. Now I can use water walking. Can you jump? I don't think you can jump while water walking, which is very annoying. But we can just keep walking. This guy's got water walking, now he wants water seeing. I do wish we could see under the water. Oh, okay, you can do that. If you've got water walking, landing just counts as normal landing. Okay. That's that's really cool that you can actually walk all the way to Solstheim. It's a an actual mass of land. There are seven hidden grottos very far out in the ocean for no reason, but they don't have guaranteed loot. I would go there. I would still go there, just to see what there is. It's super cool that you can walk all the way here. Morrowind is a massive landmass. Look at that, it's just, just, there's so much... There's so much potential under the water. Especially for, like, one massive enemy. There's Dragonbone armor somewhere. There is Dragonbone armor in the game, that is true. That is very true. Okay, there is, however, something... That was just to prove we can do it. There is something that I want to do before we 
before we carry on. Something that I think is very important for us to do. We need to address the difficulty of the game. If we use the King's Ring, it's too easy. It's almost too easy if we use the 80% sneak thing, because I've got a sneak spell. I think we need... Let's go to Aldruin. There we go. I think I need to kind of effectively balance the game. And that's going to mean getting rid permanently of some things. It's too powerful. Can you bump up the difficulty to maximum? If I bumped it up to maximum and the King's Ring was worn, it would still be too easy. Because the, the King's Ring, when I say it's powerful, it is 100% reflect of any effective status, 100% resist magicka, fully resist paralysis, and restore 10 health and stamina a second. That is way too powerful. And I think that, yeah, proper leveling does make you really, really OP. And the thing with Morrowind's difficulty is it doesn't actually make the enemies more interesting, it just gives them more health, which means fights just take a bit longer. Which isn't really right, the vibe that I want. So what I thought we could do instead Speak is freely, I need to find a, a repair person to fix my hat. Because my hat is broken. Barter. Do you sell? You do. Give me those armorers hammers. And give me that hammer as well. Sweet. Offer. How about I offer you a 69? Oh, you'll take that, won't you? Yeah, you will. Ergnia. You, Speak up. you lovely man. <clears throat> that was nice. Armorers hammer. And then we also use the journeyman's hammer to fix everything. There's a couple of things I want to do before we actually finish the main quest. One, I want to find every piece of Daedric armor in the game, and I want to wear them. Because at the minute I'm wearing her hand's armor, which is cool. But Daedric would be very cool, you know? Very cool. Enjoy the dings, by the way. This is the, this is the ding part of the stream. Oh, I'm out of hammers. Okay, cool. But more importantly, I can now do this. If there's one thing that isn't changing with this stream, it's that hat. That hat is not changing. That's remaining no matter what happens. Okay, now I've got to leave. Let's do two things right now, because I feel... Have any of you ever played a game and you've got to a point where the game's difficulty, you've almost trivialized it because of how overpowered you've become? I feel that Morrowind is a game that you can very much trivialize the difficulty on if you are able to just find some of the powerful items. And I think we have done that. Now that's the ghost gate over there. Here is my plan. One, jump over the ghost gate. Two, go all the way into Red Mountain. Three, throw the king's ring into the lava. How much charge does that have? Actually quite a lot. Four, contract corpus disease. That will be entirely separate, but will also probably happen. Okay, so we can't go this way. We need to go to the ghost gate, which is that way. Can I climb this way to the ghost gate? Let me just very quickly stab lots of angry birds. Then I can't rest because enemies are nearby, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, god damn it. Now I've got to walk all the way around. I can't even... Oh, no. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Is that the razor blade? It is. That's Maroon's razor. Where are you? Enemy. There's an enemy. There you are. 
I feel that lev good point levitate over the fence can you do that I didn't realize that you could actually do that but if you can great I always when I was a kid I always thought the fence was like an actual barrier like it extended up into the sky but the more I play Morrowind the more I realize that it's better than that you know it's it's way better than that. I don't have enough Magicka to cast Levitate again. And I'm not near the top. Let's see what happens. I've got my parachute ready in case we fall. Damn it! Let's try and Levitate from over here, shall we? Oh, I can't rest. Enemies are nearby. So close. So close. Do I have anything that lets me jump? Didn't I pick up some potions of jumping? Oh, no, I threw them all away because I thought they'd be useless. Damn it. That doesn't work. I've got no potions that would work. Nothing that would work here. That won't work either. I, I can't cast levitate. I can't cast jump. Don't have enough magicka for that. All right, cool. I guess we are running all the way around the long way. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're running around the long way. I've only played Oblivion and Skyrim. Would you guys recommend Morrowind, modded or vanilla? So I'm running a, a vanilla copy with a couple of graphical extender mods. First of all, to play it in widescreen and then so it doesn't crash. Also to extend the view distance. I think Morrowind mechanically, if you play it mechanically vanilla you are going to run into a lot of quirks the roll to hit system the accuracy system the training system the leveling system there's a lot of stuff that you will look at and you'll go why now the why is because it makes it a better rpg but not necessarily a better video game which i know sounds strange but i think morrowind is an excellent rpg while being a very flawed video game that to me seems one of the best ways to describe this game like as a as a video game mechanics there's stuff that you you know you really question without a doubt like the roll to hit effect on the dagger open mw open morrowind is also a really good way to play the game but here's a good example of how morrowind pretty much sets it apart from other games that is the ghost fence or the ghost gate it contains the central part of the game which it surrounds this mountain. It's the hardest part of the game. In most other games, that would be a effectively an invisible wall up to the sky. Whereas here, we can leap over it if we have enough jump, which I've given myself and I should never have. But now I need to get into Red Mountain. We shouldn't be here yet. This is way beyond the scope that our character should be at. Nothing can stop Lust T. The Argonian mate. Oh, it's Corpus. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to contract Corpus, aren't I? This is a pro... Hang on, have I just... Did I contract Corpus? Right. I don't think so. Oh, there's more of them. Contracting Corpus is a bad idea. There also is just a gate. The fence isn't made... Yeah. It... The fence isn't made to keep you out. It just keeps the blight in. So we need to go to the center. Come here, you. Sit down. S alligator boy. Is it an alligator or a crocodile? Who are you? You are an ash slave. I always found that it's difficult to tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile, but there is a way to do it. Uh, it's to do with the jaw shapes and... The easiest way to remember it is that one of them will see you later, and one of them will see you in a while. That is the easiest way to work out which one you are talking to. Let's kill the hunger. Nice jokes, thank you. That's what you get when you come to this stream. Yeah. I'm going to cast Levitate on myself and Levitate up here. Now, we can only levitate for 30 seconds, so we very much need to make the most of this and just run. I do not think I'm going to be able to make it all the way up this mountain in 30 seconds, but we'll find out. 
Would I ever play Fallout New Vegas? That was actually the game I was going to play after this. So I've never played New Vegas. I've played Fallout 3, and I enjoyed bits of it, but I felt it was very lacking as an RPG, because in Fallout 3, the main... the player isn't even the main character. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I felt was, was remarkably lacking. Let's just slice you down. And see if I can jump up here. I don't know if I can, but... Do what I can. Can we jump? Can we get higher? Can we... We go up. Come on. Come on, Lusty. That's it. Lusty, get higher. You can do this. Believe in you. Let's just wait for the stamina to recharge. Can we? We can rest until healed. We've been interrupted by whatever the hell you are. Ash Ghoul. Okay. And now we jump. Lovian parachute, and when do we... God damn it! Okay, maybe I can rest until healed again. Let's rest for... Oh, I can't rest because there are enemies nearby. Rest for a while so we get our jumping back. Oh god, that's a problem. Come on, Ogrim Titan. Yeah. Yeah! I wasn't worried. Jump. Parachute. We are not meant to be here. But I'm going to be here because... Steel and iron Dwemer doors. Oh, we can go in. Okay. Is this... Hello. That was a powerful Dwemer. What did they drop? They dropped a... God damn, guys. We are just getting all of the powerful weapons this time. That's a Daedric Longsword. That's a good weapon. Third try. Would you consider streaming a playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade? Yes, it's on the list. That is a pretty damn good sword. The problem is it weighs 60 pounds. So I've got to drop something that weighs 60 pounds. What can I drop? What can I drop? Is Josh liking this game? Yes, I am. Daedric Longsword, one-handed, slash, 44, long blade. But I've already got True Flame, long blade, slash, 60. Weight 20. But look at how badass it looks as a sword. That's a pretty cool looking sword right there. I love the look of Morrowind's weapons. It's horrible to think about the fact that we've got to drop it, but I think we do have to drop it because we do not need it. Now the, oh, hello. Now the question to me, will you ever use it? No, I won't. I don't think this is where we need to be. So I'm going to put this away. Back out here. And I'm going to see if I can find the center of the mount. It's up there somewhere. Let's just jump up there, shall we? Yes. Um, damn it. The jump amulet failed us. Ooh, we couldn't jump high enough. The jump amulet actually failed us. It's not what you want to hear, is it? Let's see if it'll work from here. Yeah, that's better. Jump. And land hurt myself badly jump and land again see if I can land on this part of the mountain and not fall down I do not know if you're meant to be able to get to this part of the mountain but we are gonna try gosh darn it we're gonna try you say jump and then cast levitate at the top Oh, you genius! You smart boy! You have been doing... You have been doing your research. Jump and cast Levitate at the top of the jump, and you end up being able to levitate all the way to the very tippy top of the mountain. Right. Quick save the game. 
Have a quick nap on the... You can only rest on solid ground. Oh, I'm still levitating, aren't I? What the hell was that? Whatever that is over there, it seems powerful. What is this? Don't think we should have landed there. What? That's the very se Is this the center? Is this the center of Red Mountain? Or are there other centers? That's the question. That is it. That is the center of Red Mountain. This is the end part of the game. Here's my plan. Jump up a little bit higher, so it's a bit more dramatic. And then, from here, the center of the mountain, we do something that we needed to do a while ago. Something that's very important. The King's Ring is making the game too easy. This ring right here. The Royal Signet Ring. So, if I drop it, we lose it forever. So here's the plan. Levitate. Walk forward. Over the fire. And drop the ring. It's too powerful. And it's making the game too easy. It is gone. It is gone forever. We can no longer, and what I'm going to do as well, now it's gone, is like quick save. So we now can't go back to the previous quick save without it. Does this mean chat is Samwise? It is. So I take it you haven't reached the part of the game that you need to use the ring for yet. You don't need to. It's a completely optional random item. It's... You don't need it. <laughs> the king died for nothing. No, no, no. He died for his sweet robes. See? His cool threads. The only way we can make this game even harder is if we also dropped the Amulet of Shadow. Do you think I'm relying on that too much? Am I relying on the Amulet of Shadow too much? Where is it? I put Gainwell's Amulet on, so that fortifies luck. Where's the Amulet of Shadow? It's, it's too good. That's the problem. It's around here somewhere. Hang on, let me find it, first of all. Amulet of Shadows, chameleon, 80% for 60 seconds on self. It's it's too easy. There's no too good. Cast aside your earthly possessions. Okay, this calls for a vote in the chat. You guys need to make this choice for me because I cannot make this choice. The vote is the Amulet of Shadow. The amulet that's giving me 80% chameleon, letting me sneak up on things, kill them with, you know, no difficulty whatsoever. It doesn't even affect bosses, because bosses can see you no matter what. So, the amulet of shadow. We're going to have to poll this, and don't 50-50 it. If you 50-50 this, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But if, if you 50-50 it perfectly, I have to go and get the king's ring back. That's what we have to do. Keep using it, or destroy it. You have two minutes to vote on this, starting now. The Amulet of Shadow. The problem is, it's too good. It gives me 80% Chameleon. 
and that lets me just sneak past a ton of enemies. It lets me win fights with no risk, no worry whatsoever. Do I keep the Amulet of Shadow, or do I destroy it? Keeping it will mean that I'm going to use it. This is democracy. Keeping it will mean that I use it, which means I'll be able to trivialize some of the harder fights in the game, although we've done that with doors. Destroying it will mean I no longer get to rely on a guaranteed kind of stealth amulet. I'm still going to be able to cast Hide on myself. I've got the spell Hide. That's no problem at all. Invisibility. I can probably buy some kind of spell that gives me a chameleon effect. But if you... Does this have to be 50-50 to the person or 50-50 just 50%? thing is, I've given you guys two minutes to do this, so unfortunately, it has to be to the person. Okay, not the percent, to the person. The problem is, what happens is, it gets to like a level and someone thinks, oh, we're only one person off, so they click. But then you click and it's the wrong person. Someone will, will overshoot this. Someone will do it. Someone will coordinate, you'll, you'll try and coordinate the numbers, you'll overshoot it, you'll click the wrong thing. You're not even doing 50-50% now in general. I mean, even with the to the person thing, you're not going to get it. You're close. Worryingly so. But if you get it to the person, I have to go and get the king's ring back. But you won't do it. How quickly do you die if you just jump into the lava? Where's the king's ring? Oh god, does lava act as... Does it act as liquid? Where are you? King... Oh god. Hang on. I need to... oh, don't... Item does not have enough charge. Gotta cast levitate. Ah, uh, what gives me, like, protection from hot? Protection from being on fire. I hate this. Right, where was I when I dropped the ring? Levitate? Yes, I'm gonna have to levitate above the lava, but I can't rest here because there are enemies nearby. Right, I have to mark here and then recall, don't I? I can't because I failed casting mark and now I have no mana. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's just, let's be sensible with this. Let's be sensible. Oh, hello door. Now, if I open the console, you can move the mouse over things and spot stuff. But I've got to spot the ring in an ash storm. It's... it's... where is it? Console is cheating, that's called ch Okay, so rest until healed. Quick save. Levitate. go. Where the hell is the ring? It's not here. It has fallen through the lava 
to somewhere else. And even if it hadn't, I could only levitate for 30 seconds at a time. So I need to time it so I'm back on solid ground by the time it gets there. Boromir took it. Drop something else to test it. Detect item enchantment. Is there a detect item enchantment? Do I have that? There's a detect key. But I don't know if there's detect item. Hang on. Oh, God. Is there a thing of detect item? Locate object. Would that work? Let me see if I have any spells that detect item. Locate ring. Detect key. I've got that. That's all I've got. The spell exists. The ring is floating somewhere in the air where you dropped it. Use a detect enchantment spell. It's floating in the air! Oh god. Okay, hang on. Let's just... How did you get down here? Right. Save. Up we go. Going up. We dropped it from up here, didn't we? I am really looking. Dropped it from somewhere up here. Was it like, was it this thing just here? Yeah, it was here, wasn't it? I'm sure. Or it was a, is that it? No. Is that it? No, this, they're bits of ash. I can't see it because there's just bits of ash everywhere. Oh, did we, were we even higher up? Were we across? What happened? There was something small and dark on the screen. Chat, you, you, we levitated out from here, did we? Okay. We can rest again. It's fine. Rose in too deep. We're going to find this. We're going to find this gosh darn ring. Was it over there? Was it up there? I'm trying to look for any tiny dot on the screen anywhere that could be a magic ring. This is looking like a more familiar place that we may have dropped it from. But this is too high up. Oh, you are the worst, chat. We could have just played the game and you were like, no, get the ring back. Find the ring. Do it again. Go back to the Asu and you'll be happy. You challenged us. Mark, buy, use, detect enchantment and telekinesis. Okay, so we need to mark somewhere. All right, mark. Cast mark. We have successfully marked this place. We can recall here whenever we need to. Now, return to anywhere that's not here. I could have just worn my uniform. Use on civvy intervention. It's probably a better place. Who sells detect enchantment? That's a good point. Who sells detect enchantment? Wolverine Hall Mages Guild. Okay, that's good. We can work with this. How long will the ring stay on the ground? I don't think items in Morrowind despawn, so it should just stay there indefinitely. Let's go to Wolverine Hall via the Old Rune Mages Guild, because you can teleport me through here. Then it's the ring is not snorth -weast. Don't be saying silly things, because this is a serious moment in the game. Somehow, 628 of you managed to choreograph something. Travel to Wolverine Hall Mages Guild. Now, from here... I need someone to sell me something? some kind of detect enchantment, detect ring spell. Because I've, I've got a hot ring and I need someone to find it. Fire shield could work if things fall down. None of those are important. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Where is detect enchantment spells? Do you do it? Detect enchantment, 10 feet for 10 seconds on self. Okay. Detect key, detect animal. Do you do spell making? Go ahead. Spell making. 
Detect Enchantment. Detect enchanted items. They appear on the map as symbols. The effect's magnitude is the range and feet from the caster. So, from self. Duration. 10 seconds. And then we make it much, much bigger. Because it could be really far away. Okay, so like... 7... Let's say 60. 60 feet on self. Detect enchantment. Name. Where is the goddamn ring? Bye. <sighs> Recall. Fight the stupid thing. Right. Sleep until healed. Your rest has been interrupted by something. Where is the goddamn ring as a 35% chance of being cast successfully? It failed. We don't have enough magicka. We can cast it once per nap. And there are so many enemies. Where is the enemy? This is the end of the game. That is the door that you go into when you literally finish the game. Can we have a nap down here? Right. Let me cast the stupid spell. Where's the goddamn ring? Oh my god. Let's keep having a nap until we can cast this. You wanted this. They appear on the map. Oh god, there's a tiny blue circle just there. I'm really annoyed that it's found it. Okay, so there is a tiny blue circle. Like, is that it? Oh, hang on, no. It, what's that? What's that? It lasts for ten seconds! I forgot that it only lasts for ten seconds. Right. Cast it. Sleep. Cast it. Sleep. I need to, after every single sleep, put a map marker down. I hate this so much. I'm going to find it. But you're, you're bad people, all of you. I can't sleep. There's enemies. There we go. We're good. Quick save. Cast. Failed. Sleep. It worked. Okay. Literally there. Ring? Question mark? Is it down or up? That's the only question. I thought it would kind of... Why is the map marker gone? Did I not save it? Oh. Oh, it's there. Yeah, hang on, it's there. I just can't see it very well. Right. F5. Levitate. Cast. Go. It's... I don't think it's... In the fire. I think it's above. There's ash flying past my face. And I cannot see it. Will it be up or will it be down is the question. I do not know if the ring is going to be above us or below us. It will be down. So somewhere down there is a magical ring. What if I were to drop down and continue? It'll be up. It's going to be heads or tails. We've got to drop something else, haven't we, to confirm. Right. But the problem is everything else I've got 
tiny. A book. Drop a book. That's fine. That just... That just goes there. If I were to drop the book here... See what happens. Okay, it does fall down. Right. So... We found it. We found it. And we died. Okay, we call that doing a golem. Let's load the latest quick save. Let's have a rest. Let's levitate down. I can't levitate down, then I've got to levitate back up. So I actually can't levitate down. I've got to fall off Colovian Parachute, I've got to use Eidolon's Ward to out-heal, grab the ring, grab Levitate, cast it, and get out of there. You know what? You know what? Alexia be praised, sir. Have this back. I do not want it. It is your problem now, guards. Have fun. I'm going back to Morrowind. I don't want to be here anymore. Give it to Baron Zaya. No, nope, it's staying on the floor and they can deal with it. It's theirs now. I don't want it. It's gone. Teleport back to Vivek. We leave it. It's gone home. I don't care anymore. It's not my problem anymore. Right. The ring. I I wish it had never come to me. So do all. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we killed the king, took his ring, took his clothes, the ring made the game too easy. We're done. We've finished it. it. It's gone back to him. We've got this. The guards have got it. Vivek can do whatever Vivek is doing right now. I don't care. We are finished. I am done. You know what we haven't done for a while? We haven't gone to the mud crab to sell him some stuff. We should probably do that eventually. So, I mean, yeah, the staff of... The staff of Magnus... Actually, you know what? We, we probably should have sold the staff of Magnus to the... Um, to the thing. The museum in Mournhold. Kill Vivek. No. Not yet. Not yet. Sauron couldn't find the detect enchantment scroll. Now go back to Old Velothi and drop off the shadow ring. You know what? I've got an idea. Let me show you the ultimate power move in Morrowind. The ultimate, this is powerful and I'm going to do it, move. First of all, we've got to get to the the Foreign Quarter. Which I think is that one over there. I need... I need some space in my inventory. I'm carrying too many heavy things. 
So, what we could do is return all the overpowered weapons to their rightful owners and not use them. Or we could go to Balmora and sell the overpowered, incredibly expensive stuff to the basic shopkeeper for, like, a regular price of stuff. I think we just do that. No, but for real, what ring did you return? I returned the Ring of the King, which gives you a massively overpowered buff and boost. It's just too... It's just too powerful. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's pull this. Here's the problem. I don't want to feel like I'm just cakewalking through this game. I don't want to feel like I'm just killing everything instantly, super easy, no challenge, no difficulty. I literally just want to have the difficulty that the game is putting on me with the weapons that I've found and that I've made. We've overleveled. We have. That's true. And now we can course correct. Now, the door strategy, put it this way, who thinks that the door strategy when we killed the Imperfect and we killed Almalexia, that was funny. You know, the door strategy, that was funny. We would not have found that if we were massively overpowered. We actually only found that bit of comedy because we had to find that. We had to find a way to actually deal with the fact that we would get killed in two hits. The door strat was amazing. We got killed in two hits if we didn't do it. So, Hope's Fire, it's Almalexia's sword. True Flame, it's Almalexia's sword. All these things, they're Almalexia's things, but you know what? They're not my things. So what I think we should do is return these things to their rightful owners, and then I should go and try and find my armor set. And that will be the Daedric armor set that is scattered and hidden around the land. Because these, they aren't my uniform. And as the guards have been... You know what the guards knew? The guards knew all along. The guards knew. They weren't asking me why I wasn't wearing Imperial armor. They were asking me... Lusty. Where's your uniform? They knew. They weren't saying go and put on the Imperial Guard uniform. They were asking, where's my uniform? You're going to hate where the Daedric cuirass is. We can find it, though. We can find it. Let's do this. Let's return the overpowered stuff to its rightful owner, and then let's go and find our actual uniform. Hope's Fire and True Flame. Hope's Fire isn't mine. That's Almalexia's. She can have that back. I don't need that. We can actually teleport there very quickly by using Bralazar's Mazed Band. That will take us all the way to... to Mournhold. This? That ain't mine. The armor that I'm wearing? That is a memory of Almalexia. The hat? That's mine. That's staying. Daedric Left Pauldron? We found that. Eidolon's Ward? We found that too. Her hand's cuirass? Never made that. Greaves? Didn't make that either. Amulet of Van Halen? We made that. The Belt of the Sanguine stole it armor. We, we stole that from a bandit fair and square. Frostguard Robe. That's the King's. He can have that back. Mara's Blouse we got given as a gift. That's fine. But those things... They weren't mine. They were never mine. They're yours. And thankfully, if I don't wear them, you guys don't attack me, which is lovely. Appreciate that. A lot. Thank you. Do we give the king his robe back? True Flame... True Flame was Inderil Nerevars. This belongs to Inderil Nerevar, and we are the reincarnation of the Nerevarine. But 
it still isn't mine, is it? Because it was created by the Dwemer ghost. So let's give it back to him. This belongs to the Dwemer ghost. Mine... That gal looks familiar. Mine can be a silly sword or spear that we make. Do we give it to him, or do we keep it? It's reforged because of you. Keep true flame, lose the robe. Okay. The robe is the king's. That can go back to the king. You do realize this means the king's guard have just seen me run in, throw the king's ring at them, leave, and then just as they've understood what's going in, I'm going to run in, throw the robe at them, and then leave again. I've ran in, I've stripped, I've thrown them some clothes, and then ran away. That is how we look now. This is who we are. The shield. That we found. The sword. City of light. City of magic. That we reforged. The sword is ours. We're keeping that. The shield we took from a tomb fair and square. You, oh my god, we moved so much quicker now. I've got less weight on me. The hat, we keep that. The Daedric left pauldron. That we found, we keep it. That's staying. Amulet of Divine Intervention, keeping that. Bralzar's Mazed Band. That was Sotha Sill's Ring. I don't think you can actually leave. You cannot specifically leave the Clockwork City without that ring, and you need to use it to teleport to, like, Vivek and stuff, so it's useful to have. The Belt of the Armor we kept, the Mara's Blyas, that's fine. Daedric Daikatana, found that fair and square. Merun's Dagon, that can go back to Merun, because we don't need it, it's his dagger. I know that he, you know, we got it, but... What about the Amulet of Shadows? It's too powerful. The Staff of Magnus... Who owns... You know what? We can actually find out who owns the Staff of Magnus. Hang on. We can legitimately find out who owns this staff. And we can do it by going to God's Reach. Give it back to Magnus, <laughs> wherever he is. We can do this by going to God's Reach because in the... Oh, God. Wow, when you're not carrying weight, that jump spell really works. We can go to God's Reach. Oh god, okay, hang on. Um, um, problem. Am I faster than them now? That's a question. That This is an issue. They are very angry at me still. They are still very annoyed. Just scatter, <laughs> just scatter all the stuff in Caius's house. In Cassius Corsinus's house, just walk in. The last time Cassius saw me, he pretty much told me to go and check that I'm the Nerevar. Can you imagine me walking back into his small hut in Balmora and just dumping a load of Daedric artifacts on the floor like, this is your problem now, mate. You deal with it. I'm off to do some more stuff. Oh, that was lovely. He'd be great. He'd love that. See, over here, I believe, is a museum. And we have a book in the museum that actually tells us where stuff comes Welcome from. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Right. Lord's Mail, Ebony Mail, Spellbreaker, Staff of Magnus. The Staff of Magnus, one of the elder artifacts of Tamriel, was a metaphysical battery of sorts for its creator, Magnus. When used, it absorbs an enemy's health and mystical energy. In time, the Staff will abandon the mage who wields it before he becomes too powerful and upsets the mystical balance it is sworn to protect. Okay, so it's a battery. And we've actually already found the Merun's Razor. We can put that back. Where do we put the Staff of Magnus? That's the question. Where? Launch it into space. Just give it to the museum. <laughs> Just give it to the museum. Hey, I found this 210,000 pound staff. A thousand gold staff. This uh, Staff of Magnus. Staff of Magnus, are you willing to part with it? I can offer you 30,000 gold. No. No, I, I want to keep the item. Do take good care of it, then, as it's one of the most prized artifacts in all of Tamriel. Who do we give it to? 
sell it to the crab. Just drop it on the ground. Oh, it's that one again. It's, it's him again. Perfect day. What do we... You know what? Let me just see if I can sneak. Stendar's hammer. They'll never know. And like a whisper, he leaves. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. Just drop off. <laughs> you just got that guard either fired or promoted. We sneak in, and then like a fart in a wind tunnel, we are gone. No one knows. It just appeared here one day. It's just one of the most valuable artifacts in all of Tamriel. Just plopped up, just appeared. It's just there. Indiana Janes? Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. What else do we do? What else do we give away? So Maroon's Dagon, that can go back. Spear of Bitter Mercy. It's, yeah, we earned that. We earn that by working with Shiogorath. That's ours. Everything else can pretty much stay. But I feel that the the shadow amulet is just too powerful. The amulet of shadows, it's too good. Where do we put it? We need to put the amulet of shadows back somewhere. It is fun, but I feel that we just run through things. It's too powerful. <laughs> Put it in the Asu. <sighs> Give it to the Thief Skill. Give it to Cassius. Return the slab. Are we going to see how much stuff we can shove into the Asu? Because, I mean, I'm up for that. We can do that. That's fine. Give it to Thrud. Where is Thrud? I don't know where Thrud is anymore. Josh is going to regret this difficulty jump. Probably, but it will be funny. The Vampiric Ring is much worse than the Amulet of Shadows. The Asu is pretty vast, it's true. Put it back in the small water pond next to Old Velothi. Perfect. There is no other way we can do it. That is absolutely 100% perfect. That is what we are doing. Let us return to Vivek. Let us then return to Old Velothi. And let us put it back in the water pond. And they can deal with it. It's their problem then. Let us just... Let me just wait to get my jump power back. Oh my god! Look at how much further we can jump when we're not carrying heavy armor. We made it all the way to here in one jump. So when we don't have heavy armor on, this is what we get. That's pretty good! You know, that's... Pretty good stuff right there. I'll take it. Yeah, you see? You see? That's why we had to do this. Lust T is unburdened. It's very true. Very, very true. We'll get back to Blood Moon at some point, don't you worry. We'll get there. If you've never been in one of these streams before and you're thinking, he seems to be taking a lot of random tangents and not sticking to one adventure. That's pretty much how this goes. Don't don't be thinking that there's anything else that we do with this. Right, Ald Velothi. It was... We found it in a puddle, didn't we? Was it a puddle we found it in? Where do you find this incredibly overpowered Amulet of Shadows? Where was it? Blood Moon will be way more fun without massively OP items. Where did we find this thing again? Mage's Guild Caldera. North. We found it north of Nisus. Seriously. Oh, okay. Yeah. Goddamn. Cool. I didn't realize it was that far away. But yeah, north of Nisus, we can definitely do. 
We are so much faster when you don't have all that weight on you. Yeah, some lady basically asks you to find her ring in the water, and then when you go and try and find it, she mugs you, and she attacks you, doesn't it? Next to the Dwemer ruin between Old Velothi and Nisus. Okay, so... Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Did you say to Caldera? Because Caldera is... Where's Caldera again? Because we can just go to Nisus. Just having a double check. No, Aldrun and Strider to Nisus. Gotcha. Aldrun, Strider to Nisus, drop off the Amulet of Shadows, and then we make the game way more difficult. Because you know what that will mean? Go ahead, I'm listening. That will mean we need to go and get Azura's Star and start enchanting stuff to actually win. We need to engage with the mechanics of the game. So travel to Aldrun. Then we travel to Nisus. And then from here... Oh, was it Ald Velothi? Can we travel to Ald Velothi? Is there a... There is not. Okay. Now we take the Silt Strider. Silt Strider. Are you playing with any mods? Uh, no. Well, graphical, yes. So graphical and widescreen extender, but mechanically, no. May I help? Mechanically, we are playing it exactly as it should be. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. Thank you very much, Rage Darling, for remembering. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. That's the rhyme. It works on UK time. Let's go to Nisus using the Silt Strider. And then from Nisus, we need to find... Why walk when you can ride? We need to find that stupid little thing, didn't we? Is it Old Velothi? Can we get to Old Velothi from here? Travel to... You actually don't get me there. That's fine. It's not a problem. I can just jump here. This is okay. I can just, just head north. You know what? We can head north like this. Okay, that's... That's way... <laughs> way further than I thought we'd be able to jump. We have just jumped all that way. That's quite good. That was quite powerful. Let's just see if we can spot where the... The water thing was that she found us unarmored, unburdened playthrough. Where the. We've still got obviously the god killing sword. You need to do like a naked jump with no armor whatsoever on. That would be good. That would be very, very good. Look for the Dwemer ruin next to the Daedric ruin where you found Merun's Dagon. So the Dwemer ruin next to the Daedric ruin. That's all the way over there. And then we just hang on. So this is a Dwemer ruin. Is it around here somewhere? We're basically putting an overpowered amulet back. West. You were super close. West is that way. Okay. Nope. Now we're about to land and... Ah, didn't die. We're all good. Rest for 24 hours to get my... Amulet power back. That ruin. Yeah, there you go. It's off the bridge. Let's kill you. Did you say it's around here somewhere? Because it's basically a... It was a little water, wasn't it? It was a little random bit of water. Northwest. I hate you so much. Ah, so this is the Merun's Dagon. This is where we put that back. Then we need to find the water where we put the other things back. Oh god, it's so much easier with this. Did you realize that you can jump that far? This is definitely a game where you can jump. It's a jump out the water. Let me just cast water walking. Hang on. Shiogorath will be very pleased. I feel that Shiogorath and I would get along really well. Oh god, enemies. Okay. Oh god, I'm actually almost dying. This is... I'm immediately regretting this decision. <laughs> Let's just pop this back. You can jump across the whole map with the right spell. That is something we will look into doing in the future. Sit down, you. What are you going to drop? You're going to drop an, an ebony longsword? Rubbish. Not even worth the time it takes to pick up. 
I forgot you're not American, so when you said Sunday's at four, I thought it's going to be around in an hour. I've missed most of the stream. Well, you join us for the best part of the stream, which is where I'm putting everything back. So, I basically realized that I've found so many overpowered items that the game had become too easy. So, that's a Daedric staff. I don't need it. Hey, Maroons, I uh, appreciate you, buddy, old pal, old, uh, old mate, but your dagger... Don't need it. I feel that Maroons would appreciate that. I feel that he would like that. There you go. Just popped it back. Why don't you adjust the difficulty slider upwards? Because the thing with the difficulty slider is it just gives the enemies way more health, which doesn't necessarily change the way that you play the game. What I'm trying to do is remove a load of the mechanical advantages that I've got and then I've got to find a way to engage with more of the mechanics to actually win, instead of using really overpowered items just to trivialize all of the mechanics. Effectively, we are right now playing the Daedra the Lord of putting things back where you found them. <laughs> yeah, man learns the door technique and thinks he's above the OP items. So yeah, we put this back and then we have to engage with both alchemy and enchanting so we're removing 20 hours of stream no no we're not removing 20 hours of progress what we're doing is we're accepting that when you get to max level it becomes less fun like that's that's a golden saint can we kill that golden saint without all our overpowered items let's find out oh maybe okay God, no, 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 oh, no, no, we cannot. Okay, so if we just charge blindly into a golden saint, we can't kill them. But we use the Amulet of Shadows, suddenly, trivialize the whole fight. They'll run away from you, and you can just slap them around and win. That's nowhere near as much fun as finding a way to kill them without needing the overpowered Amulet of Shadows. Plus... Don't you think it's funny the most interesting thing we've made is the Amulet of Van Halen, which casts Jump? But that's something that we made. We made that. We did that. That's ours. I don't mind finding cool items and weapons and then enchanting them ourselves. We can do that. The pond is there on the left. There's, there's multiple lefts, depending on which direction I'm looking at it from. You say it's down there? I don't think it's down here. This isn't the pond. Yeah, this is the put that thing back where it came from also help me run. All of these artifacts do indeed belong in a museum, but we're not putting them there. Have you checked over there? I haven't. Let's check over there. Oh shit, look, it's the actual pond. If only I checked over there. Alright, so... This was the pond where we killed the woman and got the amulet of dodge everything, which is, if anything, too powerful. So, amulet of shadows. Fare thee well, amulet of shadows. Back to fighting while being seen. Too easy, too powerful, too much. You should put a sword in the pond. All I've got is the Daedric Dai Katana. I don't think I want to stick that in the pond. Get mugged by a Nyx hound. You can't leave without someone trying to mug you. The Murdrum Ring. That is fortify sneak and invisibility for 30 seconds on self. Again, super powerful, but I don't need it. What happened to the Daedric Spear? Uh, we sold that to the crab. Does the crab need to die? Or do we just need to agree? to never use the crab. I think we need to agree that the crab can stay alive. Murder is the only way to be sure. Give your Nerevar sword to Vivek, just a gift from a good pal. <laughs> yeah, actually that kind of works. Hang on, that could be quite funny. <laughs> okay, so Branazar's maze band, teleport to Vivek. Um, let's just pop out here. 
And then let's... Whatever you're looking I for, think I'm this is the way to the Vivek Temple. Now, you're not meant to be able to get into the Vivek Temple without the key to get in. However, I do have a level 100 open lock spell. So we can just pop in. Soul trap the crab and take it with you on an adventure. That we could do. Level 100 lock. Trapped. Skeleton key, but better. I can't cast it. I don't have the mana. That's a problem. I need to have a quick tactical nap. Waiting here is illegal. Okay, what about waiting all the way over here? I'll have a nap here, then. You can't rest enemies are nearby. God, oh, wow. We've, I've just jumped all the way to Ebonheart from Vivek. We'll have a nap here, then, shall we? Where is... There's the enemy. The cliff racer doesn't even know what to do. They just saw me leap all the way from Vivek, and they were like, you know what? I'm not fighting him. I, fine, I'll, I'll nap over here. Item has not enough charge. God damn it. I bet you can't nap here either, because Ebonheart will be mad at you. Soul trap the crab and enchant something with the soul gem. Call it Krabby Patty. I think we do need to soul trap the crab and then enchant something with it. That seems like a good thing to do. The jumping makes it obvious how small the game world is. But isn't it great that even though the world is small, it's densely packed with stuff to do. It's the opposite of Starfield, which is massive, but there's nothing to do. Back to Vivek. I don't have a lot of patience for questions. Now we go this way. And then we go this way. What is it, peasant? It feels alive. It does. It feels alive. It does. Play Morrowind brings a tear to my eye. Welcome, Play Morrowind. You're about to see us do some really weird stuff. You know, if if you've seen Morrowind be played properly before, you're about to be a little bit impressed. See, basically, it's too easy right now. We've got a load of overpowered weapons, overpowered items. It's way too easy. Skeleton key, but better. Doors unlocked. Can we use the master's probe to... Trap disarmed. In we go. Hello, demigod Vivek that we definitely shouldn't be talking to right now because this is way ahead of where we should be in the quest. Oh, by the way, really cool thing, uh, Vivek is a hermaphrodite. See? Half man, half woman. Specifically, that's the actual part of their whole their whole makeup, their whole being. Anyway, the reason we are here, um, Vivek, remember your mate, Lord Inderil Nerevar, the one who married Almalexia. Well, uh, that's their sword. Okay, bye. There we go. Cool. Done. Overpowered sword, dealt with, and away. What do we have left to give back? Are we going to talk to him? No, no. No, there's no need. We, we, we know exactly. He knows what we're doing. It's absolutely fine. He knows what's going on. For anyone just joining us, I have decided that I am too easy. Soul trap all the six house members and enchant your gear with them. This is like Indiana Jones in reverse. We are just... We're taking items and just putting them places. The Vampire Ring. That's a good question. The Vampire Ring is, let's be fair, way too powerful. It's too good, you just slap people with it and they die. We need to return the Vampire Ring somewhere. Was he putting items and taking them places? It does belong in a museum. Give it to a vampire. It only has two uses. Yeah, but it's still way too good. Sweet. Can you pickpocket things into people's inventories? Yes, actually, you can. Vampire Ring is massively OP. Ditch it. The question is, where do we put it? Where do we put... I'm reading the chat to see what the good items are. Give the ring to Fargoth. Give it, <laughs> give it to Cassius. In a volcano, we've been down that route. It did not end well because you guys were actually able to kind of unionize and work together, and I hate that. Give it to Fargoth. Fargoth's hiding place. The Vampire Ring was acquired in Aldredania, all the way north. Offer it to Sheogorath. 
I feel he would appreciate that. Is there a vampire hunter in the game? Okay, you people are saying Fargoth. Where is Fargoth again? Where do we find Fargoth? We need to find him somewhere. Trays in the infinite. <laughs> You're giving away free god stuff. Okay, so he's in Sedanine. Where is Sedanine from? Sedanine's there. Sedanine's roughly in that direction, so let's go. One jump got us pretty far. We still need to keep jumping to make it all the way to Sedanine. Now I have a quick nap here, and we see if we can jump pretty much all the way over. Uh, we've got Amulet of Van Halen needs a tiny bit more rest before it's fully charged back up. There we go. And Sedanine is that way. Let's just run and jump. And then cast my special amulet to land without dying. And now we jump again. And it's over there. Uh, amulet of water walking. Sorry, the spell of water walking. Cool, got it. There we go, there's Sedanine. And where's Fargoth? Hang on. This is the barrel that you find at the very start of the game. And you take the ring from it. That gives you, like, plus five health. Should we put the vampire ring in the barrel reverse pickpocket you know what fargoth let's be real when you go back to that barrel you're going to be a little bit upset that your ring's gone but you might be a little bit happy what you find instead quick save lusty away And now we return to the world of Morrowind. Slightly more balanced, if we will. Lusty is definitely a giver, without a doubt. The Spear of Bitter Mercy. That was given to us by Sheogorath. But again, it was given to us. It wasn't taken. I'm still trying to argue with myself about whether... We use the Spear of Bitter Mercy. The Daikatana also does belong to the king. That was never ours. You know what? The Spear was earned. One of the few things that was, actually. The Daikatana? The Daikatana was the king's as well. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> so the, the king's guard have seen me run into the king's room and throw the king's ring at them. <laughs> then they've seen me run into the room and throw the king's robe at them. And now, just as they start to understand what's going on, just as they start to make sense of it all, I'm going to run back Justice in and throw the king's katana at them. This is pointless. Give in. They are very confused guards right now. You know, they didn't even draw weapons when he said, this is pointless. Why is he just returning all of the king's dead things to us? He's just giving us things back. None of this. None of this makes any sense. Okay. The Colovian parachute we keep. That's our hat. The spear was gifted to us by Shio Goroth. We're keeping that. The Daedric left pauldron I found fair and square. The Eidolon's Ward we found in a tomb. We found that. Do we need that? It's really good. It restores your health 50 to 100 points on self. It's really, really powerful. We found it. We kept it. The question is, do we keep it and use it again, or do we put it back in the tomb and try and do the game without it? Divine Intervention at Bralazar's Maze Band. Yeah, that's a treasure. We found that. We kept it.
The belt of the stoic armor, we kept that. We earned that, didn't we? I was really happy when we found that as well. That was super cool. Amulet of stuff. We've got loads of these things. Gaynor's amulet. Fortify luck. 15 points on self. We earned that. However. Justice never sleeps. I think that Gaynor was maybe a bit misunderstood. And maybe we just put it back where he would be. Because when we first met Gaynor... Oh god, you guys! Go away! Oh. We need to put this somewhere. I was... Oh my god. I instinctively just pressed 5 on my mouse to turn invisible, to put the amulet back. Uh, to turn it to then go and put Gaynor's thing down, but I don't have it anymore. So, let's cast Hide. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm so bad at magic now. Isn't this wasting six hours of yesterday's stream? No, not really. It's, we did it, we've had the adventure and the experience, and now we're putting stuff back. I know who'd appreciate this. Cassius. He would. Cassius Crusades. To Vivek. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Wait for my amulet to recharge. Jump to the end. Oh my god. Okay, we can basically clear Vivek in a single bound now. That gets us all the way to the end. All the way. That was pretty bloody impressive. It's making the game wait. Why is he self-sabotaging? So... We got to a point where it was just way too easy. And we were using all these overpowered items, which is fun for a bit. It's almost like when you you get to the end of a game and you have the unlimited health, unlimited lives, massive damage, kill everything in one hit. It takes away the feeling of the game. So instead... Instead, what I'm going to do... Whoa, that massively overshot. Okay, hang on. That. Oh, goodness me. Caius, no! Cassius! Cassius! Okay, I um, I overshot that quite substantially. Donate 300k to the orphans. Can you donate money to the orphans? We, we, we got halfway to the fort right there. That was way too easy. Is there a donate to the orphans thing? Because if there is, I will. If they're straight up. I mean, for God's sake, I cleared Tribunal at level 18. We found some... We must have made some orphans by now. Be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Caius? Moon sugar. Can you... I don't think you can. Can you reverse pickpocket, Caius? Oh, guards! A thief! You can try. Hang on. F9 to load the game quickly. I have an idea. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. We need to turn invisible. He's going to sell your stuff for crack. He is. He is. That's the problem. I don't think that Caius needs this. That is his uniform. You're funding his problem. Yes, he is. Leave it under his bed. If only you had a way to turn invisible. If only. My goodness. Hang on, I... I might still have an item that does this. Hang on. No, no, we might still have something. Don't... Don't worry yet. Pretty sure... There we go. Fortify Sneak and Invisibility. The Mudrum Ring. We've got something. Okay, let's just agree. We only use this ring for shenanigans. Nothing else. Okay? If I do this... And then reverse pickpocket Gaynor's amulet. You can't put stuff. Oh, you can't reverse pickpocket. That's annoying. You've stolen for the last time. Caius, I did the opposite of that. Okay, so I don't think Caius needs this because you've you've clearly got enough stuff. Is there a place you can donate money? Oh, not in this game. That's a real shame. 
That is a real shame. Did you ever put on your uniform? No. No, we did not. Never came there. Never, ever, ever happened. You can drop gold. Yes, you can. You can. You can donate at the temple. I don't know if I trust the temple enough to give it gold. You can collect money for the Imperial cult. We could do that. Buy up all the skooma. Mara's blouse and Mara's skirt is so far my uniform. Just drop the gold in the glass armor merchant's room. We stole that glass armor, didn't we? We stole it. And that is our burden to live with. But I think maybe, just maybe, we should amend for our sins. Maybe Lusty is understanding now that stealing was wrong. Give the ring to Azura once you go and get her soul gem. We could... Who's we? You stole it. We stole this. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. Say what you want or go away. Don't make me stab you. Where was... Buy a set of glass armor and then give it back. So many... So many people died for no reason. Hang on. You just said pillow. Remember the very first quest we did? Your needs. Do you remember that? Drainy Thelias. That was the one. She gave us... Yes, Outlander. What do you want? 20 gold. Because that was all she could spare. And she had a thousand pillows all around her house. She gave us everything. Everything she could afford. But you know what? Maybe it's time that when she goes to bed, it's her sweet dreams instead. Sleep yes, well. Outlander. What do you want? Sleep well. How are you going to Silt Strider? I can jump this far. The Silt Strider. No one needs them anymore. I can just leap across Morrowind. I will stride the Silt. Look, there's Balmora. See it? Goodbye, Balmora. It remains down there while I fly above it. And then I cast my Colovium Parachute to not die when I land. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Can you survive every fall? Yes, I can, because I enchanted the hat with the Colovian Parachute. Now, is there anything else that we need to get rid of? There's stuff. The Bitter Cup. Don't know what it does, but I'm keeping it. All this stuff. Gaynor's Amulet. Who deserves Gaynor's Amulet? It makes them lucky. Who is unlucky that needs it? The Hat of Everfalling. Even without the artifacts, we are still powerful. The Bitter Cup for the Fighters Guild. Hang on. The Pants Guy. Who was the guy that lost his pants? Where was he? Where was he? He's in Nisus. We need to go to Nisus. I need a Silt Strider to Nisus. I need to sell some stuff to be able to use the Silt Strider. I just gave that lady 300,000 and the rest gold. So let's... Hey. Hey, pawnbroker. How's it going, guys? Yo. A little bit... A uh, little bit tight right now. Uh, amulet of Health, you want that? Sweet. Amulet of Stamina, you want that? How about the Amulet of Verbosity? No, I'm keeping that. Spark Ring won't use via Bolt Ring. Ring of Transcendent Wisdom. Don't need that either. Stumble Charm seems pointless. Belt of Wisdom. We're not going to use it. Gainor's Amulet we keep. Armcivian Divine Intervention we very much keep. That's super important. Soothing Balm is pointless. Iron Will is good. We run away with that. Fortify Illusion. Eh. Ring of Night Eye. Don't need it anymore. I've got Night Eye the Spell. Cure common disease, you can have all those. Pyral tar, I drink it, you die, to be fair. 
So we don't really need that. Potion of Invisibility, that might come in handy, actually. 12 Sujama. Yes, we keep that. And all the diamonds. How about you give me that much for it? Sweet. Let's go. Pyral Tart, we've already finished all of the Mournhold quests. We've completely finished Tribunal. We need to go to... Was it Nisus? The dude that lost his pants? Yo, take me to Aldrune and then Nisus. Travel Nisus. We make a special trip. Just Where was the guy that lost his pants? I remember him being down there in the water. And then he was running around up here. What was his name? What was his name? The Pants Man. Yentus? That wasn't you, was it? Who was Pants Dude? Was it you? No. It was him. Was it him? I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Abishbulu. Hentus. Hentus? It was Hentus something, wasn't it? Oh, was it that guy? What, Outlander? Why do you disturb me? Were you the pant pants? Thanks for getting my pants back. You know what? That's true. I did get your pants back. F5. Quick save. Now, you can't reverse pickpocket, which is annoying. But, Hentus, I need Hentus. You were very unlucky. I understand that. You understand that. So, to help you... all yours because if you can't help an unlucky guy who loses his pants what can you do doesn't he have a house you know what that's an even better idea that is an even better idea where is Hentus's house and then we stick an amulet inside his house and he'll never know he'll never know Art has a question. Um, hang on. Oh, no. It's uh, Pank. Uh, I have a question. How do you stream to zero viewers? The same way you would stream to 10,000 viewers. You enjoy what you're doing. You chat about the events that are happening and you have fun doing it. And eventually someone will watch you and they'll think, this guy's having fun. He's messing around with it. He's entertaining. He's being silly with it. Let's join him for a bit. I know it's obviously very annoying to have to do that. And it's, it's difficult to find the energy to stream to naught viewers, without a doubt. But very much, you just keep talking to yourself, to anyone that's there, that'll listen. You just... You treat it as if you've already got 10,000. Where is Hentus's house? Henter... Do, he doesn't have a house. Where is his house? Where is Hentus's house? Was it over here? That's the Vab... That's Vabdas. I don't think Hentus seems to have a house. He lives in the pond. That's where his trousers are. No pants, no house. However, that was his first... Hentus is his first name, isn't it? What if he has a second name? Hentus, yeah... Hang on. Hentus... Yansunumu. Is there a Yansunumu house? There might be. Because if there's a Yansunumu house, we go there. There is not. He has no house. He is homeless. He has... Where's your house, dude? Okay, you know what, mate? This is going on the ground here. You can take it. If you wish. That's yours. Or, or just walk over it. That's fine too. I'm not the one that loses his pants all the time. Throw it in the river. That is the best suggestion. Because you know what will happen? Hentus will lose his pants again. He will go to the river again. He will be down here. He will be stuck without pants. But he will be lucky. For he will have... Gaynor's amulet. Fare thee well, Gaynor's amulet. You will remain in the Pantless River. He lost his house in a bed and his house is full of trousers. <laughs> Alright, what else do we have to give away? Hawkshaw ring. Detect key. What a pointless ring. I'll keep it honest because of how absolutely useless it is. 
Belt of Iron Will, Fortify Speed. I've used that a couple of times before. Amulet of Verbosity, still useful, still like it. Divine Intervention and Arm Civi Intervention, we need those things. Why am I so grainy? It's just, it's just my skin. That's how we do. I have that. If you meet me in real life, I do the same thing. It's like a film grain effect. I think I'm grainy because the only light in this entire room is one ring light that's trying really hard to remain illuminated. That's just how I look. Hey, bird, I've got to go grab a drink, had a pause for a bit. I'm afraid we can't, not this time. We are too busy returning everything to its rightful owner. We are going to keep the mudrum ring. It's... The mudrum ring, again, trivializes things. Because when you turn invisible, you cannot be seen by any enemy, or they can't you know, cast spells at you and attack you. But when you do anything you do lose invisibility. The problem is invisibility, again, completely negates so much stuff. Who does the mudrum ring belong to? It breaks when you do something, so it's kind of balanced, but we can run past so many enemies, although I suppose we have to kill them when we come back. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the mudrum ring. That's okay. That's not a major problem. We'll go with that. Give it to the mud crab. Now, some of you did just vow to not abuse it. That's true. Some of you did say that we go and get the mud crab, the crab merchant. We kill the crab merchant, trap his soul in a soul gem, then use either the soul gem to enchant something that comes with us, or just carry the soul gem on us for a bit. Do we do that? Do we take him with us? I mean, I know we only crab his friend don't hurt, keep the soul, crab in pocket. I don't want to kill the crab, but at the same time, I kind of want him to see the world with us. Like a Pokeball. Here's our friend. Show him amazing sights. Where? I mean, does the crab want to go somewhere? We could drop him off in the Mead Hall of Blood Moon. I think you would love that. Leave the poor... You can use Command Creature to take it with you. Just bring him with me. Use the crab soul to make a mask of speechcraft. Cast Levitate. He <laughs> will see the world for about 10 seconds. Hang on. What if we levitate the crab? What if we literally send him to heaven? We free him from this mortal coil. Get lifted. Hang on, I've got my get lifted nerd spell. Levitate one point for 120 seconds on target. Ascend to crab. Let's... Because I feel that if I Whatever know he's there, I'm going to abuse him as a shop. The point of this playthrough is to... to make the world a better place. And the crab of Musnatch has helped us a great deal. If we wouldn't be where we are without the Crab of Musnatch. However, he does trivialize a lot of the game's mechanics. So, there he is over there. I'd know that crab anywhere. So instead, I think we we send him. Does this mean the god-slaying strategy of door-swapping is going to stop? Oh, no, no, door-swapping remains. We invented that. That's ours. You know, door-swapping is, without a doubt, the most impressive thing I've ever created. That is my legacy. I'm going for that. This is... You say this is wrong. Should we... I think that we need to do something that doesn't kill the crab, but very much negates our ability to trade with it. Because this is too... that's too easy. We've trivialized the game. Just take him with you. You know what? What I think we can do... We can give him the bitter cup. Crab, I wish to give you a gift. It is the Amulet of Verbosity. It fortifies speechcraft. You have sold me... And I have sold you things at fair prices. So you know what? 
You may have that. You don't buy that. <laughs> Okay. He doesn't buy it. Too easy, says the man who introduced Almalexia to Dora Wind. <laughs> ah. Instead, we will drop off the Amulet of Verbosity. This is to symbolize that you sold me things at the right price. And now, we never return to the crab. Lift the crab. I want to see what would happen. I'm going to... Hang on. Save game. New save game. Before the lifting. Just out of curiosity. Get lifted, nerd. He doesn't move. He, he doesn't do anything. I can't even talk to him now. I, hang on, if we rest until healed. If I lift the scrib. It doesn't make them rise up. Doesn't work on the scrib. He's not a nerd. Of course, it's... Wow. Well, I guess, uh... You need to make them move, don't you? You have no power here. Oh, it's a bug. So, yeah, we, we can no longer lift things. But I think the crab... The crab needs to be left now. He's so dense, the planet just follows. Just punch the crab. We're not punching the crab. It's not a bug, it's a crab. Levitate only works on humanoid targets. Okay. Well, we just agree that that... How do you... Delete. Delete. The crab can remain. All by himself. Unbothered. By us. And we do not use the crab again. I will miss the crab. And the crab will miss us. But... This is the way things need to be. F's in the chat for the Crab of Musnatch. He got us to where we are. And now we get through the rest of the game our way. But I am not putting on my uniform. I think we've given away everything apart from the Mudrum Ring, which is balanced and we are keeping because I stole that fair and square. Everything else is balanced. The spells probably aren't, but we can keep those. What we need to do now is find the rest of our own stuff. I've got a Deodric left pauldron. I should probably enchant it somehow. Should have probably spent some of that gold to train enchanting. But instead... I need to go and find the other parts of the Deodric with what money? We got no gold now, guys. We need to find the other stuff. We need Azura's Star and a Summon Golden Saint spell. Yes, we do. However, we also need a Deodric Cuirass. Do we need a Deodric Cuirass? Or do we need to find what Lusty would wear? What would Lusty wear? Deodric Cuirass is obviously the best armor in the game. What would Lusty wear? Nothing. I mean, we could even... So, Mara's blouse has a resist magicka 10%. A maid outfit. Do we even... <laughs> she would not wear her uniform. Is there, like, a maid outfit in the game? There is a... Hang on. There is dragon bone armor. And I think Lusty would be pretty goddamn happy with a dragon bone. That works. 
I think Dragonbone has got the, the joke for it. There is a dress at the Clothier. Mara's blouse is this. Lizards does equal dragons. Yeah, that could work. Where is the dragon bone? Curass. Go to Ebonheart for the dragon bone armor. Okay. We can get to Ebonheart by teleporting to Vivek via the ring. And then jumping all the way there. Between the dragon legs. That's what we're going to find. Ebonheart's over there. Leap all the way to Ebonheart. Do I think Losty can handle a dragon bone? You'd be amazed what she can handle. Absolutely amazed. Where do we find the dragon ready, bone armor? Southwest of Ebonheart, you say. Search around the aisles. Okay. Well, oh god. I massively overshot this. It's in an... Is it l genuinely in an underwater cave? Oh god, I've got to find an underwater cave now, haven't I? Oh, this is going to be way more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, here we go. Also, there's a dro somewhere. There, where are you? There you are. Get speared, nerd. Go to all the little islands. Go, I'm doing it. I think. Let me just cast. Water walking. Okay. Where are we going? Small islands on the map. Oh, these things over here. Cool. That'll work. Munden Grotto, sort of in the center of some little islands. See, this is one of those random hidden Morrowind items that's there. We're moving so much faster. So, Lusty gives away all of her worldly possessions in search of a dragon bone. I need to angle the camera. I also need to be under the water. So... Right. Oh, the best armor in that cave. Yeah, is it over there? Is it? I think it's like around here somewhere. It's gonna be around here somewhere. Can't see an underwater cave. But unless it's that thing down there. If I angle the camera just right, you can see underwater without the annoying blue effect going on. How far are you willing to enchant the Golden Saint soul level? I mean, we can enchant the whole thing, that's fine. Right click on the water walking to disable it. Oh yeah, that does work. Is that a cave under there? Sometimes you can see entrances on, on the local map. Oh, you're right, that's a good point. Local map might have a cave entrance for us. If not, we just move around slowly until we find it. Night eye spells improve underwater sight. Ah ha ha, that we can do. That I definitely have. I think. Failed. Aha! Okay, yeah, that worked, but underwater sight is still terrible. Get back, Dro. It's at the North Island of the Three. Okay, so there's like... If we angle the camera just right... Ah, there we go. We can see now. Nothing that I can see under here. How about jumping around to cover more area to look for caves? We could do that. Sharp sticks are without a doubt the best choice of any kind of aggressive tactic in all the mediums. See what see what you can see. Not seeing any cave entrances, but I am seeing a big angry fish. The skybox is great. The Morrowind skybox, without a doubt, holds up. This is the island. So if this is the island, unless that's the island, there's an... What's that down there? Hang on. 
Hang on, let me swim down to whatever this looked like it was. It's quite... It looked like the style of underwater cave entrances of the regular caves. Nope. Just some rocks. Oh, I'm also going to die, so let me cast Water Breathing. Alright, we're good. We can breathe again. We're fine. Angry fish. Angry fish. Still can't see anything. That's a rock. It's on the other side of this island. Okay, well, I'm swimming up because I need to get out of this water quickly. Okay, here we go. You say it's on the other side of this island. So that's what I thought it was. You thought it was, what, this one? I, I swear to God, if you guys are messing with me. I'm trying really hard to find this, and you're like, ha-ha, it's a joke. Are we playing Subnautica? Yes, I don't like this. But we will, this will work. It's, don't say it's Snorthweast, because I will believe you. It's actually Swouthweast. See? Snorthweast. It's up. It's not up, it's down. It's... The one thing we know is it's in the water. That's the one guarantee. It's on the local map now. We found it on the local map. We are being raided by a couple of people. Juve has raided with a party of 690. Nice. Three. Welcome, everyone, from Juve's stream. How are you guys doing today? If you've not played Morrowind before, prepare to be whelmed. That is neither over nor underwhelmed. I will whelm you with a stream. If you remain, you will leave this stream saying that was a stream of a man playing Morrowind. That's all I ever attempt to give you, you know? Not too much, not too little. Just Morrowind. Juve, how have you been? What have you been up to today? Hopefully you've been doing very well. If you've played Morrowind before, you'll be pretty familiar with the kind of mechanics that I'm running through. If you haven't, let me explain it briefly to you. I have made my own character. We are playing as Lust T, the Argonian maid. Uh, she is level 18, which wasn't specifically designed, but that is now quite funny, so I might keep that as well. The problem is, earlier this stream, we ran into the fact that every item we had was super overpowered. Like, we were just trivializing all the game's mechanics. We had stealth, we had super overpowered weapons, we had you know, a load of health returning, we had the King's Ring. It was just way too, way too easy. So we have spent the last two or three hours returning all of the items that we gained to their rightful owners. I put the Maroon's Razor back on his Daedric Shrine. We have put King Helseth's Ring back on his uh, admittedly dead body, along with his robe and Daedric Daikatana. We have returned the Amulet of Gaynor to the man who lost his pants, because we believe he is someone who probably needs more luck than he had. We have put the Hope's Fire and True Flame, the swords you get from Almalexia, back where they need to go to. We have pretty much done that. There was a 50-50 pole moment earlier. Absolutely fantastic. I dropped King Helseth's ring into the lava, and then you guys voted for me to go and get it back out, which was awful of all of you. Thank you for noticing the Colovian helmet. That's actually... So that is the helmet that the wizard wears when he falls from the sky and dies by breaking all of his bones on the floor. So we have enchanted that. That is my Colovian parachute, which casts slow fall for 20 seconds on self. I just thought it was quite funny that the one item that would have saved him would have been his hat. And now I need to find... Oh, there it is. Okay, so like, it's there. I thought this was like a really hard to find, super deep cave. It's just, that's like in a puddle. It's just under the water a little bit. This is not what I thought it would be at all. Alright, so, cave. Let's, let's cast water breathing. And go. So. Water breathing. Go. Here we go. I don't like this at all. Large collop. Angry dead fish. The reason we are here, in this underwater cave, is this unassuming cave apparently contains one of the best items in the whole game. This cave that you're not really meant to find 
apparently contains the Dragonbone Cuirass. And because we are trying to play as thematically as possible, I feel that a character called Lust T would not be able to resist a good Dragonbone. So that's what we're doing here. This is our plan. Where on earth am I going? This way? Haven't been this way yet. Deeper into... Wow, okay. So, oh god no. As long as I can still keep water breathing, because this is a long... Oh, hello! He oh, wow, okay. God damn. That's awesome. That's really cool. The Lost Dwemer Checkpoint. Are we still underwater? Oh, this is a problem. Because... I now need to keep casting this. Right, we are still underwater in the Lost Dwemer checkpoint. I really should have brought some some potions of water breathing because I am going to run out of mana and you cannot rest underwater either. So that's a problem. We just keep stabbing these fish. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was actually quite nerve-wracking. I did not like that. Not a big fan of deep water so you have a very enjoyable voice thank you very much i've managed to make a decent living off just talking and playing video games which is pretty cool i'll take that you know that's that's made me pretty happy what's up here warn dwemer vault door to mudan central vault lock level 100 trapped you're an argonian you can water breathe i can cast water breathing but i can't actually breathe forever that's the annoying thing so I can cast Breathe Underwater, but I still... Oh god, there's... Oh, Dwemer Centurions. Okay, cool. I still have a, a Breath Meter, see? Even as an Argonian. In this game, you still... And I'm pretty sure you can't keep casting that. You can cast that... Hang on. Hang on. Can you cast Water Breathing as often as you want all the time? Have I just been really dumb this entire playthrough? Like, can you just... I will respectfully ask that you all... Okay, that's trapped, but I'm going to open it and see what happens. I would ask that you all respect my privacy at this time. And none of you comment on anything that I'm about to say or do. Yo, how's it going, dude? Corpse of Peke Uchu. Ten gold. I need that, seeing as I gave 300,000 away. Dwemer key to the table. Yes, that's probably useful. Bent probe? No. Dwemer coin bone meal. No, I'm good. Oh, ornate chest. What's in here? It's empty. Bottle? Poison? Bottle. The final words of a dead man being found near his corpse are so very cliché. I never thought I would be in the position of writing one of them, but the opportunity has arisen, and it seemed the thing to do. The story of my death is very comical indeed. If anyone shall ever find me, I hope I'm able to bring the, them laughter. For, as I lay here dying, I laugh myself. My last breath shall be the exhale of a laugh. My journey across Vivec brought me to this well-camouflaged cavern, filled with seawater and dangers. The temptation of adventure and riches lured me inside. Happening across this lost Dwemer dwelling was a surprise indeed. I was able to get this far. I climbed into this tower after my confrontation with the Dwemer Centurion. The plan was to heal my wounds and continue forth. With excitement and greed overwhelming me, I mistook my bottle of poison for the healing elixir. Now I lie dying. I drank down the contents of my healing potion, but that did not nullify the effects of the poison. I fear my innards are slowly liquefying. I shall be dead within the day, laughing about my recent lack of luck. I have with me the key to a lock I have yet to find. I found the key just inside the main entrance. Perhaps it is the key to the Dwemer riches, for I will never know. If one shall happen across my note, congratulations on making it thus far. And do not drink the rest of the bottle here. It tastes like guar bile, but is ten times deadlier. Pake 
Uchu. Fare thee well, Pake. You, your iron claymore, bottle, poison. You did well. Eat his bone meal. Pake, in spirit, you're coming with us. Nothing else in these, uh, in these kegs. Just Dwemer stuff. Emeralds, glass. Don't need those. But I have got your, you know, I'll have a nap with you, mate. I'm going to rest until healed. We have, that's how you assert dominance. I can't believe that I can just cast underwater breathing all the time forever. Stab the fish. Let's go. So, we've got the key. The key is good. Now we go this way. And I'm hoping that the key he's given us is the key to this place. Because this thing is also trapped. Thankfully, we have got probes on us. So, we should be able to probe it. Oh. Um, that's the, the central vault. But it is lock level 100 and trapped. Okay, so that's... Did we take the key? I'm sure I took the key, didn't I? I'm sure I took the key. I did. Ancient, not the Daedric key. Yeah, do I have a key to the table in Mudan? Maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe this is not the correct key. Maybe we go to the Mudan left tower instead of the right tower. Now, this isn't too much of a problem, seeing as I've got a open door 100 points spell. So we can just break in. That's fine. I can do that. But I kind of want to see if I can play it properly. You know, I want to see what we can find. See what there is. What's in here? It's this way. Nope. Nope. And nope. What about in here? None of these are trapped. I kind of thought they would be. There's a table just there. Dwarven spear. Okay. Don't need that too much. There's a potion. Fortify for... Oh, some Dwemer Greaves. Nice. They're actually... Oh. Okay. Steam Centurion. Let's take you down pretty fast. Pretty sharpish. Did not see that there. Rusted and steel Dwemer table. Locked. Not a problem. Key to the Mudan Dwemer Vault. I thank you very much. We've taken you. What else is around here, if anything? Is there anything else on the table that's valuable? Just a spear. We're not going to use the spear. That's fine. And I think... We can always check what's in here, but it's, yeah, it's the same thing. Just goes around the side. Oh, this is the other side of the cave-in. Is it? No, the cave-in's down there. Okay, let's go this way. Hi, Josh. Love the vids, but I do have to let you know that while I grant you the position of second monitor, I have the stream minimized while I browse other sites. That's great. If you want, I can just describe what's happening while the stream is minimized. We are swimming. We are swimming. We are swimming. We are wading. We are walking. We are opening. We are looking around. We are walking. There we go. You've got it. See? It's like you're here with me at the same time. All right, so let's see what we can find now in this Dwemer vault, shall we? Dwarven halberd. Oh, God! Okay, that's an enemy steam centurion. Thankfully, I've got this spear that Sheogorath gave me. Yeah, sit down, son. Never, never challenge the Sheogorath man. Oh, a greater soul gem. I'll take that. That's great. I will have that. Dwemer, right pauldron and left pauldron. No, I'm going to go for the Daedric, son. You don't get those. Dwemer, closet. Lock level 100, trapped. Can I open it? No. Okay. Ah, Master Armorer's Hammer. That is actually useful. And is there anything over here? Any keys anywhere? Dwemer, left bracer and right bracer. I think I'm going to have to open this with a spell. The Centurion had the key, did he? Did, oh, he did! 
Guardian key. Sweet. Let's see if that opens it. Oh, you beauty. Dragonbone cuirass. Value 180,000. Constant effect. Resist fire 100% on self. So not only is Lusty getting a dragon bone, but she can be hot forever. Oh yeah. This is definitely our armor. We didn't need to take this from Almalexia. We found this. I'm sure you've heard this before, but your voice reminds me of Matt Berry. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lusty is quite a lass. She's good with a spear. She's good with a dragon bone. That's all you need to know. That's everything about her. Almalexia, be praised, Sarah. Right, we found the dragon bone cuirass. Spear, good. Hat, good. Pauldrons, good. Cuirass, fantastic. We've got it. Resist fire 100% on self. That means we can probably fall into the lava. It would have been a lot easier to find the ring if we just didn't die to the fire. But I think now, I very much think we have probably made the game balanced. Let's use the armor's hammer, get ready for the dings. Oh, it's used up. Okay, that was, I, I thought there'd be more, to be honest. We need to get Josh to say, you truly are the most devious bastard in New York City. Yeah. Mr. Hayes, have you played Kenshi? Not yet. Not yet. I will try and do more impressions of Matt Berry as and when I can. Lava deals scripted damage, not fire damage. Father! Nurses, chatting to them later. I do love Matt Berry. Okay, we have scavenged this Dwemer ruin. We are good. Everything's been put back. What we need to do now is return to Blood Moon. Because, oh yeah, the captain. <laughs> oh shit, the captain's still missing. He's not having a good time. He was kidnapped by werewolves. I love that. Can you imagine? We were at the Imperial Fort in Fort Frostmoth. The captain has gone missing. He's been kidnapped by werewolves. You must go and save him. And we were like, all right, right on that. Just give me five hours to go and put all this really overpowered equipment that I found back where I found it. Then I'll be right back with you. That's what happened. The potion looks special. Potion of heroism. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'm a, I'm a heroic kind of, of hero. We can take that. That potion is a rare collectible. Now remember, we were talking about this earlier. You don't have consumables in RPGs. You have collectibles. If you don't finish the game with all of the things still intact, you haven't really finished the game. When the game gives you the rarest, most powerful spell, potion, consumable, whatever it is, you don't use it. You don't use it. You just, Now drink it. Should we, should we just drink it right now? Forgetting it. I kind of want to see what it does. But you know, we'll save it. We'll save it for the final fight. Then what we'll do is we'll down an absolute ton of Sujama, drink the potion of heroism, and then smack Mola, uh, Dagoth Ur. I was about to say Molag Baal. Wrong game will smack Dagoth Ur right in his face. Okay, how do we get back? Uh, Bralazar's Maze Band, take me to Vivek? No. I've got an idea. Take me to Mournhold. From Mournhold, use the Amulet of Divine Intervention to take me to the you Royal... You from the Clockwork City. Perhaps I should write about you sometime. You should. Then we do this. Just as never. Then I travel. Do we, do we have anything else of the kings while we're here? Just out of wonder. Anything that was, you know, belonged to the king that he needs? No, I think we're good. King visit. She, only his disappointment. No, I think we're good. I think everything else in the kings we've kind of got. Let's... Yeah, I can ask you. Hey. What do you ask of me? Travel to Vardenfell. Yes. That takes me to Ebenhardt. And then from Ebenhardt, can I teleport somewhere else? No. 
I have failed. This I thought this would be a lot easier than it was. New plan. Uh, I need to leave Ebenhart and get somewhere. What's the easiest way to get... Probably Sedanine, then a Silt Strider. Okay, Sedanine is in roughly that direction. So let's see if I can make it. All right. Where's your uniform? Just for saying that, I will leap away from you. Then I will cast Slow Fall just before landing. Oh, yeah, by the way, if anyone knew, we have enchanted the Amulet of Van Halen, which casts Jump. What's that? Asamanu. We have already delved, dove, dived into the Cave of Asu, and now you wish me to explore the Asamanu? We've got her. We've pretty much got her while we're here. You can't not. It's You've just got to do it. Oh, God. This Asumanu has got red spots everywhere. That's not great. Oh, Corpus Walker. Problem. Legit problem. Isn't this part of the main quest? I, I seem to remember this is actually part of the main quest. It is, isn't it? We shouldn't be here. Okay. This is not the right time to be inside Asamanu. So we don't need to go back here yet. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time in the future to be deep inside Asamanu. But for now, I think we need to just focus on getting to... I want to say Sedanine. Where am I? Did I overshoot that quite far? I think I may have done. Hang on. Um... Sedanine is over there. Let's jump to it. Can we make it? Can we not massively overshoot? Got it. First try. Right, where's the Silt Strider? Sedanine. It's Sedanine. Let's go this way. Hey. He didn't say the thing. He didn't even notice my lack of uniform. What a... What an unobservant guard. Well, we've got to get all the way back to... All the way back to Fort Frostmoth. And then maybe we can carry on. Hey, please take me to Nisus. Why walk when you can ride? That's a good question. Why indeed? Can you take me to Cool? Travel to... No... Yeah, and travel to cool. I was thinking we could jump there, but that seems silly. Why walk when you can ride? And from cool, we can take the boat, which is over there. So let's jump to it. Oh, God, no, massively overshot. Problem, problem, problem. In the water we go. Oh, God damn it. I am... I am forgetting that because we are no longer wearing heavy armor, our jump takes us a lot further than it would before. Oh, no, same problem, but in the opposite direction. I'm... You know what? I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to hang out, walk slowly. Nice and chill, nice and easy. Nothing difficult. We're not going to overshoot. I'm going to go this way, we're going to walk to it, and we're going to take the boat back. Soul's time. Let's go, Fort Frostmoth. Thank you. Is there a sprint spell? Kind of. I've got the belt. It makes me run faster. Whatever that is. Belt of Iron Will. Look at how I sprint. Got my spear. All right. Worry not, guards. I have returned from my journey to put all of the overpowered items back. I am now weak, just like all of you, and I shall journey to save your captain. What do you think about that, eh? Where's your uniform? Where's your uniform? 
Well, if you shaved her paw. Hate it here. Ah, sit down, you. Right, where is my uniform? They're not asking me where the Imperial uniform is, they're asking me where my uniform is, you know? Where's mine? What is mine? I don't think we know what our uniform is yet. So far, our uniform is a single left Deidric pauldron and a dragonbone cuirass. That's all we need. Everything else... Thank you. Thank you, Secret Panda Lord. Everyone's asking, where's the uniform? No one's asking, how's my uniform? Now, if I remember correctly, we were here because we read the story of Avar Stonesinger, the entire story earlier, and now we need to use the special location of the stones. That was the one. So the first one was the water stone, which was to the central left of the island. So kind of this way. Beautiful stuff. I actually really like Solstheim as a as a place. It's a really nice place. Central left is this way again. Oh, damn. Item has no charge. And then I got rushed in the forest by a naked woman. Bear boots. Bear. Can you wear those? No, you can't because I'm a beast race. Bear helmet. Don't want to wear that. Yeah, we're good. Have a quick nap in the middle of the middle of the woods to recharge my jumpy amulet and then off we go everyone always asks where's the uniform but not how's the uniform oh my god if you had a club you could yell captain caveman you're showing your age i'm showing my age because i know what you're on about but that's old we're old you have to admit let's just get ready to cast this again as long as i cast that right before landing we're always good that bear just stood up Yeah, this is... We got this. Now, we need to find the water stone. Now, in the legend... Oh, God, there's more of you. In the legend, a black hawker appeared to Aloth. Bearskin covered entrance to Galea the Mumbling's dwelling. Don't think we need you. What I do need to find is wherever the heck the water stone is. We are going to do this in the same order that Aelir did it. We are going to honour the chapter by doing the same thing. Where? When is the uniform? That's true. When is the uniform? Is this... Okay, I need to keep using the map to work out where the heck we are. So... Waterstone is north of two river inlets. So it's going to be that way. I think. What if I leap this way? Any kind of water stones below you? Anything looking water stony? Any big bookshop somewhere? Who is that? It's just, there's a dude just standing up there. Absolute dominance. That's what he's asserting. Look at that. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, Thormor Greywave. Hello, stranger. I don't see many sightseers out here. The cold and the hawkers drive most people away. Me, I just come here to watch the sea. Used to be a ship captain, you know. But that was before. Before that night at sea. A few months ago, I was ferrying some settlers from Skyrim to Solstheim. I was tired, so tired. And I fell asleep at the rudder. Ship drifted into a gale. By the time I woke up, it was too late. I couldn't regain control. The ship capsized. There were only two survivors, me and an old man whose entire family was lost in the wreck. I told the man of my terrible failure, and he used his power as a seer and a wizard to punish me. You see, Lusty, I have been cursed with eternal wakefulness. As punishment for my incompetence. The seer laid a powerful curse upon me. I am exhausted, but can't sleep 
No matter what I try. Potions, magics, nothing works. Truth is, I haven't slept at all in six months. Lusty, if you happen to run into that seer, maybe you could convince him to lift the curse. His name is Galea the Mumbling, and he lives by himself in a dwelling here on Solstheim. Do this for me, and I will share with you the most valuable secret I learned when I was a ship captain. Alright. Dude made a mistake. Dude made a the sea, friend. Never will you meet a maiden so beautiful or unforgiving. Okay, first of all, that's not your voice. I've already given you a voice. Stop. Behold the sea. Just stand here with him for an hour. Look out at the sea for a bit. Oh, it snows more. Remember, though, we did find that dwelling. I literally just said, oh, there's a silly little dwelling there. But we didn't go in. What if we jumped back, found it again, went in and said hi? I think it was back this way somewhere, wasn't it? Where was it again? Where was it? There it is. Oh, I'm great at this game. Beautiful. Just fantastic. We didn't even go in. I'm like, this seems like a silly thing to do. We didn't go in. But now... Now we're gonna go in. And with that, Morrowind is officially a better game than Skull and Bones. Because in Morrowind, you can swim. Hello, crazy old hermit man. Put my weapon away, I mean you no harm. Hello. So, you've been sent by Thormor Greywave, have you? What's the matter? Is the poor shipmaster feeling a bit fatigued? Does he wish he could get just a moment's rest? Can't say I blame him. Being cursed with eternal wakefulness can be rather unpleasant, or so I'd hoped. Yes, it's true, I cursed Thormor Greywave with eternal wakefulness. He couldn't stay awake and carry out his duties, and now my entire family is dead as a result, so I made sure Thormor would never fall asleep again. Fitting punishment, don't you think? Sorry, but there's nothing you can do to make me reverse my curse. Nothing that... Well, maybe there is one thing. If you were to return my only friend, I would be most grateful. Grateful enough to lift Thormor's curse. With my family gone, I am all alone. Except for Odfrip, White Lip. She talks to me. Tells me the future. But she's been kidnapped by a Draugr, who lives in Colbjorn. Maid, will you go to the Barrow and rescue Odfrit Whitelip? If you do, then Odfrip will help me reveal your future. And as a show of good faith, I'll also reverse Thormor's curse. Okay. I'll rescue Odfrip. Excellent. Of course I knew you were going to help me. I'm a seer after all. Now... Colbjorn Barrow lies to the southeast of here, near the coast. I need you to enter the Barrow, find Odfrip, and return her to me. Do be careful, maid. The Draugrs are fast, vicious, and entirely without remorse. Go now. I will eagerly await your return. So we are going southeast near the coast. Can do. Southeast by the coast. That would be this way. I mean, southeast just southeast takes you inland, unless we're going like this way to the coast. It did say near the coast, Swiss. Isn't a show of good faith meant to come before you do something? Don't question the Nordic ways. Just accept this is how they are. This is how they do things. Stab the rats as we go. <coughs> Sit down, Berserker. You and your pants don't scare me with my spear. That's better, now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so, a barrow southeast, you say. Near the coast, you say. Well, we look out for a barrow. That's a barrow right there. If I were a barrow, where would I be? 
Now, the local map does show you entrances to dungeons and barrows and stuff. But I don't quite know where we are going to find this one. Oh, is that... that looks like a barrow. That is definitely carved into the rock. Is it the correct one, though? It's the Blood Skull Barrow. Did he send us the Blood Skull Barrow? Okay, Kjolborn Barrow is southeast of Gelir's dwelling, near the Solstheim coast. Southeast of the dwelling. There's your dwelling. I don't quite know where the other barrow would be, especially near the coast. Blood Skull Barrow for the Blade. The Blade, you say? Did we have to go to Blood Skull Barrow for some reason? I mean, if I try and go in, I don't have a key. So, we will come back for the blade at some point. If there's a blade in there. The blade. What is the blade? Was there a was there a quest I've missed or forgotten about? Did they say go to Blood Skull Barrow for something? I mean, there, are, there probably is a... Is that the blade you also get in Skyrim? It's the west of Fort Frostmoth. God damn, that'd be really, really far. Let's just jump. Okay, everyone look out for a... I've jumped too far. Okay, we're in the middle of the ocean. Don't worry about that. That's fine. That was part of the plan. Now we cast water walking and then walk back. Okay, now we can walk back. It's fine. Look for a barrow. Pretty sure you already saw Kjellborn Barrow earlier. Probably. Probably. But Fort Frostmoth is there. The barrows we came with this way. Don't we all jump too far sometimes? We do! In a way. Is that big stone just a big stone? Or is it a big stone with a door? It's just a big stone. That's what I thought. Kjellborn Barrow. You said it's west of Frostmoth. That would be like this way. Okay, not enough charge. Wait for a while for my... Oh god, a bear. Nobody wants to be woken up by an angry bear. It's not that sort of stream. We can... Oh god. We can... Aha, there's a barrow just there, is there? Quick. And we survived. Didn't die. Fairly close to Frostmoth. Okay, you guys are helping me out. This is good. Fort Frostmoth. Let's keep going. I will not use the wiki, but I will use you. That is the, the best way to put this. I will not use the wiki, but I will use you. Lust T just couldn't bear sleeping in those conditions. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is this it? This is... Kjellborn Barrow. Fantastic. This is where we want to be. All right, Draugr. Draugr. We've been here before, haven't we? I'm sure we've been here before. Yeah, we've definitely been here before. Oh, that means we may have killed some things. Stalrim. No, don't know what you... Oh. Right. That is a skull. Odfrip White Lip. I thought they'd be, like, more alive. But okay, let's pick them up. I found Odfrip White Lip, but Galea failed to mention that she was just a skull. No matter, if I return the skull to Galea, he should grant my reward. I see nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong. This is fine. Don't worry. Odd frip is that way. So let's just have a quick tacty nap. Which is the tactical nap that I invented. And then leap all the way back to the thing. Casting the Colovium parachute just before we land. Pretty sure that was cast correctly. And now once again, launch ourselves through the air. Casting this. To land safely. Oh god. And then he leapt away. 
and none of the wolves will ever believe his tale. Now that way is the watch. Oh yeah, we're not going to the watch, are we? We're going to the other place. The dude. Oh, it's right north of where I am. That was so lucky. I was about to jump way further. It's nice to see Josh play Skyrim 3. It's there. This is very much an improvement. The stories are better. Hey, I found the Skull Woman. They've taken my Oddfrid. My sweet, dear Oddfrid. Maid, you've returned. And you've found Oddfrid. Yes, I know. Oddfrid is a skull. She was a skull when I first found her. But she does talk to me. I hear her voice inside my head. I would have told you the truth, but I didn't want you to think I was crazy. So tell me, Lusty. Do you want me to tell your fortune? Or perhaps I should remove Thalmor's curse of eternal wakefulness? I... I don't want to know my future. Remove the curse. I didn't think I would ever feel the need to remove Thalmor Greywave's misery, but you did me a great service by returning Otford Whitelip. As a show of thanks, I will now remove Thalmor's curse. Gilea begins making several odd hand gestures and mumbles under his breath. There. Thormor's curse has been lifted. He will now find the sleep I have denied him for so many months. I... I hope he finds peace. He'll sleep, but even I can't stop a guilty man's nightmares. Do we... Do we want to know our future? This dude is... He's living in squalor, man. This is... You're not tidy, dude. There's, there's bottles everywhere. You... You need to tidy up, bro. Like... It's not like you've got much to tidy. It's in the barrel. Grief. Salt rice. I mean, you can live, but... God damn. Okay. Right, cool. Let's go and check on the dude. Let's go make sure he's okay. We are going... That way. Uh, we have spotted him. There he is. Hey, bro. How's it going? Lusty. You did it. You spoke with Galea, got him to remove my curse. I know this because I can barely stay on my feet. I'm ready to fall asleep, my friend. Do you hear me? Fall asleep? <laughs> I need to lie down, Lusty. You've done me an incredible service, and I would like to return the favour. But not just yet. First, I must sleep. Meet me in my room at the Thrisk Mead Hall, and I will give you your due after I've had a chance to get some rest. Okay. Thrisk Mead Hall. Behold the sea, friend. I will. Never will you meet a maiden so beautiful or unforgiving. He's inviting me to his... His room at Thrisk. The Thrisk Mead Hall. I've not yet found the Mead Hall. Where is it? I'm going to guess it's like that way. I'm going to stand here for 24 hours and uh, then I'll see if I can go and meet you. Ah! Hang on. From your position, the Mead Hall is on the opposite side of the island. Thankfully... I can make that journey relatively quickly. One that gets us to here. Two that's a big rock. Three south of Skull beside the lake. We can make it there. And four. South of Skull, you say? That is probably one of the quest rocks. I, I figured that might be the case. But Skull is... Did you say west of the lake? Or east of the lake? Let's have a look. Check the water stone. We'll get the water stone eventually, don't worry. We'll get there. Probably one of the quest rocks. North west. I hate you so much. It's uh, north, northeast. Swiss. 
I'm just gonna get a map. I'm just gonna get a map. And then none of you will be able to do any of the things that you do. East of the lake. Thank you. East of the lake. That I can understand. There's the lake. East of it's this way. What are we looking for? Right now we're looking for the Mead Hall. To meet the man whom has not slept in ages. Oh god, enemies. There we go. Leap. That looks like a Mead Hall. Ah, it's even got a meadery outside. Which is what these things are called where you make mead. See? What's that? Look at that. That's... Oh, it's just a hut. Okay. I thought there was like a little massive barrel of mead. It says the mead. It's the mead hall. Thrisk. Or thrusk, should we say. Let's open the door. Hello. Oh, welcome to Thrusk, friend. You should speak to Skolder Wolfrunner. He's the chieftain of this hall and wishes to meet all new arrivals. Yes, yes, we will get to that. However, I, first of all, cool mask, need to go and speak to a dude about a thing. Watch yourself near Eric, friend. All right, cool. You just let that hang there. All right, Mead Hall. Got to find that dude's bedroom, wherever he is. You in here? Yep. Locked door. What about in here? It's you. Oh, you're you're already ready. Hello again, my friend. Thanks to you, I can sleep again. You are very ready. <laughs> Last day, I've had some time to rest, and I am ready to grant you a reward. As a sea captain, I discovered many hidden places, one of which is an ancient barrow called Gildenhull. It lies on a small island off the northeast coast of Solstheim, not too far from here. The barrow is loaded with riches, and I want you to have it all. Take this key. The door is heavily locked. Oh, and I'll mark the dungeon on your map. Now I must go back to sleep. <laughs> Thanks again. Gildenhull Barrow Entrance. Thank you. Sleep well, friend. Alright, have a good night, guys. I'm off to do some treasure hunting. Bye. Doesn't even invite you to sleep with him. Look, the dude hasn't slept in ages. Let him get some... Let him catch some Zs, alright? He's tired. Let's leap. All the way. Let's cast Colovian Parachute. I, I can't see. Okay, we splashed down just shy of the place we need to be. Let's cast Water Walking. I love the fact that the spell Water Walking is now above Where is the Goddamn Ring? Which I still maintain was an extremely useful spell to make. Like, straight up. That was a, a very useful spell to create. Oh god, it's these guys again. Angry Smurfs. This, I don't think, is the right island. But it's... it kind of has to be. It's like the only island around here. Athletics got better. We are now faster little zoomy boys. Is that the front of it? Hang on, let's just see what's around here. Because all these rocks seem to be leading toward... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hello there. Solstheim, lock level 100. Like a little letter back there. No, there wasn't. Opened and in. Right. What's in here? Glass frost sword. Okay. Cast when strikes. Frost damage. Oh my god. Ebony longsword. Coins. Holy crap. Everything. Just, there's gold everywhere. They're all piles of a hundred. I've got to just spam click to pick everything up. Rich again. We're, we're back to... I mean, we've got 2,500, which is not much, but it's... 
Oh my goodness. Elusive Potion of Night Eye. Potion of Night Eye. Potion of Night Eye. What's up here? It's Emerald, 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 Diamond, Pearl. And whatever you are. Emeralds, rubies, pearls. More items, more gold, gold everywhere. I... I have a weirdly bad feeling about this. What's that? Glass Helm. Ebony Cuirass. Okay, that's worth us a pretty penny. 35,000. 12,000. I... I am feeling... Okay, so hang on. Style Rim is ice that you can't get rid of, but you can just click on the corpse foot just there, which I won't interact with yet. I feel... I feel bad doing this, but, I mean, they are dead, so... Like, they're not gonna know. Can't go up, can you? Okay, so there's a load of potions here. What's that? Exquisite ring. Diamond, 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 ruby. Ruby diamond. Potion of rising force. They are useful. Restore magicka. Magicka. Is there any more special items over here? Can we interact with your corpse? No, I can't. Can't quite get to you. But the Potion of Rising Force was interesting because normally you can go up. Whenever you get a potion that lets you go up, I'm curious about whether there's something above me. So I want to use Levitate, see if there is. No. No, it's just the roof. Okay, cool. That was just the roof. So there is nothing here. Gold, gold. I don't want to take the helmet or the cuirass. We don't need that. I don't need that, and I don't think I need anything in here. There's nothing super amazingly exclusive. Unless that's something just there that I'm missing. No, it's not. Okay. So, we've looted the barrow. Found an absolute ton of gold. How much gold have we found, actually? Let me just have a quick check in a second. We're up to... We're back up to nearly 5,000 gold. Which is very impressive. To say that we had nothing and gave everything we had away. To get back up to 5,000. That's pretty damn good. I'm not taking the gems because I don't need them yet. Okay. We have looted the barrow. What we need to do next week is return to following the adventures of... What was the dude's name again? Avar Stonesinger. Activate all six of the stones, restore the power of the Skarl, make up for the Imperials, and rescue the captain from the werewolves. Guys, I've been streaming for six and a half hours. I stream every Saturday and every Sunday. Saturdays I stream at 7 o'clock UK time, Sundays at 4 o'clock UK time. If you can't remember those times, I've invented a handy rhyme to remember them. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. That's the rhyme. Remember that? You'll remember the time. Thank you very much for joining me. Guys, hope you've had a good weekend. Enjoy the week ahead. I'll try and get out some videos as usual. Take care. Good night.